everyone. That was pretty, pretty loud. Sorry, that was really loud. Sorry. I'm excited. It's the day after Christmas. I am pumped up. I am drinking some tea. So we're going to do some calm. Not quite like Dr. Pepper caffeine or, you know, monster energy drink or whatever. But a little bit of caffeine with some water. So hopefully you guys are having an amazing, amazing uh, day after Thanksgiving. What is it called? Boxing Day? Hopefully you're having a good Boxing Day. Scartex says death count, please. All right, we'll jump into the game here. Let me load it up, Scar. That way you guys can count. Now, we are playing Valheim. I asked you guys what you guys want to see. You know, what we should go after first, either the mountains or the swamp. It looks like overwhelmingly you guys are voting for the mountains. 58% to 42% want to see swamps. We're going to do both. Don't worry. We're going to do both, but... We'll do either mountains or swamp first. So the stream is gonna be a nice calm, collecting and kind of like building up our gear going into 2024. That way we're ready to go and I don't die as much. I mean, I don't know about that last part. That last part might not be uh, accurate. <laughs> uh, so let me get in here. Let me make sure it's all loaded up. Good Lord. Yeah, so you gotta load up my game. There we go. So it should be here. Oh yeah, you guys you guys want to see it, right? <laughs> I guess you guys want to see me playing instead of my face on this big screen right here. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's get in here to uh, game stream. Oh, my face is gone. Let's do this. Let's do this. Good Lord. I have nothing set up. I had everything set up for No Man's Sky. That is not what we want because, I mean, I like No Man's Sky, but we're not streaming that today. We're not streaming No Man's Sky today. Uh, David says, hello, Jason. Great to see you and chat. Well, thank you, David. Thank you for hanging out today. Uh, but Wado says, wait a minute. This is not No Man's Sky. No. <laughs> I mean, oh, what? Wrong one. <laughs> uh, Scar says, Jason and Calm in the same sentence is kind of weird to hear. I'm trying to be nice, relaxed after a Christmas stream. So here's our character. So we're doing Bela's rest. Oh, someone's in there. So we might have to join up with the uh, the Discord chat. So I will have Discord chat going, but I'll try to pop out every once in a while. There's nothing intense. We're not going after a boss or anything. So I should be able to pop out more than usual just because usually with the, when if there's a boss or if I'm about to die, I can't really concentrate on speaking correctly because uh, it's difficult. Happy Yule, everyone. Cobalt, happy Yule to you as well. Let's see who is in here. I don't see anyone in the chat. Uh-oh. Nobody's in the chat. Well, that's okay. I'll, uh, I'll jump in the chat and see if anyone wants to join. Maybe it's like a uh, Zane or... Who is in here? Who's in here? Come on. Oh, God. Did I click on the window? I did not. Oh, God. It is... Oh, it's Beeble Bum. Beeble Bum is in the middle of a raid. Oh, God. He's probably not going to join chat because he's busy trying to fend off a raid. Um, I mean, I, I want to go over there and help him, but in Valheim, the more people in the same area, the tougher the enemies get. So I think they get 25% more, more health, and they do 25% more damage for each person. So if there's two people, 25%. Three people, that's 50%. You know, and it keeps going up and up and up. So if you get five people in the, in the same area, oh man, the enemies are insanely difficult. Deaths, please. Okay, we'll do our deaths first. So, starting with the one right here, Scar. At day 637, I died right outside of my base because I'm an idiot and I wanted to fight the, uh, the enemies on the planes, the big old goblins. I fought them and then they started to kill me. So I ran away like a, like a manly brave person. And I thought, oh, for sure they can't get to my base. They literally swam across the river and attacked me at my base. So I died <laughs> right outside my walls. I was right at here. My base is right here. This is where my walls are. I died right outside my walls trying to run away from the goblins. So that's one. That's one. Then I believe I died on my mountain. Oh, no, my swamp over here. I died twice in my swamps trying to get my uh my iron so two more that's three total three total two in the swamp 
And then I went over because I couldn't find any mountains. I had I went over here. My mountain says this um, mountain range. There you okay. are. Right. There you are, people bum. I didn't wanna I didn't wanna join your raid just in case you, I don't know what you were doing over there. Yeah, I got a little swamp raid while I was building. Yeah, I didn't want to <laughs> add to the uh, difficulty over there. I saw you were streaming. Yeah, I'm letting everyone know how many times I've died. And so the uh, ah. the sad one that I hate is that I died over in Bob's Mountains once. I was up there looking <laughs> for silver. Couldn't find any, and when I was up there, I got attacked by three wolves. I killed one, ran down the mountain, and got killed by the other two. So that's four. And then one more. I think one more. Maybe two. Nope, one more. On my own mountains. As I was getting my own silver, I died one more time. So that is five total deaths off screen. <laughs> uh, how many are you up to, uh, Beetle Bum? Four. Four? Total? Yeah, the, the, <sighs> the last death was... Uh, when was the last death? I forgot. I, I think, think it was on stream. It was on stream. Was, when was I was it on stream? To my... <laughs> yeah, I was trying to protect my uh, s my spawner. Oh, dude. Yeah, I got one in the... I was really mad about the one in Bob's uh, mountain because I went up there and I had no problem the entire time. I was just hammering away, looking for silver. Didn't find anything. And then it started getting dark, so I ran away. And right then, uh -huh. three wolves got me. And I was like, no! <laughs> I spent like 20 minutes up there with no problems. <sighs> But I will say I am finally decked out with all my silver gear. Have you gotten a lot of silver? Nice. Um, for the moment, my focus has been silver chest. Silver and... chest? What? Yeah, the wolf armor chest. Oh, the chest piece. Okay, I, I was like, you made yeah. these are a silver chest. I didn't know if there was like a storage chest. No, no, no. It's uh, the the chest, the uh, armor chest, then uh, the shield, the silver shield, and the froster. So I have a level two Frostner, a level four helmet, a uh, Drake helmet, uh -huh. a level four wolf chest armor, level four wolf leg armor, mm -hmm. a level three silver shield, and a level two Draugr Fang. Nice. So I'm basically there. I need a little bit more for like my Frostner and my Fang. And then I realized uh, when we get into the plains, they go back to iron. Uh, to black metal, yeah. Yeah. Well, black metal for the weapons, but like your padded armor, it takes iron. Yes, it does. And no, uh, I didn't realize. I thought it was all black metal, so I was all ready to go. And I was like, oh, wait a minute. I need more uh, iron because I looked. I used up all my <laughs> iron on my stuff. So yeah, I only have 30, 60, 85 iron. So I need to stock up on that. I'm still good on iron. Yeah, I know. You and Zane, I think... Did Gek get a whole bunch of iron as well? Uh, he was very proud about one of his finds, but I'm not sure how much he got in total. I don't... Now, you gotta tell me, is it possible... Like, Bob keeps saying that he got, like, six iron out of one crypt. Is that even possible? Yes, yes, yes. Some of them are sometimes can be empty completely and there's no iron. That is... Re I thought it was, like, a minimum of 50. That is insane. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, my God. I'd be so mad going through a, a whole crypt and only getting like six iron <laughs> or nothing. Oh, I'd be pissed. <laughs> um, is Beeble Bum streaming? No, Beeble. Oh, I mean, I don't know. Are you streaming uh, Valheim no, today? No, 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 I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, I think you you did Space Engineers earlier, right? Yes. Yeah, you missed it. You got to go back and watch his Space Engineers stream from earlier. I fucked. Oh. So how far along... An are you on your base? Can we go and take a look? Or are you, are you, you keeping can, secret? I just, I'm just actually adjusting my roof for the moment, trying to fix something that I wasn't happy with. Okay, I might pop over and, and check it out. I want to check out Zane's well, I just, I know that he doesn't want to show it off until he cuts a video for it, so maybe uh -huh. in progress we can show it off? I don't know. I'll ask him before I go over there. And then, uh, have you seen Hawks? I haven't seen Hawks lately. No, I, I know he said that he would be jumping in, but uh, yeah. not well, seen him. We just had Christmas, so I'm sure he was probably busy with his family doing real life stuff. <laughs> real life. I know. <laughs> so overrated. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a uh, good Christmas yesterday, people? Uh, I had 
Um, I'm a little bit confused to my roof. Confused to your roof? Uh, yes, I had a good Christmas. Um, but I didn't really celebrate Christmas Eve itself, but uh, we had a good Christmas lunch. Yeah, see, we usually, like, in my in my house, we do that. We cook everything early, and we kind of, like, just... I don't know what you would call it, graze all day. So lunch uh -huh. slash dinner is done by, like, 12, mid midday, like, noon or 1 p.m. And then we kind of just eat until about 4, put everything away, and we all, like, go into a coma. So that's what we did. Everything was done by noon. We ate until about 4 o'clock, and then... You know, watch movies and kind of talk and chat and do all that kind of stuff. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Oh. Okay, I think I figured. Which makes the roof also the height I want it to be. Good. So, have you been raided by uh, Brenna yet? No, not yet. <laughs> I've been constantly having um, which swamp the uh, raids, yeah, swamp raids. Ah, see, so the uh, Gek is the only one so far. I I was there for the, the Brenna raid, but I haven't had one yet. I'm, I'm now wondering if the one that kills it last is the one that kills the Brenna raid. <laughs> is it? Oh, maybe. <laughs> that would be awesome. Because then I won't have to deal with it at all. <laughs> uh, nerd out in space engineers. I wish it was like... I'm interested in it, but every time I fire it up, it just, it doesn't grab me like, like Valheim does. I don't know. Maybe I just need to buckle down and get in there and just play for a while. It's, it's a uh, completely different, I think, than any other game you would think you played, Yeah. you know, because yeah. it's definitely building and figuring things out, but I really enjoy it. Well, yeah, you seem to you love it. Is it, I uh, is Bob still playing it? I know he was playing for a while with you. Uh, he is. He is. He actually. We were actually planning on continuing, but then, um, you know, Christmas. Well, yeah, holiday stuff. stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we gotta get through the holidays. I, I, this week is gonna be crazy too, because then we have New Year's coming up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I kind of. Well, after I think week. after New Year, everything is gonna start chilling down again. I think. I don't know. I feel, I feel like uh, next week it'll kind of chill out, but I, No Man's Sky, I'm really... My gut says we have something for the middle of January. No, no, but I mean it's going to chill out like real life stuff, so you will be oh, able to focus yeah. on your uh, your channels and... Yeah, well, yeah. We'll be able to actually... Well, I mean, everyone who th does family stuff and, you know, real life stuff, they'll actually be done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So, uh, do we have a plan for uh, Bone Mass when we're going to do that uh, one? I think Bone Mass, I mean, I would like to get Bone Mass started after uh, New Year's, so next Monday after New Year's. Okay. Heck yeah. I mean, I am I feel like most of us are ready. I'd be, I'd be worried about uh, Hawks, because I know Hawks hasn't had enough time. Well, he said he had time left, but maybe he's now just, you know, taking some time with the family and then after that jumps in. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Oops. I just don't want to feel like I'm rushing him. Boulder's Gate 3 playthrough? Kevin, that's a that's a big dedication. That's a massive game. We played we played one stream and I was just like, dude, I didn't even get like anything done. We played for eight hours straight. I was like, holy cow. So I imagine that game is gonna be like months of playing. Oh, old explorers. So Jason, how long are you streaming for? We generally, oh, I generally plan on a four hour stream. Sometimes I go to five or six hours if I get too distracted, but usually it's a four hour plan. Oh. So yeah, it looks like I'm going to, oh, mountains. Okay, going to mountains to look for silver. Let's show you guys. I. I found out that the uh, once the golem spawns, it never despawns, and so if you trap the golem, you don't have to deal with the golem. Yes, I, I yes. didn't know that. There's actually a there's actually a golem trapped at the first mountain we had we did together. It's in the hole next when the the silver hole we made. 
Yeah. Well, yeah, I did the same thing on my mountain. I uh, I finally I found some silver near the golem spawn, and I kept just trying to fight him. And I finally realized, what if I just trap him? So I brought him over to my <laughs> my first uh, silver pit that I made, and trapped him in there. And it's just like, okay, I can just run around the mountain now. Coming round the mountain. <laughs> oh, so let's go. Oh, not that way. This way. Let's go check out my mountain. So I have been preparing the, uh, my at least the bone mass in my area. I've been flattening it out and trying to chop yeah, the yeah, trees. That way, we, when we run it, it'll be a little easier. Mm, how could I? So, and I thought for sure that uh, silver wouldn't spawn near like any major like items like the eggs or like a cave my first uh -huh. silver i found like 10 feet away from a cave it's crazy See, my golem pit it's a spiky one too so i don't have to deal with him anymore um and i know i think gex says that you're more likely to find silver near a like one of those cabins is that true um, you will find a golem near those cabins for sure. Um, oh yeah, that's for sure. But yeah, I think it's just, it's not like a, a a given, you know. Okay. I just realized. I think I... it's more like there's silver next to the cabin. Okay, good. But it's not like there's a cabin. There's gonna be silver there. Okay. So you know, so what you're saying is Gek is full of poop. All right. <laughs> Gek is most of the time full of poop. <laughs> I realized I got all the way up here and I didn't bring my dang stag breaker. Yeah. Happy holidays, uh, Jim and Anna Ruth. So I've started making some iron chest because I'm, I've realized I'm running out, like my my honey chest. I kept filling up 100 percent. So mm -hmm. I made an iron one. And dude, iron is like more than double the size of a normal chest. I love that. Yes, it is. I think the uh, black metal is even better than. Is it even larger? OK. Uh -huh. Oh, dude. I start making some black. Well, we need a special smelter for that. We can't do that to the mountains anyway. See if we can find some more silver. Uh, do we need silver for any uh, crafting items once we get to the mountains? Like an upgrade for a bench or anything? Um, I'm not entirely sure. Okay. I might save a little bit, but I mean, my gear is mostly upgraded. So unless we need it. I'll focus on. I think silver iron. is pretty restricted to the mountain setup. Yeah. And of course, no, you don't need silver for that as well, I think. No. Black metal you will need, but uh, there is one chest that's called the treasure chest, which is more of a decoration. Yeah. That does that, does that one have a uh, lock on it as well? Like only you can. <laughs> Access no, it? that's a no. The treasure chest is just decoration. It's oh. it has no. Uh, the other one you call is personal chest. That's uh, eight iron and ten fine wood. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't want to be on the mountain in the nighttime. So let's go back. <laughs> uh. I ran into that problem when I was doing my my swamp stuff because you can't really tell when it's nighttime in the swamp <laughs> until a wraith comes out and you're like, oh, I gotta go. <laughs> I'm gonna get destroyed. Time to go. Yeah, time to get out of here. Uh, treasure chest looks like a chest overflowing with coins. Ooh, I might have to do that. Do you need coins to make a treasure chest? Yeah, 99 coins. Oh, okay, so I might do that. Might make like a, a Scrooge McDuck room where it's just full of the gold coins everywhere.
And gems. Oh, okay. If you're in bed, let me know so I can jump in as well. Oh, I'm about to be in there. Are you... Uh, oh, yeah. Well, you know what? I need to go and visit you before I go cr too crazy here. So, yeah, I'm going to jump in bed real fast. And I'm going to come okay, over and look second. at your cool base that you're building. You and uh, you and Zane are both building with stone, right? Big stone structure? Uh, it's stone foundation and then walls. Oh, okay. uh, wood on. <sighs> For the moment, I'm working with a patch roof. Is this a bit of a disappointment? <laughs> You can't, uh, you can't use tar yet, so you're upset. <laughs> it's a messy roof, the patch roof. Let's go over this way. Oh. Kevin Dufresne, thank you so very much for the super chat. Very much appreciated, Kevin. Let me actually get a heart you real fast. Thank you so very much, Kevin, saying I've done swamp and metal. And a max on silver to get started black metal gear. Getting destroyed in the plains. Advice? Bone mass. Bone mass, bone mass. That power is OP. Use the bone mass power. You're pretty good. Uh, have a level three black metal weapons. Make sure you start getting padded armor as well, Kevin. You need iron for padded armor and linen when you get to the plains. But yeah, padded armor. Make sure you have that. And then bone mass it up like crazy, dude. Because that power basically makes you... I'm not going to say invincible, but you're basically buffed up to where you can take a few hits before you go out. But thank you, 07 to you, Kevin. So, I come in and run to your uh, base. I assume it's through your portals underneath your house in the village? Yeah, you actually, if you take my portal under my house, it will be called BB Home. It will be going straight here. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. This is so good. See, I wish I could build like this, but it would... I probably could, but it would take me like a year. Because I would be messing up constantly and having to redo everything because I snapped into the wrong snapping point. Look at this. Oh, look at this cool little watchtowers. Holy cow. Yeah, this is big. Super fancy. It's for the ballistas later. Yeah. Oh, but do you have a... It looks like you have something down by the water. Do you have a dock? Yeah, if the, um, it's the it was to measure the water to see if there was anything going higher, so I could I know how high my dock has to be. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Okay, so this. Okay. Thank you, Tom, for the five gifted memberships. Very much appreciated, Tom. O seven to you, and everyone is becoming a member right now. Freaking legend. Thank you, Tom. This roof to change. Okay. Yeah, you're building a lot with stone. Holy cow, look at how big this... This is beautiful. <laughs> I love the wall. So did you fill the center with raised or ground? Or you, is it just yeah, solid all stone? No, oh. all terrain in, this terrain inside. Okay. And then just walled on the outside. I need to do that to make my walls look more straight. So I hate when you raise the uh, terrain and it just like it angles up. Uh huh. Uh -huh. So yeah, it's beautiful. Now, are you gonna? Oh, there's a boar up here. Hello. What the boar? Yeah, up on their wall. What is the green? What? 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 Right here, right next to me. He's right up here. He's green. I don't know how he got out. How did? <laughs> how just did he get out? Running around up here. I didn't. How did you escape, buddy? Curious Bo? I just renamed him. He oh. was just named Bo earlier. Cause yeah, I don't That's know weird. where he it's came from. It's a regular Bo. Mm-hmm. He's just he escaped. So maybe he just got in here and he ate stuff that was laying on the ground because I didn't tame a regular Bo. What do you mean? You have boars in your <laughs> boar thing over here? Yeah, but this is a regular one. These are star boars. 
Are you sure? I see one regular, one regular. Oh, oh you probably you got a baby. Ah, I know what happens. Got I know baby. what happened. Yeah, the baby baby was born outside of the pen. Oh, baby got loose. Oh, Pablo says uh, Valheim is not my thing, but I came to drop a like. Oh, I appreciate you, Pablo. It's a lot of people I talk to either they love it or they hate Valheim. Like there's a couple of creators who are like, I would love Valheim, but like the combat's too simple. I'm like, I love it. I think it's really good. I get it. It's not everyone's I think flavor. A lot of people making uh, also assumptions of a game before they actually play it. Well, <laughs> there is that. You know, they haven't actually. If you say the complex to the combat is too simple, then you didn't play Valheim. I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, I can understand if you're coming from like a really like uh, like Dark Souls. When you have like different uh, weapon types Jason in your plays, did you to... not play did you not play dark souls i love dark souls but uh, how many times did you die in dark souls and how many times did hundreds, you die in hundreds <laughs> <laughs> unlimited deaths in dark souls i mean I, I to be fair i have gotten better over time and i think that in uh in valheim i don't i I don't treat it like Dark Souls, and I probably should. I'm, I try to be way more active and, like, run around and do stuff. Whereas in Dark Souls, I'm, like, creeping around and, like, making sure that I don't get killed. Whereas in <laughs> Valheim, I'm like, eh, it's not a big deal. Okay. I do like you. Are you going to have uh, uh, stone floors when you start uh, going? Stone paving, most likely. Oh, okay. Now, does paving take the, stone? Uh, yes. But right. less. I was gonna say, yeah, because a stone floor takes six. Mm. So how much paving? Like it's, one? I think it's two for every time you put one. So oh, I think it's that's... seven. It's one stone per paving hand you do. Okay. Yeah, that's way less. Maybe I should have went with paving. God. <laughs> uh... This will all be glass, but I need to go in frost case for that. Ooh. Well. So I'm gonna put glass in the frames. You can't yeah. get it from golems. <laughs> If you take out a goal. Yeah, well, you know, but that's going to take a lot of work. Yeah. That is beautiful. Now, can you get colored glass or is it just one like clear? It's going to be just a uh, clear. I, you can play around with some lights and make it look, but. This is beautiful. Yeah, this is just testing out here. I'm trying to f get this roof. So I need to do some adjustment because I wasn't happy with how the roof connected. Yeah. So I need to change the wall here to go outside a bit more, and then we should be fine. Now, is a tar roof the same as like a hatch? Like, it, does it take up the same amount of room? Yeah, yeah, it's the same angles and stuff. It's just oh, gonna okay. look better than the hatch. It does look way better. This is is this gonna be your kitchen area? I love this. Yep, there's gonna be the Ooh. kitchen, and then there is gonna be like the the long hall. Yeah, it's gonna have to put like a whole big long table here. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. This is really, see, this is all fancy. Mine is like an apartment. <laughs> I have my apartment over there. You guys are building these big mansions. Did you see my great war farm already? <laughs> <laughs> I did I not. Of, was, I mean, there's a great offer. I heard about it. I think uh, Bob was telling me about it because he was on the other night. I've been um, playing late nights with Bob. Yeah, my roof is all tar. Oh, explore. Yes, dude. I can't wait. When we start getting tar and building with like the dark wood. Oh, that looks I need beautiful. to uh, probably refill this. Let's see. Oh, no, Whoa. We're good. Wait a minute. It doesn't it doesn't fall apart if there's nothing underneath it. Nope. Oh, that is awesome. Well, you then, just dude. Need to have, you have to make sure that terrain is there so they can spawn on the terrain. OK. Yeah, look at this. Thing. It's just a pit with a whole bunch of. <laughs> This is like sadistical. <laughs> These poor <laughs> great orders are spotted up like, hey, and then boom, dead. Welcome to hell. <laughs> this is still 100% <laughs> literally hell. Oh. Uh. Oh, potatoes with bacon, onions, cheese, and some ziki on the side. Pablo, you're making me hungry. This is beautiful. Now, you have to be within a certain distance of the spawner so they spawn, right? Yes, yes. Oh, it's a brute. All right.
Oh, he just sits there. I thought he was going to attack us. <laughs> nah, he seems to be very confused by the flames. Yeah, he's just like, why am I, why is it hurt so much? Boom. Done. Crude trophies. Yeah, <laughs> great orc trophies. Shaman trophies. All your trophies in here. All right. Oh, nice. Holy cow. Yeah, wood, wood, wood. Wood and stone, probably. That's probably a really good way to get stone, right? At least free stone. I'm out of resin, but I have enough in my chest. I mean, there should be a million out here, right? Hmm? There should be a million resin out here. Good lord. <laughs> yeah, this insane resin. Grey door vice, if you need grey door vice to make uh, what you call it. Um, ice cream. Ice cream. I started making that. I've been up into my mountains just taking out uh, Drake's for a long, long time. Oh, and I, I looked it up. I guess uh, silver does not spawn until 120, 120 meters high. And uh, obsidian spawns at 100 and uh, Drake's spawn at 100 as well. So unless you see Drake's and obsidian, you will not see any uh, silver. Silver, yeah. So officially, I mean, well, you know, take it for what it's worth. I don't know if it's accurate or not, but it sounds right to me. There's a troll. There's a troll outside. <laughs> Is there? Wait a minute. I'm hearing a troll. I hear there he is. It's a one star. Yep. <laughs> what? Oh, you have a what is? OK, you have a big old moat. OK. Well, screw you. Oh, God, don't throw anything at me. He can't reach, can he? Even if he swings. No. All right, so he's just throwing rocks. Only if he throws stones. Dang, he has a lot of... Well, yeah, we're both here. That's probably why he has so much health. Well, one here. star, it takes some time to... Uh, if you have a two star, it's... Um... Yeah, I haven't... Uh, I think I saw a two star last year. I haven't seen a two star this year. Even on hard mode. I thought we would see more two stars. <laughs> you call them Zeke. Oh, dang, Americans. Hey, that's what... Because I can't say the actual name for it, Pablo. You know, we're Americans, but I'm too lazy. <laughs> this is a cool little farm. See, I need to make some kind of a farm. I don't even have any boars or anything. I should probably do that. Is the boar meat worth? Yeah, probably is. Boar farm. A boar farm is good if you want to have a wolf farm later. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Meat. Just throw a whole bunch of meat down. Yeah. Or if you want to make sausages, I guess. Mm hmm. <laughs> Spawner. Oh. Well, this is very awesome, man. Holy cow. I think this is the one right back, I assume? Yep. Okay. You are a boar. No, I'm not, Scar. <laughs> oh. And the portal should be on the other side if you want to go back. All right. Well, dang, yeah, see, I'm jealous. I can't wait to see this fully uh, decked out. Yeah, all right. Well, I'm happy with the roof now. It looks better, so... Yeah. Now I just need to change all this here. Now is uh is black oh god, I'm picking up all the wood. Oh. Is uh is uh tarred wood, is that stronger than normal wood? Like core wood? Uh or is it just look uh, I, cooler? I it's not stronger as in supportive. It might have more durability, but I'm not sure. Okay. It just, and it doesn't rot, of course. Yes. That's the, my favorite part, because then you don't have to worry about it looking terrible. There's a portal on the other side. Uh, it's called uh, on the other side of the building there. If you uh, want to go back. Home, right? 
Oh, it's on the other other side. There we go. See, I I put signs on all mine because I get I get confused easy. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, I remember most of them soon. <laughs> Oh, evil sass. So that means I need to build, rebuild my chimney. Yay. Yay. Okay. Oh. Drop off my obsidian. I realized we need obsidian for frost arrows, poison arrows. Like obsidian arrows. Do you Holy obsidian cow. for poison arrows? Yeah, you do. And I was like, oh crap, I didn't realize that. The only one you don't need them for is fire arrows. <laughs> so I was, uh, was going to go uh, serpent hunting, and I was like, oh, I'll just make some poison arrows. Nope, you need a whole bunch of obsidian for that. Well, if you have a dragon fang, don't make poison arrows. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because they don't stack anyway. Yeah, I wish it did though. I wish it like gave you like super ultra poison. That would be amazing. Like doing I just combine it, so you know, if I have a good obsidian arrow, then you have to do a lot more damage than you still do poison, so Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, I just realized I'm gonna need to redo my entire storage area because it's all in normal chest. And I measured it out for normal size chest and the uh the iron chests are a little bit bigger, so I need to do that. Oh, well. Dude, thank you so much for hanging out, uh, old explorer. Gotta go back to work, but we will be streaming for, for uh, many more hours. <laughs> Aiming for four, so we're only at 45 minutes, so another three hours, three and a half probably. You feel like sleeping? Uh, I can. Yeah. And I can go run up on the mountain during the day. How many deaths? That's the question. <laughs> None today. That's my goal. I've, as I've gotten my uh, silver armor, I've noticed that I can take more hits, and so I'm getting more confident. And that might be a good thing, or it might be a bad thing. <laughs> I went after a freaking abomination, dude. That thing. Even with my iron, uh axe it's still that thing has a lot of health on it it does yeah it does i think it's gonna be i i'm assuming with the ashlands when that's released then we might get a fire app, maybe enchantment or something that is gonna make a big difference dude now do you think fire enchantment so we can make anything fire is that what you're saying uh not sure about that Maybe I but... would love something like that. Be able to, even if it's like a limited thing, like you need to use your ether, but uh, it it gives you like a minute or two minutes of fire damage on a weapon. I would uh -huh. love that. You know, or a potion or something like that. You can pour uh, or an oil or something you put on your weapon and it lasts uh -huh. for a minute or two. I would take that. No, I think the there's the one thing that they teased in the images. I think that's the enchanter. I think uh, yes. Doesn't say anything, but it looks very similar to like the thunderstone, uh, the the uh, obliterator. Yeah. But there's some runes on it, similar to the and uh, the gilder table or golder table, whatever the name is. Yeah. See, so yeah. I would love that we have an enchanter, but. Would that take away from the weapons that I already have? Like, we have power weapons now, like when you get to the Mistlands. If you're able to yeah, just enchant. There's, no, there's no weapon, that's just magical staffs, no? 
Oh no, they have like the uh, the electrical hammer. Um, do we have an electrical hammer? We have I the think Frostner. We have Frostner. I think it's also it might be a an axe. The uh, the, uh, the the out gear that is uh, electrical. Yeah. Yeah. So we we do have some, not a lot. Well, there's definitely flaming swords in their tr in their images that they shared. There was a flaming yeah. sword. So. Yeah. So I mean. What if it's just like uh, like the black anvil? You have to have that to make more powerful uh, weapons that are like flame or whatever. Mm -hmm. Might have to shift this a little bit. Hot for them. Nope. Never done. Never done. Never. Uh, what's the consensus worth the purchase? If you're talking about Valheim, uh, Elliot, I would say 100%. It's just like I, I would I would recommend No Man's Sky simply because if it's not the game you want now, they are, they are adding more content to it. Slower than No Man's Sky. It's like once a year, maybe once a year and a half. So they're adding content at a slower pace, but it's all been free as far as I know, right? They haven't charged for any DLC for Valheim, have they? No, no, no. no. It's early access. Yeah, so, I mean, they're constantly adding more features, more areas to but Valheim. The, the state the game is right now, the price it is right now, it is worth it, in my opinion. 100%. 100%. I mean, if if this is your kind of game, some people, you know, they don't like this kind of uh, survival crafting. And if, it, if you don't like the gameplay now, it's not going to change... Like drastically they're not going to make it into some different game this is it they're just adding more content to this that's why i use wooden arrows i miss like half the shots i aim dang it oh no I'll go hammer down here. No. I can't wait till we get our wishbone because I, I guarantee you I've missed so much here that I just can't hammer down and see it. Uh huh. <laughs> they need to add gex to the game. <laughs> yes. I mean, they technically they have gek like creatures. They call them necks that live in the water. <laughs> so have they said anything about like, is Ashlands going to be the last update or are they no, planning no, more? Way deep, more. We still have deep north as well. Okay. So at least two more Ashlands and then deep north at minimum. I know they want to work on the ocean biome as well more, but I think these are more like after 1.0. Okay. What I'm hoping to see is that they do the 1.0, so I think maybe 2025 release of Valheim, and then they do like DLCs. Yeah. And then hopefully released on PlayStation, so people can join us on PlayStation. Do you think they would do PlayStation as a 1.0, like part of the 1.0? Yeah, yeah, because PlayStation is, they are not very uh, keen on early access PlayStation. Yeah. I know they have early access, but it's really, really a rare. Anyone else really looking forward to Enshrouded? I, I played in Shrouded and it felt really cool. The performance was definitely needing to be a little bit more refined, at least for me. I was like, okay, this thing is, it takes a lot to run. Even, you know, on a PC, let alone, I can't even imagine it running on a console. Mm hmm So, but other than that, it felt, I mean, it's definitely early access. I'm sure that they're, they're releasing an early access, so they're going to be adding more to it. But it definitely felt like a really early version, like fantasy version of Valheim. A lot of stuff that mm -hmm. reminded me of Valheim. Did you like Enshrouded Beeble? 
No, I, I did. I was in the beginning disappointed with building until I figured out there was more to it than just the arc style, you know, when... Because I'm not impressed with how arc builds myself. No? What, what is it but, about uh, arc that you don't like? Like, what is that building that you just don't like? Uh, first of all, I don't like the fact that I need to make every piece of parts and then be able to build it. I have the materials to just let me build the, ma the build parts with the materials in my inventory or something. Oh, okay, yeah. So you have, if you want to build a wall, you have to craft the wall first and then you can build the wall. If you're out of walls, you have to craft the wall again, you know, it's... Yeah. Painful. It, that is... Yeah, that is painful. Instead of just using the wood or whatever, you have to mm. make the wall first. Um, I also didn't... There was a weird weird snapping going on as well and you you couldn't build at a certain height because the foundation couldn't reach the bottom so you had to glitch it in and stuff yeah. for uh arc or for enshrouded yeah for arc, for arc enshrouded is doing a much better job and i do like the fact that they have the uh voxel building so that really saves them yeah yeah and that's uh end of january i believe for enshrouded right guys 24th of january i think 24 yeah, yeah there you go so that's coming soon I always get nervous when I don't see any wolves. So I know they spawned <laughs> up somewhere and they're going to creep up on me when I'm not paying attention. Cause, and I've noticed that with a few enemies that they hit really, really hard. Like they take a lot of life, but they also don't have a lot of life. So if you attack them first, you're good. Mm -hmm. Like with the wolf, the wolf has like two or three hits. It's dead. No, no. If you can, if you can get the wolf with an arrow and surprise attack, then you yeah. do it. Yeah, but if you don't, like if it creeps up on you, it does a lot yeah. of damage. It's insane. Or if they are coming with, on you with a, like a, a group, then... Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Did I find some more? I think I just found some more. It's raining. Oh, dang it. Of course I hear that. You probably will get snow soon. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, it's, so I can't see the wolves coming up on me. That's even better. At least I don't have to deal with my golem anymore, dude. That was... For the first, like, two trips up here, I was just running around, running from the golem. Because I kept thinking, I was like, okay, if I kill him and I put down a, a, a workbench, then he won't respawn. And that's not true. He respawns even with a workbench. I was pissed. Which one? The, the golem? Yeah, the golem did. I shouldn't respawn. Well, mine was. Because I know literally his respawn was, like, right, right where my, uh, my silver is. He would respawn, like, right next to this tree. And so I popped down a bench right on top of where he was. He came back. He would. She would show up still. And then I put one That's over weird. on a rock, thinking maybe he destroyed my bench. So then he can. But yeah. So I finally ended it up just getting him stuck. It could be that the wolf destroyed your bench. It could be. And I mean, I, I still I put it up on a rock nearby, so it was out of the way. But they still. Then it's a Drake. Uh, yeah. yeah. I don't know. Let's see. It's not too hard. Oh, <gasps> yep, more silver. Yeah. So I might, I mean, I don't know. Should I put like, I'm, I'm probably going to have extra silver, especially when we get our bone wishbone, I'll be able to get tons more. So I might put some at the village just so people can be ready for bone mass. Yeah. Because at this point, I have everything basically ranked up. I'm only going to worry about my Froster and my Draugr. My Draugr Fang, and that's about it. Everything else I have is already up there. No thing yet. Kevin! Thank you so much again for another super chat, dude! Rockstar Kevin, thank you so very much, man. And he says, when do you think we will get the new Hello Games uh, game? 2024, 2025? I'm pretty stoked. My guess would be 2024. I feel like Hello Games, they, they've been really hesitant to show anything off before it's really ready. And that trailer, number one, the trailer looked like it was basically complete. Like from the trailer, but who knows what that, what that means. But number two, historically, for the last five years, Hello Games 
They don't allow, they don't like showing us like a No Man's Sky update until it's like right ready to release. So I have a feeling we're going to see it in probably mid to late 2024, but that's a guess. Who knows? So that's a good question for you, people. Uh, do you think we're going to see Light No Fire in 2024? If we see it in 2024, it should be the end of the year. Um, end of the year? I... I still believe 2025. Do you think twenty? Do you think it's gonna be end of twenty twenty five? Like a full two years away? I think halfway, halfway twenty five, maybe halfway just 25. before the summer. Now I have a. Now this is all speculation, so no idea. Sean Murray doesn't talk to me. I email him, but he never talks to me. He never emails me back. Uh, <laughs> but my my suspicion is that the uh, void mother whatever that happens to be in no man's sky the final chapter of the storyline mm -hmm. we're on right now is going to lead into light no fire so oh, i did you see my did you see my um my speculation video about the arg no i didn't i missed that one the arg oh wait, didn't they do yeah, that I'm... on twitch uh, what was that company that supposedly was doing it no no the not the not the the one they did with uh um, with the uh singularity Oh no, I did not. I'm actually uh, I'm actually talking about the fact that I think that the ARG was actually talking about Lightner Fire and not about No Man's Sky. Ooh, see, that could be it. I have a feeling that it's just gonna interweave into each other. I think that there's gonna be something with the the ending of this storyline, whatever that happens to be with the Void Mother and all that stuff, uh -huh. that'll lead into Light No Fire, and so. This might not be popular. I don't think the next update we get for No Man's Sky is going to be the big, like, uh, space station overhaul with the new ships. I think we're going to get, like, a smaller, maybe just an expedition next. I don't think we're going to get the overhaul until the big story ending thing until uh -huh, summertime. Uh -huh. It'll be the big summer update. And that might lead into Light No Fire. And so I'm my heart. I want Light No Fire to be the end of 2024, like August, September, you know, that time frame, like right in the fall. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> but yeah, who knows? We have no idea. We just have one trailer and that's it. And what Sean said at the Game Awards. <laughs> so who knows what that means? But I mean, the other thing is, it feels like Hello Games is very hesitant. Uh, they don't like to show things off until they're ready like it's nearly there like with mm -hmm. all the no man's sky updates they don't tell us a year ahead of time they tell us like weeks ahead of time or a month ahead of time and so it won't be a month no. for a, a brand new game but maybe it's like six months ahead what i think now what they were trying to do was attract investors or the platforms like xbox and sony i don't mm, i don't know do you think it's they like, would go back know, to Sony after Hello are, Games? After uh, No Man's Sky? I don't think well, they want to. But not as an exclusive anymore. Yeah, but I mean, if I'm if I'm Sony or if I'm Xbox, I want to be the exclusive. Like, hey, we'll pay you yeah, guys that, for this. I, no, no, no. I wouldn't. I don't think Hello Games. I mean, it, you know what? I I always been speculating and saying yeah. like. I don't think, but you know, they always do it different than we expect. Yeah, we. But no one knows. They got. They got this complete big fan base now on all these platforms, on mm -hmm. Xbox, on PlayStation, on Mac, on... I think it would be very, very weird to now let all of everybody hang except for two platforms. Yeah. Well, and that's what I mean is I think that they won't go that route simply because even if they, they said, hey, look, we want some funding, you know that xbox playstation will ask for it to be exclusive so i don't think they're mm -hmm. going to go that route they're going to say no we can't do it because no, no i don't think yeah. they want to go exclusive i just yeah. want that, what i think is they want to be the um what's the, the the man not the what's the, the what's the word again damn it i forgot the word it's like uh, and demand you know the the marketing talk oh okay they want to be in demand okay no, no, yeah, they want to be the ones that are in control. Yeah. So now they made the game. Are you interested? We yeah. are the ones in control. Not Sony is in control of the release. Not Sony, not Xbox, you know, they are the ones in control. Yeah. Well, I mean, well, and if that's the... To me, if, that, if that's where they want to be, and it, it's 
makes sense that they would. Then you don't you don't need to attract any investors. Like, I feel like the only thing they would probably need help with is distribution, like making the discs for the game. Because every mm -hmm. update for No Man's Sky is digital. You don't have to press a disc. You don't have to put it in a store to sell. So they mm -hmm. might need help with that. Other than that, I mean, they have everything covered. They could put it out digitally only and not have a physical release. I would be sad because I want a collector's edition, but that that would be the only thing I could see they need help with. They say, hey, look, we don't know. We can't put all this together. We need help with the special edition for Xbox and PlayStation. Uh -huh. So if you guys can help us with that. Yeah, that's the only thing I can think that they would need help with. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they do want, you know, a platform, but it wouldn't make sense to me. Like, why would they cut it off and say, well, we're only going to be on PlayStation or whatever, or on Xbox or what have you. And then I guess the other question is, do you think they'll have a play test? Do you think it'll be an early access first, or do you think they're just going to full on release? I don't think early access. I don't think so either. This I is not the way of Hello Games. Yeah, well, not the way of Hello Games, and I don't think they need to, because I think they did technically have an early access, and it's called No Man's Sky. I think they've been <laughs> true, testing true. a lot of that stuff in <laughs> No Man's Sky. Because <laughs> it's the same, we know it's the same engine, because we've seen a lot of the same, a very similar items between both games. Uh -huh. And so I'm sure that there's, it's not one-to-one, -one, like, perfect, but... I'm sure there's a lot of shared stuff, like getting no, no, on your yeah. uh, dragon was the same exact mm -hmm. animation as getting in your ship. I mean, I, they, they've been working on that since 2018. That means since next, they've mm -hmm. been working on it. Yep. We've seen the capes coming into the game. That was a test to see how the capes behave. We saw... We've seen staffs. Staffs? Yeah, as soon as I saw a staff, I was like, this is nothing to do with No Man's Sky. There yeah. is something going on with these staffs. Staves, oh. whatever you want to call them. <laughs> oh... But yeah, and I, I do, I think that Expeditions were a good testing uh, ground for uh -huh. uh, testing out servers for, hey, we're all going to upload bases on the same planet to see how it handles it, how they can show everything, because there's no way they're going to, if we have a million people on one planet, you can't show a million bases. So how do you do that? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They kind of show, oh, we're, gonna, we're only going to show you the 20 randomized ones or what have you. You know, it's not going to be all of them in the same area. And so, yeah, I think that they've been testing it out. So they've had a uh, uh, a beta, an early access test. It was just No Man's Sky. And yeah, like you said, they've been working on it for five years. I have a feeling that what they showed us was probably the game running right now. And they said, yeah, we need to polish up some things here and there. But a year, maybe a year and a half, I have a feeling it'll be out. I just... Let me see. What do you do? Because okay. they're a small team, and they have been working on both games for the last five years. However, do you think they're going to work on both No Man's Sky and Light No Fire at the same time? Uh, I think so, but I think No Man's Sky might take a, a bit of a uh, slower pace. Yeah. What I, I think yeah, I is once Light No Fire is released, I think that's going to be a good thing for No Man's Sky. Yeah. Because that means that the, the team that has been working on Light No Fire will now be able to spread their knowledge, their experience over to No Man's Sky. And we might see things change in No Man's Sky that have been used in Light No Fire. I don't know. See, I, I think it's the opposite. I think that they, because we have not seen a, a galaxy reset in quite some time for No Man's Sky. And I feel mm. like there's some things that they would probably have to, if they wanted to add or change things they would have to do a galaxy reset so i feel like they did one everyone complained because they lost their bases they lost a lot of work and so they didn't want to do that again and the downside of that is we can't add or adjust things to the game because we'd have to do a galaxy reset you know we'd have to reset the planets if we wanted to you know overhaul the water and add more foliage mm -hmm. and stuff we'd have to reset the planets and so that means we're going to, have to reset all these uh bases so Everyone well, hated now the first with everybody time. running to a light no fire, they might be okay with the reset. Who knows? And maybe, maybe. <laughs> or maybe they can use that as a reason to reset. Say, hey, look, they're both speculation. This is not, you know, confirmed or whatever, but maybe both games are connected in some way. And so when light no fire comes out, they can reset 
No Man's Sky and say, okay, they're connected in some way, whichever way. And that's a reason for us to reset it. Mm -hmm. uh, do you want to sleep? We'll see. I don't, I don't know. I, the, the, the last time I thought they would do a reset was with um, Origins. Yeah, I thought so too with that the was, new generation. That was yeah. the one. Yeah, that was the one. Origins was like this, which happened at the time. And now, I don't know. I have a feeling that, and I love No Man's Sky, and I think that they will continue on in some fashion, but I don't, I think they will, uh, they will probably peel back. So instead of having a heavy focus on No Man's Sky, which is their, their main game right now, mm -hmm. and we get, we get constant content updates every couple of months, every three months, we're getting new things. I think that when Light No Fire comes out, that'll be their new focus and they'll still have a team. It'll be a smaller team on No Man's Sky and maybe uh, updates will slow down. So we still get updates, but now instead of every two or three months, it's every six months or maybe once a year like we used to, like the next and the beyond update. Once a year, honest, you get a big update. The once per year updates were mm -hmm, amazing. They were wow, way wow, like better. The, yeah, I think a lot of people kind of have been putting their expectations to like a big to to having every six to eight week update to feel like, for example, a beyond update, which beyond. is not possible, you know? No, so. it's not. Yeah. Yeah. And well, and I, and I feel like they took more time because it was right when, right immediately after No Man's Sky launched. Uh -huh. And so they took more time to make sure it was play tested. So there was fewer bugs. They were, they wanted a substantial amount of content. So that's why it was a year before we got updates. And I would mm -hmm. love for them to do that again, because for as much as I love every couple of months, I don't know how many times I've loaded up and the game has more bugs or more people are commenting yeah. on my videos that they can't play this or that version. The Switch version is broken or the PS4 version is broken for a couple of weeks and they fix yeah. it. But it feels like, OK, if you had more time, if you took a couple, you know, maybe a month later and then released it, then oh, it might be better. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. If you want to, if you want to sleep, I'm just chatting. That's why. I, I gotta be safe. I, saw you, uh, I can't dance around on the mountain while I'm talking because I get distracted. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I feel like it won't uh, it won't speed up No Man's Sky when uh, Light No Fire comes out. I think it'll slow it down, but it might be to the benefit. It might be like, look, we have our small group of 10 people working on No Man's Sky still in 2025 or 2026. However, updates are only now every year. And once a mm -hmm. year, we get a summer update or something like that. And it's a massive update, but they have a year long to make it. Mm -hmm. And I, I think they continue on the expeditions. I think that was the plan is, hey, look, we need something that we can kind of plug in. And so every couple of months, every three months, we do a new expedition and we make them a little bit longer. They last a little bit longer, but it's something to keep people busy between updates. Hey, speculation. Who knows? Maybe, you know, Light No Fire comes out and Sean Murray says, F No Man's Sky, we're done. Never again. I don't think that's going to happen, but it could. <laughs> it's how you call it, their um, the baby. It is their baby. But I just, I, I have, for a while, I've been afraid that uh, No Man's Sky was going to turn into Destiny 2. Destiny 2 started out an amazing game. Everyone loved it. And then... It just got so heavy because they kept updating it and updating it. And mm -hmm. then and then the updates got smaller and smaller and less uh, less liked and less liked. And it's to a point now where it's like, eh, just make a new game because Destiny just they've they've basically they're beating a dead horse at this point. Yeah, just move on to their new it. game. And I feel like we're not there with No Man's Sky, but I feel like I, I feel the tide turning after the 4.0 update. A lot of people kind of dropped off or started getting mixed feelings. But it's before the 4.0 update, No Man's Sky was the best game ever. No one can touch it. Now it's uh, starting to turn a little bit. All right, I'm going to pop this, guys. I can't wait. We're going to pop this uh, silver and then I get to take it down to my boat. See this? Let's zoom out a little bit. Got to get a good shot of this. This is big. One, two is usually it. 
Nope. Three? <laughs> oh, God. There it goes. Oh, yeah. Raining silver. I don't have enough stone. What? Oh, this is not the time, Drake. Seriously? This is not the time. need a wolf to come down here and murder me while I'm collecting my silver. Uh, um, did you... Uh, yesterday, uh, Zane was throwing his silver from the mountain. Was he? <laughs> and uh, and uh, his cart rolled down into the plains. Oh! See, I have to go through the plains, too. So, that's good. Did he freak out? <laughs> did he lose anything? Oh, shit, 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 shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have a video of me doing that. My first uh, silver vein, I did that because I have like a strip. It's like maybe 100, 200 feet of planes. So it's not big, but it's just enough room for locks and everything to spawn up. And so, of course, feelings mm. are down there. And I was just like, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh. So I'm glad I'm not the only one. Go. Right, let's see how much silver we got out of that vein. I think we got like 60, 70. Okay. Really? So, 60... Oh, 85. Okay, I got 85 silver. That's pretty good. I think I gotta get used to it. Silver is heavier than everything else. It's pretty heavy. It is pretty heavy. So, I can't wait. I think 2024 is gonna be a good year for No Man's Sky. I <laughs> that the finally we're going to get our freaking uh space station overhauls i'm so excited that the interior is changing because i was afraid they were only going to do the exterior yeah, the interior looks amazing to be honest it looks so cool as far as i saw yeah and they definitely gave enough again to get us teased because you know the yeah. little uh, racing flanks yes definitely got me like hmm. yes well and then i mean if it's a racing uh ship type what does that mean? What do you think that means? Like, is it just a faster ship or is there going to be racing in the game? I can't understand how they would do ship racing. Well, the question is, are they going to do this like multiplayer or is this going to be like, you know, somebody does a race and then they put the time online and then something oh, like that. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. What if there is like you can do it? Uh, well, they would have to have prefabricated ones at that point because you can't let people well, yeah, make you it can't, the thing is they need to fix the multiplayer that's the one thing they need to do if they want to make this work that's the always the concern i have i don't think they are i think at this point they they it feels like they hit a limit with 32 players and it worked and it was okay it was still rocky and then it just got worse and worse and so now i, I don't think they're gonna fix it if anything it's one of those deals where once you give it you cannot take it back so they, I, they probably caught up in the point where they can't take it down to 16 or, or 12 players because then it feels like you're taking away something. Mm. So, I mean, it's, it's one of those deals where they say 32 and I have not seen a 32 player game in like a year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but they can't say can't, they can't go back and say, well, actually, we're removing. I mean, they could, but they probably feel like they can't take it back. Like, oh, well, we're going to cut down to 12 players. Sorry, guys. 12 is more manageable. It works better with only 12. I mean, I don't know. What What is the reason? Why is it happening? Did they take the servers uh, and split them in half so they could start testing? For light no light fire? No fire? I don't know. Oh, I mean, there's so much speculation going on, and we yeah. just have to see. 
I am yeah. hoping one day that we see that once Lightning of Fire drops, that uh, we see improvements to No Man's Sky as well. Yeah. So the focus gets split and, you know. I don't know. I mean, I hope that is the case. Like, that is the ideal scenario where they, they, they're they concentrating on Light No Fire right now. That's why No Man's Sky is suffering a little bit. And then once it's out, they can do both and not worry about it. However, uh -huh. I have a feeling, my fear is they're going to jump over to Light No Fire because it's the new game. It's the new baby. And they, they still do No Man's Sky, but it's not going to improve. It's just going to be basically keep it going you know it's mm -hmm. it's gonna collapse and not be as well and it's not gonna improve very much but at least it won't die and i hope that's not the case but i mean you know it's up to them and they <laughs> they uh they want to be an independent small independent studio and i get that but there's a certain point where you're like look hire up a no man's sky team i it might it's not easy you're gonna have to find people who are good at what they do that love no man's sky and do all that stuff but hire people and just say look we have our dedicated 30 people that just work on no man's sky and the rest of us are moving over to light no fire mm -hmm. but these people we know they can do it we trust them they know what they're doing with it and they will be able to fix it and dedicate all their time to it rather than being split between two games. Because, I mean, there's only so much physically you can do as a person. You know, when there's 30 people, you, you can't yeah. just go faster. You can't work harder. It's, there's a limit. Faster, harder. There's a yeah. song, no? <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But yeah, I mean, it is what it is. It's, there's the, there is to make. And I'm still going to play it, and it looks like I will enjoy Light No Fire, and I love No Man's Sky still. For all of its faults, I really think it's one of the st still one of my favorite and one of the top survival games out there. It's better than, like, Ark. I you know some people might argue with me on that, but I think it's better than Ark. It's still, you know, it's still good. I just wish it was a little bit better. Yeah, actually, that happened to Dork. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Uh, Zane's cart catapulted him away. <laughs> away? <laughs> his 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 uh, cart flipped while he was hold. You know, was connected to it, and <laughs> <laughs> he got just <laughs> yeah. See, I haven't had that happen. Holy cow! That would I would be nervous of getting fall damage and dying. Uh, didn't see. Him. Oh yeah, torqued in there. Uh, BK Khan says, at what point do you feel like they can call No Man's Sky done? Surely we cannot expect any dev to constantly keep adding content to never-ending game. <sighs> mm, they've been doing it uh, with. I say Minecraft. Uh, what you call it? Minecraft. Yeah. Minecraft has been going for what twenty years at this point. <laughs> now maybe not twenty, maybe like fifteen. But yeah, they've been going. And so I think they could. Now, do I think No Man's Sky will be like that? No. I think that there will be an ending point. I just... I mean... They could end it right now. They could end No Man's Sky right now, and I would call it finished. Simply because it's feature complete. I know that, uh, like, uh, Captain Steve has some gripes about how, well... They mentioned this in 2015. They mentioned this one feature. We still haven't gotten it yet. I think that's a... Yeah, well, good a, luck waiting. Yeah, good luck waiting. There's some things that we'll never see because they had an idea. Mm -hmm. They thought it would work. And then either they tried it and it didn't. Or they're like, dude, there's no way. The engine or the engine is limited or the game itself just won't allow it to be. Or maybe it's something that, that sounds really good on paper. And then when you start playing it, you're like, ah, this actually kind of sucks. Mm -hmm. So I think a lot of that is going to fall into that category. But as of right now, if you, if, knock on wood, if Hello Games went into bankruptcy, defaulted, and ended tomorrow, no more Hello Games, they cannot finish the game, I would still say that No Man's Sky is finished. It needs polish for sure, bug fixes for sure, but it is feature complete. 
Like, you could play the game from beginning to end. There's a lot of meat there. There's living ships. There's outlaw stations. There's a ton of stuff there. It's just it needs to be polished in the fact that, like, multiplayer doesn't work really well. <laughs> yeah. You know, there's some oh. features that just feel buggy. And to me, and I don't know if this is by design or not, but there's some things that feel like they're just shoveled on. Like living ships. You could play the entire game and not run into anything with living ships. You won't even know that living ships exist in the game. Because you have to get a void egg, you have to buy a void egg, then you also have to fly around with it for it to even appear. Like, there's no indication that living ships are in the game until you've done a few things. You have to pay, pay 3,500 Quicksilver yeah. for it, no? Yeah, 3,500 Quicksilver, and most people aren't going to do that in a week or two. You need to save up forever. And, I mean, I, not forever. I think if you just do the weekend events, you do it in three weeks. You can get enough money to do that. But just I mean, fly around with it. yeah, just who's going to buy it? And then what are you going to do with it? You're going to like, oh, what is this thing? And you don't know what it is. You put it in your inventory and you wait around and fly around for a while until it activates, until something happens. Most people are going to I think you get a mission. No, if you buy the egg, I think it happens, the melody or whatever. I don't anyway. think it mm -hmm. does. I think you have to pulse drive for a certain amount of time for it to activate. Like randomly, it'll activate after you pulse drive. I mean, it, doesn't it say it? Doesn't it say it on the egg when you buy it? Like, uh, that you have to do something with it? I'm not entirely sure Maybe. anymore. It's been so long it's, ago. I was like, it's been a while since I've done it. I, to be fair, I haven't played the Living Ship update since January of this year. So mm -hmm. about a year. So they, I know that they've been updating it. And I thought for sure, like with the 4.0 update, that's the reason why I did it. I was like, oh, did they overhaul this thing because no one cares about it? Nope. It still takes days to do unless you fast forward your time. They have the uh, time limit, the buffers of 23 hours, which is ridiculous. But anyway, there's stuff like that where I wish that they would integrate it into the game. So like, as you're doing the Artemis storyline, for instance, maybe they give you a random uh, Void Egg for free, and you don't know what it is, it's in your inventory, and then it activates, or whatever. You know, give us a reason, kind of join them all together, because right now it's randomized, just like the... Um, the Tales of the Deep or Dreams of the Deep. You will just randomly get it as you're uh, pulse driving to different systems. Mm -hmm. So at, at least you run into that. Same thing for the outlaw stations. You'll act, you'll, if, if you pulse drive for enough times, you'll randomly run into a ship that needs help. It's things like that. But integrate it more into the uh, storyline so it's all together. But I mean, that's just a weird complaint that I have. It's not saying that it's wrong yeah, I, or anything. I never, I never really was a big fan of the living ship anyway. So yeah, I did, I did the the, the mission and then I stopped it. Yeah, and I think I think most people did. I mean, they they did it just. Oh, uh, well, I would I would argue maybe when it first came out, most people did. Now a brand new player from six months ago probably doesn't know about it. Or if they do, they're like, I'm not doing that. No one uses a living ship. It's not like it's some like overpowered ship that you really want it's not mm -hmm. worth the effort so i have a feeling that yeah a lot of people are ignoring that and there's a lot of stuff in there like that and it feels like it might be by design at this point because they don't want it to they don't want it to be like a requirement but sometimes it's kind of nice to have it in as a requirement like with the echoes update they literally made the um uh, the harmonic camps, the settlements, a requirement to even get to the uh, out of phase stuff. Which, to be fair, some people got upset with. <laughs> so I can understand why they wouldn't do it, but I, I appreciated that. I'm like, okay, it's a reward for actually completing parts of the game. But yeah, there's a lot of people who are like, no, I hate it. You have to do all this stuff and I don't <laughs> like it. Like, well, okay. Just like, I. I'm sad. I don't think we'll ever get another permadeath expedition, and I love that one, man. That one was so good. But I, nobody else feels like they liked it. Yeah, I know. I think even if they would allow us to make the uh, expedition permanent ourselves, it doesn't have the same feeling, no? Yeah. Well, I mean... Because the game... The, yeah. the, the, the It was programmed to be permanent. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, it was one of the milestones was to die and come back. It was on the first mm -hmm. step, so you had to purposely do it. But yeah, I mean, the only way I could think of it, it's probably way too much work, is 
have different rewards for different planes. So like on normal mode, you get one set of yeah, rewards, well, but if on permadeath, you get more. Of, yeah. The amount of uh, pushback I got from that ID. Yeah, I know. Well, number one, pushback, because people, you know people will complain. But number two, yeah. the amount of work, because you'd have to make two different types of, like basically you make two different expeditions at once. Mm. So it would be more work for sure. I would love, I mean, or you just, I, it wouldn't work as well, but yeah, let us do our own expeditions on permadeath. Like, let me choose the expedition and then at the next screen, it says, well, which difficulty you want to play on normal? Do you want to play on permadeath or even survival? Give me survival. That's fine. <laughs> but I have a feeling nobody else would like that. <laughs> not nobody else. I'm sure there's a few of us, but not very many. I really enjoyed the permanent one. It was, I did uh, too. It was really fun. That's why I, I use that cloak every time. Because, like, dude, I have I made it, I did it, and I did it multiple times because it was so good. I even sped run that thing. Oh, oh no, you don't. Come on. But yeah, I have a feeling yeah. that Light No Fire comes out. It, they're going to slow down to the betterment of No Man's Sky. Just say, hey, look, we're going to slow down. Mm -hmm. We're going to focus on Light No Fire. I think they're going to switch over and do, hey, new content every three months for Light No Fire. However, that means content for No Man's Sky is going to slow down to where it's only going to come out every year or every six months yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Which is good. I have so many onions. Do we need onions for anything other than like in the mountains? Do they need onions? I know we have like wolf kebabs. Uh, I think you need it for the salads uh, oh, later. Oh yeah, I forgot about salads. Oh, do we need it for like fish wraps? I don't think so. Okay. I think you need the dough and fish as far as I know. That's it. All right. Yeah, because well, once we start getting bread, dude, it's gonna be lox pie all the time, man. <laughs> once we beat the planes. Wait, no, wait, once we did beat the mountain, I might risk going to the play, to the uh, Mistlands. <laughs> You're going to go to the Mistlands? No, see, no. You want to see how tough it is? I want to know. I want to get the um, Jordan Poofs. Oh, God. No. So I can make salads. Well, you have to. You can only grow it in the Mistlands, right? You need to clear out a spot. Yeah. Oh, no. I don't know if I want to do that. I've been thinking about making a, uh, a farm on my on my area over here, because I have a little section of uh, planes over no, here, so I can probably make a farm. <laughs> you done puff. <laughs> just say, hey, hey, Zane, you can jump in here. Play some with us, man. I don't know what your schedule is. You don't have to. I'm not, I'm not forcing Play you Play with us, Zane. <laughs> uh, uh, Zane, be jealous. I'm almost maxed out on all my silver stuff now. But we do bone mass, it's gonna... If I die on bone mass, I might just quit Valheim at that point. Because <laughs> I am so decked out in freaking silver, I, it, I shouldn't die. <laughs> There's no reason other than I'm terrible. Yeah, we don't need my hammer anymore. There he is. <laughs> there you are. Yeah, get in here, man. I can spare an hour, then it's back to my video. No, no, no. Don't do any real life stuff. Don't pay rent. Don't, like, visit family. <laughs> I've just got home from uh, visiting family. Oh, see, see, you could have been here this whole time. You had to go visit family and stuff. Yeah, who needs <laughs> to see relations? Exactly. You don't need that. Uh, I was saying uh, before you popped in, I uh, have full on silver. Basically, all my gear is level four. Yeah. Nice. So I'm maxed I've, out on I've, silver. I've got the silver to do it. I just need some extra wolf pelts now. Oh, yeah. I was going to give you some. Do you want some? Oh, I took six from your thing. Oh, okay, good. I, I owe you six. All right. No worries. I mean, no rush on that. Because I, I don't think we need wolf pelts for anything else in the plains, do we? It's all no. just linen. Oh, no. Like, after after the armor and, uh, like, uh, rugs. Yeah. I am good. Now, I, good I know that they were uh, they were telling you that the deer and the wolf 
rugs don't combine. Is that true? Yes. Oh, son yeah, of a... they used to be separate. I think, but that yeah. was a very long time ago, and they they messed with uh, comfort levels a while back, Dang like Hearth and Home, maybe. I was hoping that way I can just put down a because I have enough to make probably a few wolf pelts. You had like twenty four when I th when I took the six. Yeah, yeah, dude, I went through and I maxed out my chest armor, so I took a few, but I still have I think twenty. Let me look. Yeah, fifteen left, so I can make a couple of pelts or rugs. Oh. Skip this, skip it in, no. Oh yeah, I need to crash my ship. By the way, do you know that ha thing I could, me and Bob keep doing? Uh huh. I just ended up doing that with my father. <laughs> <laughs> it was just like I, I told him the noise, like like ha, and then he tried it, and then he realised that we're both the same. And we just got her to each other for like five minutes. <laughs> that is that is true love right there. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like like that there is no doubt that I'm his son. <laughs> oh. Everybody likes a Jotun boof, Jotun boof. Yeah. <laughs> You hear people say, oh, after we do the mountains, I'm going to run to the Mistlands. There's no way, dude. You're going to get murdered Yeah, that's why there. I was in chat going, yup, then poof. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way, people. You're going to get murdered out there. Um, just uh, I'll, smart. I'll, I'll help. I'll protect him as well. Oh, well, you, you guys want to so do a farm? If he shares. Because <laughs> <laughs> I also want the yup, then poof to make the salad. Oh, the salad? The salad? <laughs> the salad. Saladary. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> so I don't know if you caught the beginning of my stream, uh, Zane, but I uh, decided to go mess with a village right across from my base, and I didn't, they, I didn't survive because I ran away across the river thinking I was safe, and they swam across that river and attacked me right outside my walls. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, couldn't oh, believe no. it. I, I thought for sure. <laughs> so oh, the oh did you actually die though? I did. I literally died. Oh. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I didn't think they would swim all the way across the river. <laughs> yeah. I, was, I, <laughs> hauled, <laughs> I hauled all the way across the river. I had no stamina. I was out in my field, like, maybe 100 feet from my uh, my base, and they got me. Yeah, they <laughs> super it. hate you, man. Dude, they were, yeah. So now, anytime I sail through there, they are ready to go. <laughs> like, oh, crap. How far into the night is it? Uh, uh, midway? It's midnight. Oh, okay. And then I shall grab get the few of the serpentis. All right. It's serpent murder time. Everybody likes to murder a serpent now and then. Now and then. Everybody likes to murder a serpent. How many scales have you gotten? Uh, is there any more? I've only got six because I've only killed them at sea. Oh, dang it. I want to get a trophy so bad. Getting, I've got a trophy, That's... but only one. Dang it! I need to get one. And I... that was from uh, jumping off the ship mid-swing with a mace and hitting <laughs> him for the final blow. Yes, That's how you do it. And of course, I have it on video. Yes. So they were telling me in the in the chat that your cart flung you. When you're doing your silver run. Yeah, so <laughs> I made the mistake of putting it so the handles were the facing me when I was pushing it off and thinking like, ah, I'll be fine. So I pushed it off and the handles catapulted me <laughs> down a very steep mountain. <laughs> no! But luckily I had enough health and uh, I only took <laughs> one bit of fall damage so I didn't bounce. Uh, so I had like 16 health or something, or 20 health. <laughs> Good lord. See, that's my Shit dangerous brew. Dude, that is my big fear. I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> you don't have time for that. <laughs> exactly. I don't got time for that. Cause I, I just it's my mountains. I have about a hundred, maybe hundred and fifty feet between my mountains, and there's hundred and fifty feet of plains until I get to my uh, black forest. And so, of course, because my luck is awesome, I always have fueling spawn right there when I'm kicking my cart down. Oh my god. 
So my big fear is I'm going to be attached to that thing and just eat it on the way. I don't want well, to die. I, I made a bit of a path around the mountain. I put loads of effort in, and then as I was trying to get it up, a very, very slight incline to the start of the path, my cart ended up going over the edge, taking me with it. I managed to just about roll away from the cart to get out of it before it took me with it. Oh, and then it started rolling towards planes, and I'm like, well, that's got 300 silver in it. Bugger. No. That's a lot of... What are you up to? Have you maxed out all your stuff yet? Your silver? Well, I've got the silver to do it. I just haven't... I'm smelting yeah, it at the moment. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, you were talking about your, uh... Your wolf pied. I need the wolf hide and the coal to smelt. I need that. I need that. Wait a minute. No. Wait a minute. stuff ready I'm gonna kick down mine I got 80 silver oh, and I should serpenti. be done oh serpenti there is viking flesh for you oh serpenti oh serpenti I have a poison arrow I'll shoot your face and eat your meat <laughs> and you will scream oh shit oh shit <laughs> Uh, oh, Kung Fu was wondering, uh, we were talking about Light No Fire earlier, Zane. What are your thoughts on it? Do you think it'll be 2024 or 2025 or later? I think the earliest it will be is next. So the end of 2024, so like autumn. Um, yeah. And I think with have only just renouncing it, I do think it's... So most games are announced like three plus years before release. I don't think it's that far away. I think they wanted to make sure they were much further along than that yeah. with it being Hello Games, but I think it's one to two years away. Okay. I don't think it's longer than two, and I don't think it's shorter than six months. Yeah. Well, I expect nine months plus. Yeah, I would say that's probably the earliest oh, would yeah. be summer, just because they haven't even rated it yet. Like, there's no rating for any game called Light No Fire in any combination of... So, I'm hoping yeah. they will ho host a preview session and invite us. Do you think they would? I mean, most games do like a preview session for and invite press and nowadays YouTubers. If they did that and didn't invite us, that would be a bit... That would be sad. I would be very sad. I mean, sad. you know, they can do what they want. It's their yeah. game, but I'd be sad if they didn't invite us. I, I mean, there's people who no are... Serpents. Yeah, there we go. Daytime. There are people who are speculating that they might do early access, and I don't think that's going to be the case for it. No, I don't think they'll do early yeah. access. And so, I mean, they have a lot of they have a lot of love from the No Man's Sky community. We are all talking about it. I can I can imagine where they just say, "Look, we everyone knows about it. That's going to buy it. It's going to be." amazing word of mouth we really don't need anybody out here pimping it i would love it as a content creator i would love it but as a company they might want to keep it in but they still hiding. do sessions with press even for no man's sky these days yeah less so than when they release the thing but they still do talk to press and uh inform them of upcoming updates to be able to uh maximize promotion when it comes out True, but I mean, when's the last time they invited YouTubers out there? Never. Yeah. Well, that's, no, but yeah. it's a different thing to release a game yeah, than no, to no, no, just no, do an update. True, yeah. true. But I don't know. I still would be like mm, hesitant. I would love it. I'm not. I'm not saying anything. Oh, yeah, I mean, or I'm anything, not getting my hopes yeah. up. This is just a hope, yeah. and I think it's a semi-reasonable potential, but I'm not expecting it. Because then I'll just Espe be sad. Especially it for the uh, hype they are building up to it already. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like you're saying they don't need the promotion. They promoted it on the Game Awards. It's uh -huh. like, it's not like they're not thinking of promotion. I, I'm not saying that they don't think about it, but it's a different level when you invite people out. And I mean, I would I would hope that we are part of that group, but maybe we're not. Maybe they do invite some and not us. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think there's a very high possibility they only invite press. Yeah. Because... Um, like they've always kind of drawn a line to what is seen as professional media mm -hmm. 
Um, but I also don't know if that's them or a company that works on behalf of them. So, uh, you know, it could be many things. Um, could be. Uh, yeah, it's just like a, a, a hope more than anything. Also addicted to these events now. I've been to two and I want more. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, yeah, dude. One of these days I'll be a big YouTuber like you and I'll get invited to an event. <laughs> <laughs> like the, uh, the, like the, because it would be actually, it would only be like a me and Captain Steve that it would be chill for, because it'd probably be in the UK. Oh, yeah. So it was really like the Lords of Fallen one was in the UK and that was really chill because I just had to get a train. I'm going to send a message to Sean. Why don't you come to Malta? Hmm? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, he's going to come to Malta. <laughs> well, go to Malta and have an event. How many, uh, how many people uh, that we uh, could invite to this event? Two. Two. <laughs> people done and uh, this uh, journalist. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh. Oh, because I can tell you in Malta, if you come in the summer, you won't have to light no fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a dad joke. Uh, I've had a full <laughs> night of dad jokes. I have. You never have too much. Never. Oh, I don't think you've had enough then before. <laughs> no, no, dude. I've had, uh, let's say one, two, five dads. In a, in a full night of uh, of Christmas cheer, that uh, all love the uh, the dad jokes. So I had a nice seven hours of dad jokes. I love it. Never too much. Oh. So if we shift this all to the right. Then you shift in here, but then you shift open, I think. That was uneventful for taking all my silver down the, uh, the mountain. Silver down the mountain. I brought too many nails. All right. Thinking bloody uh, never gonna give you up earlier. <laughs> I'm afraid it's too late. So do I. And oh. now it's stuck in your head too. Oh, I'm immune because I worked in radio. You don't know how many times I'd get calls from people saying, if I hear Journey one more time, I'm gonna burn the building down. I'm like, yeah, sorry, we gotta play it. I'm going to burn this mother down. <laughs> oh. Okay, so it doesn't make a change here. It doesn't make a difference here. Mm, okay, I will leave it. When you scoop it, do. And you do be scoop it, scoop it, doop it, do. Don't throw your arrows on it. You know. By the time we get the power for mortar and I can change the wind to whatever I want, I'm not going to need it. That's the yeah, we were saying this last night. It's like, <laughs> I think that's like a complaint. You, yeah. By the time you get the powers, you know, you no longer need them. Yeah. I mean, you never need them, but the need is very, very minimal at that point. Once you have them. Yeah. So you've done most of the exploring. Yeah. Or it's, it's almost like there's a moral to it. <laughs> yeah. Or it's like, uh, like right now, we're skipping through the swamps to go to the mountains so we can get silver so we can beat the swamps. If we did it in order, we would get all of our silver after beating bo Bone Mass, and you don't really need silver in the mountains. I mean, it's helpful, but I mean, I would rather get silver before the swamp, because that way you can use silver in the swamp. Yeah. And so that's the thing. At one point, they made it so you had to kill bone mass in order to get the iron sledge, which yeah. the only reason you'd really build the iron sledge is to fight bone mass. 
<laughs> and use it in the swamps. It was like, and the, the, it was so ridiculous that they actually uh, retconned it. Good. And uh, made it so you could get the Emir flesh before the uh, bone mass. Yeah. Do you think in a future update they will go through and once they've done all of their biomes, they'll go through and say, okay, we need to do a, a final pass and maybe adjust it so that there's a better order to things? I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure they'll do some, like, game uh, UX uh, optimizations and stuff, for sure. But um, I think they're taking it quite seriously in, in most of the ways they do it. So I think most things will be kept the same. Yeah. Though they probably will make the majority of the changes right before release. Like, as in... 1. Like, I think the release one will be b b quite a bit different to the update before. Really? I might not be making much sense. I'm very tired today. No, no. So, okay. So, you, you think they're going to save the big overhaul till right before release? Well, not, not so much save it as... Like, I think they'll want there to be a clear difference of release versus uh, final, yeah. you know... Because it makes uh, sense also as a sales person. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Ottering through the swamp is getting some cool. Yeah, I need That's to go through the cool. swamp. I need to get more uh, iron. How much iron do you have, Zane? You still have like hundreds of iron? Oh, crap. You just reminded me. I've got about 300 in the swamp to pick up still. Oh, dude. Holy cow. I've got 150 or so smelting ready. <laughs> Go for it. Yeah. Enough. Because, well, I mined 974 total. Jeez. I think I've mined like 300 total so far. Oh, I've used 7 to 800 in my crafting. I really? Think. No. 700, yeah. Oh, oh no, not 700. Six, six to 650. That's it. Sorry. And crafting, like, what are you... Not just gear, right? Yeah, gear tools. So I've got level 4 huntsman bow, level 4 iron mace, uh, mm -hmm. level 3 iron buckler, level 4 iron axe, level 4 iron pickaxe, level 4 iron armor. I've got a level 4 iron sledge. The sledge alone is 120 yeah. iron. Oh, okay. So, yeah, so you've made more gear than I. I skipped some of it because I knew I was going to silver. It's a slightly worthless piece of... Yeah. Like, I didn't do the bow because I was waiting for uh, the Draugr thing. And, dude, I love this thing so much. It's so yeah. good. I'll be getting mine once it's all this silver smelted. Give it a little smelteroo. Smelterooney. Smelterooney dooney doo. Well, I'm glad. I had a vote on my uh, stream to see which one I should do first. And we, they went, it was mountains first because I assumed they wanted me to die. And uh, <laughs> I didn't die. And I got a, like, a lot of silver. So I'm going to be able to max out my, my Frostner and my Draugr Fang. And then go back into the swamp to get more iron. Because I remembered last night uh, the planes, you need a lot of iron for like the padded armor and stuff. Mm. Yeah. Well, you don't need that much, actually. It's pretty... But you do need some, yeah. Yeah. Now, do you need it for upgrades or just for the initial building it? Uh, I think you need it for upgrades. I cannot remember. Yeah, I don't remember very much. I just... It snapped in my brain. I was like, well, what do we need for... So I assumed it was black metal, but that's only for the weapons. The armor needs iron. Yeah, iron and uh, linen. Linen. Yeah. Lanoon throod. I'm going to have to throw away another 20 bloody uh, uh, cores here to pick up all this coal. <laughs> I've started, I mean, I think there's 20 or 30 cores in the village now because I filled up a box and I'm like, I'm not going to use all this. So I just started dumping it at the village. Yeah, once I've sorted these out to be able to collect them more efficiently, I'll be able to bring the cores back and, you know. Well, the, we, only, we don't need more than the chest in the village either. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, we don't need that much. It's just portals at this point, right? I mean, smelters, maybe, if someone's willing to build a big old, like, smelter farm. Yeah, I'm planning to. I'm not sure if I'm, I'm going to do it on this server, though, or just for my the guide on a creative. Because I designed one, like, 
a year and a half, two years ago, mm -hmm. or whatever. It was like the, it was the near the end of the year when we first started playing it, and like uh, I'm in to make a video and never did because I never <laughs> carried on doing Valheim guide content on my second channel. But yeah. now I'm planning, now I'm doing it, so I'm going to uh, do these guides. I've been planning for far too long. Yeah, do it. Have you guys been keeping up with the uh, No Man's Sky expeditions, or do you not care? Yeah, uh, well, that's the video I've got to finish after this little session. Okay. No, 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 you don't need long. to finish that. You're good. Just don't do it. <laughs> Just play Valheim all day. I've already, I've already, uh, I've already worked it all out and stuff. I've got the full route done, like basically a speed run. Step okay. by step thing. I just need to uh, run it and then brief edit. Okay, well, yeah, I take it back. Do that video right now because I'm going to do speed runs tomorrow. I need your video. <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing speed runs myself, so you are welcome to it. But... I, I already have like a rough speed run down in my head, so I should be able to do it. And I don't know who. I think it's just me and Delta doing speed runs, so I just have to be Delta. Delta to glean a little more efficiency from it. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, you know. Like, uh, for the Singularity one, Delta was writing down all the, uh, the numbers for every camp and everything, and I just, I was like, ah, I can't be bothered to do that. That'll save me a oh, yeah. good couple of minutes, but, um, nah. I did that on the original as well. Yeah. Because you need to know exactly which camp is which when you load in, so you know where, like, which direction the, uh, minerals and the water is and stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah, see, I, I didn't do any of that pre-planning. I'm just like, oh, fly by the seat of my pants and get upset because... I don't have any of the stuff I need. <laughs> That's how I like to play it. Really, sorry, I was talking about a frigging video I'm doing, which you've already done while you're streaming in your channel. My apologies. <laughs> no, dude, you need to put out a video, dude. Uh, well. And that, that's the thing is my videos are never as in-depth as yours because you do a lot of work. I'm like, I'll just quickly do it. Give some really like really uh, broad pointers saying, hey, you might want to do this and that, but no details simply because I'm cutting it like the day of the release. Yeah, I'm, I'm way too slow with my videos. That's just that's my main issue. It's not slow. You're just in depth and that is an advantage a lot of times, but sometimes it's like, dude, this thing only, only lasts a week. You got to get it out quick. Yeah, my plan was to get it out for like Saturday, but I've, that clearly didn't work. Yeah, well, it was holidays, man. You gotta do Christmas and all that. Yeah. This uh, Christmas did, uh, I don't say get in the way of it, but you know, it's kind of this. It did. <laughs> well, it was good. It was fun. <clears throat> A uh, full set of padded armor plus linen cape is 96 iron and 209, 279 linen and one. What's one silver? Is that for the uh, the cape? I'm assuming because one one silver seems kind of out of really? place. Yeah, that, I, that's the only thing I can think of. And to be fair, I'm not doing a linen cape because I'm going to upgrade my locks cape and just keep that. Yeah. Linen's cool to look at, but I'm not wasting the materials for that. Because it gives me... I, I'm assuming padded also protects you against the cold as well, so you don't really I need it. I don't know. No? I can't remember. I don't think the chest has that. The yeah. locks... That's probably why the locks cape does. Yeah. Well, I mean, I have my locks, so I'm going to upgrade that when I get there, so... I'm not too worried about the linen cape. Yep, it is for the uh, cape. Yeah, that one silver. So yeah, you can save on that silver. And then I'm trying to I rack think my does brain. Does any of the capes do really give armor? No, it's only just four, no? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's only, only yeah. four. Yeah, the only thing, you, only advantage you get is the uh, the durability goes up with the yeah. more advanced stuff. but. And once you get to uh, Mistlands, it's going to be yeah, Feather Cape all the way. <laughs> yep, Feather Cape Hell's all the way. Oh, I can't wait till... Uh, have they upgraded? Because I know the uh, the Mistlands armor, you can only go to level two. Have they increased that? No. Oh, God. That's annoying. That, that why, is. They should have done the level four for that. I mean, like, yeah. From if, the get -go. if you're going to do it, just give us the max. Come on. Of course, we probably will need something from the Ashlands to make a, an upgrade. 
But that doesn't make sense, though. You should be able to make it from that. From zone. that biome, yeah. Because every other biome, like the mountains, you no, no, only no, need no, mountains. No, if you, you, you need to make bronze as well. So you cannot beat the. Uh, every every uh, armor is always after a boss. But that's that's not. So if I want to beat, well, wait, no. Yeah, yeah, I cannot upgrade my bronze armor beyond because I need to have obsidian, so that means I need to go to the mountains or... Oh, do you mean to level four? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we can't do yeah. to level four. We can do to level three. All the other yeah. ones well, we can do to level four. It's, it's, to be fair, it's not for the armor itself. It's for your upgrade ability, for your uh, workstation. So you have to get your workstation to a certain level before you can upgrade it to that. So you can get all yeah, the materials, you just can't... That's the case with the Mist Lancer as yeah. well. But... The bronze is the only one you can't take to four within before the boss, though, isn't it? Uh, can you upgrade your iron before? I don't think so, because you need obsidian, I got mine so you have to go to, to the mountains. level four before we went to the mountains. Really? Yeah. I don't know. I, I went full on to the mountains. I don't know. Because we had a bunch of upgrades with the iron to the forge. Yeah, I cannot check anymore, but yeah, maybe I do. Either way, it's annoying <laughs> to not get yeah. to <laughs> yeah. a level four, or at least a level three or something. It feels like it's unfinished, and it's just been unfinished for a year now. <laughs> well, that run was pretty dang good for the coal. I got 171 coal. Nice. <laughs> And I couldn't even carry all the coal that dropped. Come, smelters, smelt me my silver. I will fill you with the gold. Ancient park. Oh, God, I hate it when they need all of the items. Like, to upgrade the uh, fang, to draw your fang, you need ancient bark, deer hide, and guck. And I have it all, but I have to go collect it now. Dang it. <laughs> Too lazy to walk over here. Oh god, yeah, maybe don't pull out all the wood. Oh god. No, no. Smelters, I filled you, you are now a burning. Burn it today, oh smelters. Times up, I like it. Boo-doo, cha cha cha. Good lord. You need a lot of silver to upgrade, Jesus. Okay, I should have enough. Are you hunting for more uh, serpents? No, I'm currently feeling my smelt. <laughs> oh, oh, you're doing your uh, silver. Yeah. <laughs> if you need to sleep, you can sleep. I don't know if you're... I am near the bed as well, if you need. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's sleep if you can. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. 
I'll Run see you. Away. I'll be right there, just whacking a last bit of bloody stew for my things and my things in my sleep. Hey! Then we dig all. And. Right! Hello! Better room! Sweet. So I made that's some. 60, uh... That's 60 silver instantly smelted, cheers, chance. Yes! So uh, I, I made some uh, cold brew tea, not green tea. I made some black cold blue brew hmm. tea. It's so good. Yeah, cold brew, man. It's the way to go. It is. Oh. I mean, to be fair, I'm also pumping it full of stevia, but it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh. well, at least it's steve stevia or yeah. stevia, whatever stevia. you want to call Stevia. I don't know if you British people call it stevia. Is that what it is? I have no idea. Oh. Uh, I have no clue. Oh no, I have no call. That one's a flower. That is the Krause talk. So yeah, it looks like I am ready to go. I need to just upgrade my oh. crossing. 30? Yep, I do. So, level 3 Froster. 30 silver? What is level 4? 45! Good lord! That's a lot of damn silver. Yeah, that Frostner is another 120 to get it, but it's yeah. silver this time. Yeah, that's insane. Never can't give you. I'm never gonna let you down there, buddy. Almost out of coal. I gotta run back through my uh, my swamps. <laughs> Lord. Now he's regretting inviting me. Never. I need more music in my life. I'm dropping some more wood off at the uh, at the village. Anything I if I have a full box, I just go back to the village and drop off my extras just because I feel like a waste if I throw it on the side or something. He's always emptying his box at the village. Always. <laughs> I will say I get a little nervous. I don't like coming back to the village simply because I don't want to like activate a raid when no one else is here. <laughs> like, oh god, I don't want to fight off a raid at the village by myself. It'd be good training. I mean, it would be good training for me, but I, I know it would destroy the, the village itself because we just have the walls up and that's it. The troll will just There's walk no right through. Anymore. People just rebuild it. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I feel guilty anyway. <laughs> ah, bees will just can, take care of it. I can feel the uh, I can feel the bees. Screw you, it. <laughs> Screw you guys. Oh. Um, there's no more boars in there. I cannot care less. Oh, yeah, boars. No boars and <laughs> screw it. Let it go. Try to rebuild that several times. See, I was only here for the one destruction. Did it get destroyed in multiple raids? Yeah, it was already. Uh, we lost, lost the boars before. Oh, God. Okay. I was just here for the one. Boars, boars all the rain. The deer and the blood blood. And Scooby gone doobie and the doobie gets scooby. Everybody gone doobie, everybody gone doobie. Oh yeah, I, didn't, I never asked. I apologize for that. Uh, how was your Christmas? I assume good and sane. Yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, I didn't really do anything yesterday on Christmas Day, but like uh, today had some family fun and uh, good food and stuff. Right. And uh, I'll be having more family fun uh, in uh, Z week. Oh yeah, do you have like end of the year plans, like family all together? Yeah, I'm, well, like uh, I'm going down south to see my brother and uh, niece and nephews. Nice. 
So we just do cheap. Christmas and then cheap. Cheap. everyone just sleeps for uh, New Year's. Yeah. We're old. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll be I'll probably I think I'll be back on the weekend. I'm only going for a few days. But uh, with them living far away, I don't see them that often. Yeah. Tends to happen. How about you? Do you have a good, uh, or you too, even? Do you two have a good Christmas? Yeah. How was yours, Beebs? Christmas Eve, always very quiet. Christmas Day, we just had a quick Christmas lunch, and that was it. Okay. Just like a, a nice chilled one. Yeah. I don't know. Never really was into it myself, so, um,. Yeah, I, I was, I've always seen Christmas more as an excuse just to, I don't know, like, uh, see family and, uh -huh, uh -huh. like, uh, you know, talk, talk about some old times and stuff and share a few jokes and yeah. happy days. Yeah, it's the same for us. We do, we, we all get together at someone's house and we eat, talk for the afternoon, fall asleep, and then go home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. That's the thing, life tends to, uh, it tends to be so easy to, um, I don't know, like, uh, like a lot of time goes by and then you realize, oh yeah, I haven't seen this, I haven't seen like, I don't know, my cousin in like a year or something. Mm -hmm. So it's, I find it's good to have these excuses to, uh, to like remind you and actually just see people. <laughs> see, you, you have all this like noble, like, I want to see people and talk to I'm like, dude, my motivation was mostly food. Like, oh, they make some good food. I'm going to show up for sure. And I'll talk to you I, a little I, bit. I only, <laughs> I only have these reasons because I'm a hermit the rest of the year. <laughs> like, I don't see anyone and other than Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> see, I'm a hermit all of the year, even on the holidays. I only come out when the food is involved. I mean, I'm I'm yeah. mostly motivated in my life via food. Yeah. It's like in Japan, like the thing I focused on for two weeks was like, ooh, I wonder what restaurant I'll go to next. Let's look on Google. <laughs> it's all you need, man. It's all you need. Uh, all you good. need is food. <laughs> la, 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 da, da, da. <laughs> all you need is food. Food. Food is all, all you need. You need. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm feeling really pumped about uh, bone mass. I think we're going to be able to... Do you think we can do bone mass in mountains at once or no? Do you want to just do bone mass? I, I'm not sure what you mean, bone mass and mountains. Yeah, uh, one stream, both bosses. Motor, yeah, both bosses. Motor uh, and... I mean, I don't want to rush anyone, so that's the... I don't know how far along Hox will be when we do bone mass. Yeah, I don't wanna... that's a problem as well, but I'm, yeah... yeah. It would make sense because you would be able to move much quicker to the, to the next, you know. You know, everybody would be able to jump into the planes. But yeah, it might be a little bit challenging for people that are not prepared for it. Yeah, I don't want to rush anyone. And I, I, mean, I assume that Gek is up there as well, but I have no idea. I haven't seen Gek in a week. Yeah, he's been focused on, well, now it's Christmas, but he's been focused on his uh, followed country as well a lot. Yeah. Which is, uh, I think, a smart idea because it's doing pretty well on his channel. Thank you. Yeah. Ugh, I... oh, fighting a freaking abomination, of course. Uh, Drag Archer had to pop up the second I was doing it. Oh, did you did you die? No, no, I ran the crypt. Oh, dang it. I mean, yay! No death. I don't even know what you're telling us if it's not... No, death, <laughs> yeah, no point to this story <laughs> if you're not dying. <laughs> wow. Oh, Lord. Yeah, that was all beeps. That wasn't me. Operation <laughs> Get Jason Murdered on every possible screen. Hey, hey, that was all beeps. That wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't need to do that operation. You do that yourself. I was going to say, it'd be Operation Sabotage at that point, because I just do it on my own. <laughs> oh... Alright, Draugr Fang up to level 4. Is that max? It is! Draugr Fang maxed out. Good. See, so yeah, I got all the important things maxed. Frostner, but dude, 45. Good lord, I'm gonna need a lot of 
silver for that. I can find another vein right. up there. What I could do instead, I could. Still, we'll still have the nice front. That's a good one, Pablo. He says, uh, my friend's protein shake bottle has a sentence that just says, don't blame it on Christmas. You were fat already in September. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good motivation. <laughs> and dead abomination. I should do, I mean, is it worth it to get the, uh, the root mask? I mean, not, not really at this point, but I mean, it's actually, yes, because it's still good for the planes if you are an archer because it's uh resistant versus pissing yeah the yes. mask oh yeah. sorry no not the mask the set the chest yeah is it just a chest but, but if you have the uh root armor you are improving an archery so it might be a good one. Oh yeah the archery is a set bonus yeah yeah, yeah. and like yeah like i said the chest is resistant versus pissing Okay, so the chest is for Pierce, the helmet is for poison, I assume, right? Mm. Yeah. Okay. See, I've been debating on whether yeah. to go back. I have two abominations that just frequently spawn up in my swamp, and I just avoid them. I should probably take them out. Oh, you need quite a lot of roots yeah. to get the full set. Oh, yeah, that's what I was like, dude. And I know, I think one drops five root, and you need a whole bunch of it, right? You need like 10 for each one just for the first level. Just, yeah, just to get it started. You need like 30 or 25 or to 30 or 29 maybe for like each piece upgraded. Yeah. And you know what? Now that I think about it, it seems like a lot of work and I'm good. <laughs> I will just tough it out. I will fight those arrows with my face. <laughs> <laughs> How I face deal with most. <laughs> oh. Do I have enough? Yeah, I have enough here. So let's run to the... Because I think I have one it's crypt good. left. Yeah, having resistance versus the spear chuckers is good. Dude, well, yeah. Yeah, probably. Because you don't deal with a lot of the... Uh, the uh, the torch guys at first, anyway. Mm. I think the chest is the smarter one to go for. For long longevity. Longevity. Yeah. yeah. Schnitzers. Mm -hmm. Upgrade the map. Come on, snap. Oh yeah, I was gonna ask you guys. Uh, when do we start getting eggs at the market? Is it the planes? After, uh, well, after mortar. Motor. Actually, after you kill a yoglet. But you oh can get really? Them earlier. Okay. If you want to risk your life, you can get them earlier. Wait a minute. What? How do you get eggs earlier than that? Like, I don't want to spoil it because oh, yeah, okay. Jason yeah, Bob like, doesn't want to. Uh, I don't know. I don't even know. I thought the only way you can get eggs was from the market. I've we kind can... of been told where, but I don't know how and everything. So. Oh. We could definitely do it together. Well then, yeah, let's do it together. Okay, let's do it together. Yes. Let's do it together. Let's do it together. Poop the scatter root. Yeah. There's so much debt. I can see so much debt. Oh! Yeah, I gotta show the stream. I haven't. Oh, damn it. Wrong one! Sorry. I haven't showed the stream, uh, what I did to prepare for Bone Mass. So I've prepared mine. I don't know if we're gonna go. I assume we're going to mine, but we can go anywhere to fight Bone Mass, but I'm preparing mine. What the? Wait a minute. What? This time, does preparing mean more than just... <laughs> hey, I know that I've, I messed up the planes. I get it. <laughs> 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 this time, I left some cover, if you guys want cover. <laughs> you guys... To be fair, you just said flatten it. You didn't say anything about it's, keeping the uh, stone. <laughs> that was so funny. You're like, here's everything. What? There is, what is? Uh, what? <laughs> it's all just flat. 
It's you the guys, murder show. <laughs> you guys, told, you just told me <laughs> flatten it, so I, that's what I did. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, that was I was gonna. A good fight, by the way. That uh... it was. Well, the fact that we had two of them kind of was a bust. Yeah, it was a funny um, little uh, accident. <laughs> yeah, there were so many deaths, especially uh, from Gek. Especially from Gek. So many complaints afterwards. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I noticed. Yes. <laughs> oh. Uh, so I, I was going to ask earlier, I forgot. Zane, can I pop by your base and check it out? I know you don't want to show it off. Sure. I don't want to ruin it if you're trying oh, to... schnitzel, buddy. Okay. Oh, schnitzel. <laughs> I might do that. Let me grab some. I might want to turn pickup off the... Just so you don't pick shiz up. Oh like yeah, what button is that? Some kind of shiz picker. What, what button is that? A uh, V on the keyboard. All right. Turns auto pickup off. Got it. I just gotta remember to turn it back on when I leave. Mm-hmm. Boy, howdy. Gonna build a fruit harnesk. Two deer hide, ten fruit, and ten ancient bark, buddy. What? Yeah. Hey. I, mean, I do have extra um drake trophies if you guys need to make your helmet i have three i have Those three as well i have three wah, as wah, well wah, 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 wah. so if i come by your uh your house do you want me to plant some trees for you zane i can help you out no <laughs> i would prefer that you uh look and not touch Don't like a good boy anything <laughs> yeah yeah, we look with our eyes, Jason. We look with our eyes. Sweet! I had enough to get uh, my root mask up to level 4, and I've got a level 4 root chest. Oh, dang. I just have a level up to mask. Just because I didn't want to think about that stupid poison. What's this all the time? You I have see a throne. You have over encumbered. Why are you over encumbered then? Or were you, were you moist? I was moist. I just came from oh, the yeah. swamp. Hella moist. Hella moist. Nice. You have a throne. Oh, you're, you're uh, building. What is? Okay, so that's the video you're gonna make. The, uh, the kiln up there. Oh no. Well, I mean, I will probably add that into it, but. Um, as you can expect from me, the video I plan is far over the top. <laughs> gonna be years in the making yeah probably <laughs> oh look at that okay yeah you have a whole bunch of smelters down here nice yeah i've got six on the go i did uh previously when i did the iron so i bought about 540 i had four more in here as well dude you have your dock out here oh yes Do bow, bow. see i need to make a better dock mine it works it functions but it's such a pain because I'm in a river and I got to reverse every time I go into the, my uh, dock. Uh, Dr. Mess. You know, yeah, we we do have. We started farming silver before doing bone mass because we're waiting on bone mass. And since we have our uh, our hammers, we can check for silver. Why can't we put ancient bark in the kiln? Dang it. You would think that they, uh, yeah, they would allow it. Maybe it's it would be hella mossy and moist. It would brew. be uh, stinky and poisony, though. Do you like moist wood, chaps? <laughs> <laughs> Got some moist wood for you here. Oh, is that a, a pig out here? Oh, Lord. Okay. Is this your uh, your boar farm? Yeah. Ooh, are they just plopping babies down straight down? Oh God, yeah, they are. Yeah. And they survived that fall. Yeah, yeah, they didn't take full damage. Oh god, okay. They just shit in that baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Little turds. Have you seen Beeble's, uh, his, uh, dwarf spawner? Yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah. that was pretty awesome. I love it. 
Yeah. So is this is going to be your forever home? You're just going to expand this out? No. Oh, no. That's my temporary home. Oh, have you started your forever home yet? Yeah, well, uh, yeah, the pagoda. If you go up the top, on the top floor, the portal that says X Elder. X Elder. Oh, yeah. I remember you seeing you build there. Because I was wondering. I was like, this doesn't look like that. Swamp Elder. Can I pop in and see that? Or are you? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Go ahead, man. I haven't built that much on it yet, and I've shown what I have on stream already. Hollywood takes love. Do, 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 do. Ooh. Yeah, see, this is way too complicated with the roundness and the, the math. Nope. Can't do this. <laughs> the roundness and the math, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's an octagonal uh, pagoda. Yes. Um, oh. Obviously, quite large. It's a diameter of 56 meters. I love the big columns you're making. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'll stop building them currently because I'm thinking I'll get the top roof on so I don't have to then repair the entire structure at the end. Yeah. Now, are you going to build with, are you going to replace any of this with the tar or are you just going to keep it with core wood? Well, the entire roofing will be tar. Um, the bottom floor stone will likely be black marble. Oh, um, okay. At least most of it. So, uh, because I actually, like, uh, the, the temple I went to in Kyoto uh, actually had, like, a black marble flooring. Like, it was really nice. Holy cow. And uh, so it fits. I'm kind of trying to channel that a bit. But, of course, this is a pagoda, so it's a different structure. It's... Trying to also channel a bit of some Buddhist uh, uh, influences. Well, very, very nice. Mm -hmm. Holy cow. Yeah, see, how much stone have you already used? Probably like, what, a thousand? Oh, more than that. Like, um, well, actually, probably what? there, probably one to two so far. I was going to say, isn't, the, uh, isn't it attached to the elder spawn? So you got some stone already, right? Well, no, so I've covered all the elder. Oh, spawn. okay. Because it doesn't fit the uh, aesthetic. That's why it's got the raised circle bit to cover all the broken stones and stuff. Oh, gotcha. Okay. And uh, that's why the pillars. But although I think they look way better anyway, nice and chunky. Because then it actually makes you think that it could hold it up, even though it's wood. Yeah. Oh, dude. I like so, it. Like, uh, yeah, it's good. I mean, the the base that you're just coming back to now, that's uh, that. There's two to three thousand stone in that. Good lord. Yeah. Yeah, it's the stone goes quickly, and I've got about five to six thousand stone mined and ready to use on the other one already. Jeez. <laughs> Who put the resin at the the village? I like this. Who lit up the village? Was that you, people? Uh, yes. Okay. Kind of nice. I mean, I've been with with my grade or form. I just take like fifty and just drop them off. Can you see the sign at the the storage? Can you read the sign at the storage? Yep. Oh, wait a minute. It's stuck in there. There it is. This is. It says Merry Christmas, right? Yeah. What does it say with above? The, with the hoe? Merry Christmas. It says. Oh, are you mean the other sign? Or you mean this one over here? No, 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 no. There's, <laughs> there's three. There's three of them. Here lies the boar that killed Jason no, 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 within yeah. 122 <laughs> seconds. Jason doesn't get it. <laughs> uh, what are they? There's three hosts, Jason. Oh, oh. <laughs> sorry, that flew over my head. I was like, oh yeah, there's hoes up here. That's pretty awesome. Ho ho ho. ho. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I didn't flew around. I was like, oh, Merry Christmas. That's cool. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> oh, yeah, that flew over my head. I totally missed that. <laughs> Dang it. Oh. Yeah, I don't think I've I've streamed with the memorial to the uh, boar that killed me. Because I think the last time I streamed, it, we had a troll attack and it destroyed everything in the village. Good 
do, do. So yeah, we're up to 21 cores in the village. Yeah, I think I need everything else. Oh yeah, and to do bone mass, you just need like the, uh, oh, what is it? Two of the bones? Eight. Eight for each one? Mm. Holy hell. Maybe we'll just all bring our own. <laughs> I mean, we only need to get it like once. Really? Does he, is he going to drop that many wish bones for us? He should, I think he should drop it one for each person present. Yeah. Oh, okay. I think so, I think so too. Oh, then okay. I, I know it's weird that it like that's probably one of the changes they'll add to the bosses to make it equal how they function like that. Like yeah. maybe a minimum of three and one, but one for each person present. Yeah. That's what they should do. Really. They should. Because I was going to say, well, what's the other boss we had to do multiple times? X Theory we had to drop multiple ones to get our uh, axes and our yeah. hammers. Um. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to need my hammer and my key. We're going to go get some iron out of the swamp. You realize it's night, right? Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, you guys want to sleep? Or what? Oh, well, I'm on the ocean hunting Serpente. Oh. oh, okay. Because I... I didn't think. We, it's been night for a little while, so I didn't think people were going to sleep. Yeah, so it's a bit night hunting. now, so. Yeah. I'm going to go out. I got to test out my armor now that I'm all maxed out. See how good I am on the swamp. Maybe fight some uh, some uh, spirits out there. Uh, still you eating. Heard the Christmas spirit. Still eating uh, Christmas uh, leftovers. Yes, absolutely. We had so much food left over. If I had a Scooby, my so friend, we... I would do it in the morning. Maybe you should use some uh, poison resist, you dummy. I don't need poison resist now. <laughs> kind of like uh, poison is affected by armor, I believe. Is it? Yeah. I should. Sure. I should go fight a blob and see. <laughs> yeah. Take all your armor <laughs> off. First, try that one first. Yeah. Do it. You have to do it without armor first, and then put the armor on afterwards if you live. <laughs> oh. Oh god, auto pickup is turned off. Thank you. Ding 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 it, Bobber. So I was really excited. I, I rushed over to Bone Mass to kind of flatten it up because I didn't know when we were gonna do it, if it was gonna be this week or next week. And then I realized there are two crypts right next to Bone Mass, which is amazing. So I got two crypts here full <laughs> of uh iron. I got some more out here. So yeah. yeah. Yeah, iron for days. For day. Iron for kids. Come on, here, serpent, 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 serpent. Come to Shani. I want to eat your flesh. Taste like an eel. Eee. Feels delicious. What are you talking about? I've never been a fan. Oh, there you go. There's a abomination right outside the uh, swamp or the crypt. I'm going in. <laughs> oh. And another day of no serpent. What a podiatrist. an absolute sort of may as well make my way home <laughs> if I had a scooby I would scooby in the morning ooh I'm in the chest what what that was 20 as well nice frick yeah he's saying it as if I found it I saw that on your screen <laughs> <laughs> oh oh <laughs> I thought that's, I thought that's what you meant. I was like, oh yeah, <laughs> nice. Yeah. So yeah, whenever I do my crypts, I I leave one chest and I keep all my iron in there. And when I oh, so that was just it. the iron you picked up. No, yeah. no, no. This yeah, is literally I just walked in. I didn't do anything yet. 
Oh, I, nice. You did just find 20 yeah, in the chest. Yeah, I just did Frick find yeah. 20. I haven't even picked anything. I just cleared out that one room. So, yeah, yeah. I, always, I always find the closest chest room and put it in there. I beat yeah. this as well. Yeah, I do that because it's such a pain going back and forth. Mm. Let's see. Can I take out this? Uh... Oh, God. All right, let's do it. <laughs> let's try to fight this abomination. <laughs> Middle of the night. It's still nighttime, right? <laughs> I assume. It's about to go day. Well, it's about to break out. Yeah. Okay, thank God. I won't have to fight a freaking spirit in the middle of this. The edge, and it's about to break. Everything is Yeah, beginning. yesterday I got an abomination. Two raids. Uh, a one-star archer. I just went in the crypt and said, No, thank you. <laughs> you know what? No. <laughs> I'm good, bro. Dude. Silver I'll shield is just blocking this thing. No problem. I love it. <laughs> Oh god! Are you not parrying? I should probably, right? Actually, well, actually, if you can, like, if you can just block it easily enough, par parry the center one when he... If you get close to his center, he'll mostly do the center stomp thing with the his center trunk, and that's the easiest to time for parry. And, of course, you'll be able to just beat the living crap out of him if he's uh, parrying with the extra damage here. Damage smash. All right. You know, I was afraid to do them. That was pretty easy. Yeah. Well, it is now, especially when you got all that armor I was going to say, maxed shield. out silver really makes a difference, because holy hell, that was really easy. Because, sure. like, you, I could parry it with a bronze buckler, but missing a parry was almost killing me. Uh-huh. So it was like, nope. It's even dangerous with uh, the iron, but with the silver shield, it's like, yeah, I'll kill all. Yeah, that was... That was nice. All right. Rap. I didn't eat food before I went to the swamp. Yeah, that's not a good and idea. And there's a one-star Draugr chasing me. Swamp, 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 swamp. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, I could run in a creep to know and be all food time. I'm going to head back and get my headlamp. That way I can do my crypt and drop off my damn key. I'm always afraid I'm going to die and leave my key somewhere. Jason's in the swamp. Swamp. <laughs> He's in the swamp. Swamp. Tell me, swamp, big time. Scooby Dooby Doo. That's scoop that swamp. Let me go. Oh, no. Where are you at, Mr. One Scott Star Skadoosh? Where's he booking off to? I want to kill you because you hurt me. You hurt me in my tootsies. My tootsies want revenge. <laughs> I bug it off. Well, fine then. Ooh. Didn't even like it. So, what is a mm. Christmas meal for you guys? Uh, Beeble Bum, what do you eat for Christmas? Anything Actually, special? I made, uh, well, not for Christmas, I, I made for lunch, Christmas lunch, I made uh, a Flemish stew. Oh, Ooh. really? Which is uh, one of my favorite definitely dishes. Which is, it's uh, like stewed meat in brown beer. Mm. For like four to three to four hours until the meat is like really soft. Oh, that sounds good. That sounds really good. Yeah. Well, what do you do, mm -hmm. Zane? What do you? What did you have for Christmas? Christmas dinner, as far as I'm concerned, is um, so turkey with potentially beef or ham on the side. Oh yes. Um, then uh, pigs in blankets, which. The British version of that, because I understand Americans see that as a different thing, um, is uh, small sausages with bacon wrapped around them. Oh, um, I like that version better. Okay. Yeah. And then <laughs> uh, some, like, obviously you've got to have sausage meat stuffing. Um, you also have, so roast potatoes, roast parsnips. Uh, sorry, two seconds. Then also... Uh, um, Brussels sprouts, carrots, 
potentially peas, um, potentially cauliflower, broccoli, basically about 15 different things. Okay. So it's like, it's, a, it's basically a mega roast dinner. I think, yeah, dude. Oh. See, we do, like, uh, I don't know about everyone else in the United States, but uh, Turkey is a mainstay of Thanksgiving, which is in November. So a lot of, uh, at least a lot of the Americans and people I know, they do ham instead on Christmas. We do turkey because I love turkey. But I mean, you also like in America, you get the mainstays. Like, I've, if you would have told you... me pigs in a blanket, I would have said, okay, I, I mean, it's good, but I'd rather not. That's an American version. What, what, like the American version is similar to what we would call a sausage roll. Oh, so dude. like I think so like a sausage with pastry around it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, like, uh, like sausage roll is sausage meat with puff pastry. Puff pastry around it. Yeah. So we do that. That's what we call a pig in a blanket. So, yeah. If you would have told me, oh yeah, we're gonna have pigs in a blanket, that's not a big draw for me. But if you would have said, we have sausage wrapped in in bacon. Oh uh, yeah, I'll be there. I will make my. I'll make sure I can be there for that. Yeah, it's like pork <laughs> wrapped in the best pork. <laughs> <laughs> now you say bacon is it streaky bacon or is it that disgusting yeah, streaky. okay it, good <laughs> it's proper bacon it has to be proper bacon yeah because well the way when i was young the way my mother always did it is she'd roast the um turkey covered in streaky bacon so Ooh. the bacon would baste the turkey oh <gasps> And then at the end, take the bacon off the turkey, wrap those around the sausages to make the pigs in blankets while the turkey browns. So what you're telling me is I need to visit you next year for Christmas. It's <laughs> <laughs> way to do it, man. And uh, <gasps> you also you also need with turkey, it's best generally to do the stuffing separate. So it's not stuffing as in you stuff it in like yeah. you would with like a chicken. Um, it's better to use an onion and an apple. So you put like an onion in one side, an apple in the other end, and uh, that helps to steam the cavity and do a an overall more balanced cook. You can also, when you put foil on, double wrap the um, the legs so that they don't cook as fast as the. I mean, so they cook faster than the breast or something. Yeah, it's this whole thing. And then you get a more even cook, so you don't dry the breast and yes. uh, stuff like that. Mm. It's, uh, that like, it's, it's all about making sure it's not dry, because I think too many people overcook turkey, and that's why mm -hmm. people don't like turkey. Yeah, well... But it's yeah. not turkey's fault. You're fucking it up. <laughs> it's, like... it's, it's your fault. Uh, well, and, and to, uh, to that point, I remember, because I would always make my own turkey, and it was never as good as my mother's, and I said, what the... Th I'm cooking it the same! And I realized, yes, it, the way you cook it, it's not how you cook it, it's the way you cook it matters more. So, wrapping it, making sure you're cooking low, and like for a, uh, a lot of my cooking experience, it was always high heat, just cook it as fast as possible. Oh god, yeah, yeah. that's just like, high heat, 80% of it is dry as frick yeah. as the center <laughs> I, cooks. I just wanted to be cooked, you know, and then you realize, oh, it doesn't actually taste as good because you're basically drying the hell out of it. So I've learned over time, I've, over the years, I've learned, yeah, just longer is better. Longer is better. Ladies, you know what I'm talking about. But longer <laughs> <Lady>. is better. <laughs> yeah, low and slow. Like, oh, I love Seriously's uh, comment there. Jason uses talk about food against Zane. It is very effective. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> you, you, uh... To, uh <laughs> to give away one of my secrets, in radio they kind of, uh... They train you how to find someone's uh, liked topics. <laughs> it, almost like a weakness. It's one of those things where when you're interviewing somebody, you, you try to pique their interest and you realize, oh, if I mention this, they really love talking about that. So I should just bring it up and then let them go. Because the whole objective of, at least in radio, of, a, of an interview is to get that person talking as much as possible. Yeah. So it's all about, hey, I find that thing, like, I know it's food, or I know that uh, Beeble Bum doesn't like to speculate about stuff, but if I bring it up in the right way, he'll speculate all day, which I love. Oh, well, speculate logically, <laughs> you know? It's my, um... Uh... 
I think if you're speculating based on facts and logic, then it's that's a re it's reasonable. Yeah. Well, and that that's the weakness. It's more of ah, uh, Beeble Bum. I heard that if you uh, that there's always a silver vein right next to a cabin. Is that true? And then poof, just off to the races. Well, it's only speculation. Actually, it's not actually true because of this and this. Oh yes. <laughs> Freaking Gek with his confirmation <laughs> bias. <laughs> It Ugh. happened to me twice, so I know it's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I've checked many times and not found it. Yeah. And oh, I, I it didn't look hard enough. It's easy. This it's, one's close. Is it? Is it just close it. enough because it fits your narrative? Probably? Exactly. He never says what close enough means. Just close enough. Uh, but it's easy to do that in your in your brain because you want to find a pattern. You want to say, "Oh, I know that if I ever look for this, it's always going to mean that." Hmm. So I think it's just human nature. You want to find patterns, and you see it in people who, who gamble a lot. They'll oh, find a, a combination of <laughs> oh, <laughs> if if I buy it on a Tuesday, it's more lucky. It's like no, not really, but they think it is because you know they want to find that pattern. It's keep, keeps just, just a little just pissed, pissed off. Pissed off yes. Keep talking from. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Oh. And for me, it's more of, I'm so used to talking all the time because silence is the death in radio. You never want silence, so I talk way yeah. too much. There's been a, a couple of podcasts I've uh, jumped into and everyone's like, Jason's so quiet. It's like, I know, but there's five people here. People want to talk and I know I can talk too much, so I'll just be quiet. Uh, I find that I never want to interrupt anyone or talk over someone, so I just don't talk at all because there's always someone else talking. Yes. Well, and you, at least in the station I was at, there was a there was a couple of guys, like old school radio guys who were in there forever. They will not let you talk unless you butt in. So you learn how to be not not a dick, but definitely a little pushy when it comes to talking on the air. Yeah, it's like I also have a thing now that I've stuck by for a while. It's like if someone talks over me, I'll stop talking and unless like I'm asked, I'm just like, well, I, I wasn't worth saying that thing then. <laughs> no, 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 I thought you were going to say I, I stopped talking and mentally really think loudly. You're a dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, you're an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> uh. No, no, no. Oh, that's what's weighing me down. This could look cool if it's done properly. Although, I, I just... Hmm... So are there any games that have uh, piqued any of your interest for 2024? Like Zane? Something you're waiting for? Line of Fire. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. No, to be... I don't, I don't know, yeah. really. Um, uh, I haven't put too much focus on it just because I've got enough to focus on at the moment but I, I do need to uh, check some out soon just to make sure there's none I really, really would like to cover that I miss or something because that's always a shame hmm. well okay so there's a that, I guess that's a, a secondary question uh, do you only or do you tend to focus on the games that you're going to use on the channel or do you have games that you play on your own that don't even make it to the channel uh, primarily channel focused oh, okay. just because it's, it's just a time thing like uh, I find it hard since I've done YouTube to warrant spending time on something that game wise that isn't for the channel like Fallout 76 is kind of the one game I do that with and I can't really afford to do more than like one game at a time like that Yeah. so that's what my Twitch channel is more about so 
if there's a game I just really want to play, then I'll still do it, but on Twitch. And uh, it's just more of a hangout, chill thing. I don't take it seriously as like a business. Huh? Well, I know that you did Elden Ring on your channel, on your Twitch channel. Are you going to do the DLC when that comes out? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. For a schnitzel, wait. buddy. I can't wait. Damn, scabby. What? what about you, people, Um. Well, and Shroud, there's definitely on my list. For the... Oh, yeah, that does look good. Yeah, end of January. Um, so in Shrouded, Valheim, I'm looking forward to what Ashlands might bring in the beginning of January 24. Uh, for No Man's, for the other channel, uh, well, Light No Fire, I think I'm really still unsure what I'm going to do with Light No Fire, if I'm going to move it to my secondary channel or my first, because it's adventure. I mean, yeah, I know that you like to keep them separated, <laughs> like the offspring. But every time I hear about that, uh, but yeah, it does seem like it's going to be more in line with Valheim. So I probably would say second channel. Yeah, you know, it's been my, you know, what I lean close to. Um, I got a game downloaded, which is called Generation Zero. I want to play, but that probably is going to be more of a game I play off stream because I'm not sure if it fits in any of my uh, channels. Mm. Well, it's I mean, like a, a, a robots uh, game that is like AI robots has taken over. I need to check again what it is, but it looks very interesting. Survival game. Is that that something Mars one? No, it's you're actually it's actually based in Sweden. It's a Swedish game. Oh really? Hmm. And uh, you, 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 the the place is overrun by like mechs and uh, robots. But they are like a, a aggressive, hostile, and it's a survival game. You have to make sure that you have, you know, your health up and stuff like that. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Yeah, it's like 2019. I didn't know it existed. I saw Alex Alexi check playing it. I was like, hmm, this looks interesting. Just I downloaded it. Uh, there is another game, but probably again, that's going to be just for me. It's called uh, Tiny Glade. It's such an interesting game because it's like a building game, but it's like uh, it reacts how you build. So if you build a wall and you stretch it, uh, you can the, the, the wall adjusts to your uh, build. So you get windows in it or high walls or arches. I want to play oh. around with it. It looks very, very chill, interesting game. Now, is it randomized or can you choose the windows and walls and... Uh, it, it's like a little castle builder, you know. It's very interesting. It's uh, you should check it out on on Steam. It's a very interesting, uh, what you call it, uh, trailer as well. Yeah, but it's still in, uh, it's still busy. They're still working on it. But I found it very like yeah. That's one I wanna tell my wish list. Okay. Mm. Well, and same question for you, people. Bum, is it? Do you tend to focus on games that you're only going to use on a channel, or do you play games by yourself? Oh, you know what I'm. You know what, Jason. Uh, what I want to do as well, and I think you are interested in as well, is yeah. the uh, Plan Crafted Co-op. Yes, dude. When you do that, I will join in that. Whatever yeah. you want. Yes, hundred percent. Do they? I, don't, I know they said 2024. Have they given a date? I don't know. No, oh, they didn't it. say anything else. I think. But yeah, I will definitely be on there because I. I go back every once in a while and I want to make a series off the new content, but it's like, I, I don't want to continue on because people might not know the beginning, but I also don't want to start from the beginning and get to the new stuff because that's like another, you know, 10, 15 hours before you get to the new stuff anyway. Mm -hmm. So I feel like a brand new series, especially when co-op comes out, that would be really fun. Um, what about you, Zane? Do you, did you ever get in the Planet Crafter? Uh, no, I've never played it. I think we should get you um, in there. Depending on how many balls. people. I assume we can get like four people in co-op. It looked like there were four people in that trailer. It looked there were more, but I, I don't know. We'll have to see. But... I spent all of my freaking gold on those pits, and now I need a mere flesh. I, actually, I, I should have them. I need 500 and something. I got some gold at home. If you need some, I'll give you some. Actually, I'll, uh, I, I'll see if I've, uh, this is enough first, but I appreciate it. Okay. Need to fix my pick. I think that mech game is uh, Generation Zero. Yeah, that's what he was. Uh, that's what people was talking about. 
So that sounds interesting. And it takes place in Sweden. Yeah, but uh, the world is really well put together and there's like different weathers and stuff. And um, I, I'm not sure how to uh, compare it with what other game I could compare it, but the world is really nicely built. It's very uh, realistic style. Okay. Nice vistas. Right. My roof has been built and I'm happy with it. Until we get tar. Yeah. But it should be pretty simple to replace it now, so. Yeah, once we kill bone mass, it's tar time, baby. Oh, dude. I don't know if I can do that. I think I might spend some time in the mountains trying to. Well, I mean. One, two, no, I don't three, need any more silver, four, so maybe not. Five, six, yeah. seven, eight, nine. Well, and... I'll be doing frost caves as well once the uh, once uh, the bone mass, but I want the tar as soon as possible for the uh, build. I thought we were, are we going to wait to a frost cave together first? I, I think it would be nice. So. Yeah. yeah, actually, after bone mass, doing that special one could be fun. Do we have a there's there's a special oh, yes. cave? That would be that would be fun. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm suspicious. What? <laughs> I didn't know there was a special. Is there a a Hilda cave as well? Yeah, it's a howling cavern. Oh, maybe we should do that. Yeah, we should do that after a bone mass. That'd be awesome. Do you have 89 spare gold, uh, Mr. Jason? I do. Illusion. Like, Can make my frost like then. Twin. Three thousand gold still somewhere. That's it. That's the thing, I've got loads from the crypts, of course, but... You've gone through it for that hammer, probably. You had to get a flesh for that as well. Oh, yeah, that was 2,000 gold for the uh, stuff for that. Holy hell. But I had another two or 3,000 left over, but then... Spent it. Right. Where are you? Are you back in your, uh, your base? I'm, I'm totaling to yours now. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, It'd be a bit cheeky you. for me to like make you deliver it. <laughs> hey, I'm Hello used to there, it. I'm Mr. Okay. Jason. I'm okay with that. Oh. You have your donk doodle dandy. Thank you, yeah, man. Yeah. I think my big game. I mean, <laughs> I'm trying not to get my hopes up like I did for uh, Starfield, dude. Uh, Bob can tell you I was. Uh, basically, I was the best salesman of uh, Starfield to Bob ever. Every week, I was telling him about Starfield and how excited I was, and how much I was gonna be. I was gonna, my channel was gonna be a Starfield channel. I was all about it, and then yeah, it came I out. Yeah, was super yeah. pumped and stuff, and then yeah, yeah. yeah it came out, and didn't. I I love the game, but it just it didn't come out to much love in the uh, in the world. It wasn't Skyrim in space. No, it wasn't. It kind of tripped and fell on that one so after about a, a I, did, I gave it up after about a month I, I wanted to force it out there I was putting out let's plays and tips videos and just nobody was watching it I was like okay fine I'm gonna force you guys to take it but I'm a little sad now <laughs> um, 333 silver smelted happy days noise yeah. took a while Oh yeah, Jason, I found two more. I, there's two more freaking silver veins I found on my mountain as well. One of them was right by the other ones. I could have taken it. It's just like pointless at that point. No, take so, it all, man. So if you want more silver, by the way, I've got a portal right next to some. Okay, I might... I mean, I, I have been finding some on my own mountain. I, I didn't want to say anything about it, but I was almost happy that uh, the server reset the other day. Because it was before I found my mountain. So everything was marked, but nothing was touched. So I could go back and get double silver from the same veins I found. What a sneaky son. And so I mentioned it and I was like, oh, it kind of sucks. But I was kind of <laughs> hoping that Beeble Bum said, oh, something happened and we have to go back. We lost a week. And I was going to say, oh, darn. <laughs> I have to go back and get my silver again. Because I used, I had, I think I had uh, ten silver in my box, but I used the rest of it to make my gear. So technically, I had it all on my character, so I didn't lose anything. <laughs> I 
I was like... Well, I'm glad we didn't have to suffer for your silliness. <laughs> oh, dude, I was... Well, either way was okay with me, because I have found some more, it's fine. But, yeah, I was like... I'm gonna play this off like it really sucks because I built a whole bunch of stuff, but honestly, the silver will make up for that, because, yeah, I'll get a whole bunch of silver out of that. Oh, freeze glance for Frostner as well. Dang it, I want to use those for arrows and bloody ice cream. How many so do you I've have? Got 30 at this point. Bloody ice cream. I've made... Oh, dang, scoot me. <laughs> um, let me yeah, look. Yeah, woot woot. I have my and... Frostner. Oh. I've made 30 ice cream, and I still have a stack of 50 of the uh, freeze glands. I am set. Oh, level 6 forge. What am I missing? I'm just missing an iron thing. Uh, the, the, do you have the tool rack? The tool rack? Oh, I haven't got the grinding stone or the other iron one, the other anvils, I think. Yeah, I don't think we get grinding stone until the planes. Have the, the smith's anvil, the no, can forge make... cooler. Yeah, I've, I've, that, no, I'm missing two, and those are the ones I'm missing. It's just the uh, okay. second anvil and the uh, yeah. grinding stone. You can get the grinding stone by uh, a stone, cutter. stone cutter. Yeah. Jason. What? Wait a minute. So Wait a minute. I have a stone cutter. What? You just make a stone. You just make a grinding stone from your stone cutter. You have to put it on the roof, and you can make a grinding stone. Well, let me Mind look. In. I don't have that. I think you need to go out on the plains and get that round stone, don't you? No, no. You yeah, have you to just go to your cutter. go to your stone cutter and then craft a grinding wheel. I've just had the mother. <laughs> I oh my god! I thought it was something you found out in the plains. God dang it! I was like, oh yeah, I'll get the stone, the uh, the grinder when I get out the planes. Oh, mother. It's okay, J <laughs> J Jason, you have other qualities. You don't need to be smart, it's fine. <laughs> well, I appreciate it, but I don't think we all talked about being smart. <laughs> <laughs> I totally didn't even think about it. I thought, in my brain, the stone cutter was just for laying down stone. I didn't even go over to, like, actually work with it. <laughs> Son of a... <laughs> Well, now I know. Let's make a... Oh my god. <laughs> well, I'm gonna have like a level oh, 7 yeah. forge at this point. <laughs> god, I can't believe that. I mean, I, I technically I can. Cause... I mean, you don't even need like the level 7 until planes or something, do you? Yeah, I don't think so. I mean, yeah, I've, I've made all my silver, no problem without it. However, However, it's that, easier to do the grindstone than to spend 20 iron on an anvil. So. I know, I, I, I have the anvil. I just didn't even think about the <laughs> grindstone. I'm like, ah. Yeah, find us somewhere. Sweet, to level this. four Frostner, let's go. Yeah. Hmm. Where did I put this thing? <laughs> oh. I, you know what? Speaking of that, I will say I'm a little bit excited for the uh, for Sega redoing like Jet Set Radio and Crazy Taxi. That looks like it could be fun. Sega. Yeah. So get some offspring. Oh, not that much. God, I can't believe I was doing this whole time. I'm thankfully you brought it up now because I would have been in the plains looking in all the villages for a grindstone. Guys, I can't find my grindstone. Actually, you can actually find grindstones in the plains. That's true, actually. Yeah. I know, but that's uh, yeah, I could have just yeah. made it on my own <laughs> instead of going out there and finding it. Son of a. Oh. Uh, All right. I mean, I was going to ask if you need to sleep, but it looks like it's about to be daytime pretty soon. I mean, I can if anyone wants to. If you need no, to. You would can... Well, the moon is about to drop down, so it's probably going to be a minute before it's day. Okay. Yeah. We can sweat then. Okay, I'm happy. <clears throat> Uh, 
go. Loaded arm. Thank you so much for becoming a member on the channel. Oh, seven. I didn't want to skip that. Sorry. I almost forgot. I appreciate you. Oh, seven to you, man. Thank you for becoming a mentor. Bear. You're a fellow traveler now. And then the right. daddy Thor. So, level four. He says uh, the big difference between the No Man's Sky guys from three years ago that just helped me to this uh, to, to this. Yep. Thank you, by the way, dude. There's a certain point where I kind of felt weird making the same guide over and over, even though some things have changed in No Man's Sky, but like 90% of the information is the same, and then there's a little tweak here and there. So I appreciate you for watching that, and I'm glad you got some help out of it. For the helmet, and it upgrades via metal. Uh, yeah, probably. So that's pretty cool. It's like halfway, halfway to stone. Okay. For iron nails, it find out. and the strawberry. when you got one iron nail left over. Yeah, Gotta spend dude. one more iron to get ten so I can get three. Yeah, that... The the numbers and the stacks in this game irritate me to no end. The potions having a... They give you six, but they only stack to ten is so freaking frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> and the nails, you only need four for an armor stand, but they only make ten in a stack. You're like, God, why? <laughs> Why? Yeah, because that's that's what I'm making now, and I understand. Yeah. And so, you, so like I'm going shopping, you know, get it six is, burger buns and eight burgers. That's exactly. I think I talked with you about that, Zane, about uh, hot dogs. <laughs> Just yeah, yeah, we talk about uh, hot dog buns. Yeah, that is so frustrating. Like, I it, it is right there. Instead of giving us six potions, give us five and make them last like a minute longer, or some kind of a if you need to balance it out, do it something like that, or nails. Make an armor stand, take five nails. Why? Why take four? <laughs> oh. Let's hear the little hair I have left out of my head. <laughs> oh, and going back to the No Man's Sky conversation on if they would if they could end it right now, I would love for them to fix that as well. If you pump up the difficulty to extreme, like the stack limit, it only allows you to stack up to 300, but you can only refine 150. And so, so many things are broken in refining when you play like that. And I wish they would fix that. Just that, you know, they, they put the difficulty settings in there, but they didn't like actually test it, I don't think, because it feels like some things that are just broken fundamentally. This is 45. No. Oh, I better start just making onions. I got a whole bunch of seeds now. Crap. Hello, my little onion. <laughs> I got a whole chest full of onions. I got to start cooking some more. Mm, yeah. Uh, Sith Gasm says, can you be a barber in this game? You can't be a barber, but you can cut your hair. They sell you some stuff to adjust your hair later on. But I cannot, like, cut Zane's hair. I wish. That would be awesome. What? Why do you want to cut my hair, you bastard? Because it'd be funny when you wake up and you're like, oh, this does not look... Well, you wouldn't <laughs> notice for a while because you'd be wearing a helmet. 
And all of a sudden you would change out or something or you'd wear a different helmet and go, what the hell? What's wrong with my hair? <laughs> You're just an absolute menace, aren't you? <laughs> I will say the the funniest thing and the, also the most frustrating is uh, Bob just dropping off rag tunics everywhere. So uh, when I wake <laughs> up, I just walk over and I, I collect like 15 of them. I'm like, what the hell is this? <laughs> Why is my inventory full of rag tunics? That is funny. It's not like you can hide who did it. I know. I know like that's crafted the thing. By it's Bob. just his names all over it. <laughs> uh, it's too funny though, because you don't notice it until because you're just running around and I have auto pickup always on, and so <laughs> I don't notice till I'm already like halfway through the swamp and I'm like, why? How do I not have room for this? What? And then you look in your inventory like, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Thank you, Bob. <laughs> I got a scooby on the weird thing. Ah, Nice. Right here. Oh my god, I left this half done. Oh, I can test out my poison. Oh, poison's not that bad. Okay, yeah. So if you even if you don't have your uh your resist on, you're doing pretty good. I'm losing three ticks. Ticks for days! Yeah, that actually, that might suck if you don't have a lot of health. Okay, so yeah, maybe not. hate it when you get to the like the jagged little piece in the uh, crypt that you see a piece of muddy scrap but you cannot pick it oh my god i wish they would allow you to just arrow that you piece. mean inside the broken walls yeah yeah the little like <laughs> jagged piece you're like come on just there's a eat. few tricks but it's always yeah level yeah. four drug of fang let's go nice dude yeah you're just sat and got your silver up there nice Hell yeah, baby. Mm-hmm. I can ski. <laughs> I now need to get a few more wolf heads and then dunzes. Dunzo Spagunzo. Dunzo Rooney. Wolf heads Dunzo for what? Hmm? What do you need wolf heads for? No, wolf uh, pelts. Oh, pelts. Oh, okay. I thought you said Just heads. Just finish the leggings. I need nine. I have some at my base if you want some. I already owe you six then. All right. I mean, I'm not very particular on when you deliver them, so it's not like I need them absolutely tomorrow. tomorrow. So if you want to just do it now and then pay me back later, that's fine. No, it's all right. I can. Uh, I, d I don't like my debts. No? Okay. Hey, I mean, to be fair, it does give you another reason to go back up in the mountains and get frost glands and stuff. And die for no reason. <laughs> no, you got your uh, you got your armor up there, man. You got your helmet in your pants, right? I got my helmet in my pants. Yeah, oh, yeah. I wasn't yeah. really sure what I heard there. <laughs> <laughs> your helmet's in your pants. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> pants head. What? What? <laughs> oh. I would prefer you keep your helmet in your pants as well. Please, yeah. Don't pull. <laughs> you don't need to see your helmet. You're good. <laughs> Helmet, helmet and my pants. Do, do. Giving Drag a fang a test and it's uh, doing quite nicely. It shoots so much straighter as well. Yes, mm. dude. I love the fang. Now, 
I know we get, uh, what is it, the bone or the spine snap in Mistlands. Does, is that even worth it? Yes, yeah. in my opinion. I, I'm not sure if Beebs agrees. I'm, I'm kind of sticking with the Zogger thing, I don't know. Because I remember your your reasoning was fairly sound. It was the uh, that the stamina increase. You, you, yeah, really? you take way more stamina while uh, drawing the spine snap. It's not, that's the thing though, it's not, like, the amount it goes up is the same it goes up with every other bow. So every bow goes up by two stamina for the pull strength, and every bow also goes up with uh, damage. So it's the same as going up from the Huntsman to the Draugr, but Draugr has the extra poison, which in a lot of cases gives it a bit more of a damage. Yeah, I think that is probably what makes the difference is the uh, the buff, the uh, poison on it. So I'd say if you're up against something that's resistant to poison, it's definitely better to have the rattle rattle spine. But if it's like may not, then the upgrade isn't as good as a huntsman to Draugr. So so it, it's not like a completely clean cut thing. I think the spine snap for me would be more um, interesting if it wouldn't have that red glow as well, because the glow definitely is uh, one of the bothersome parts. Yeah, it's also because of its level two stuff. Uh, level four, it's hundred percent worth it. Yeah, 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 yeah true. Yeah. I think that was also the conversation we had last time. Oh, was it? Ah, okay, yeah, it's been so long. Oh, I'm not sure I want to fight this golem. Yeah, you do. You need if that golden trophy. If one of my foods runs out so I can have serpent stew, then I'll fight him, but... You should. You currently, need... I could take one hit at best. Uh, oh, there is a wolf there. You won't get hit at all. That's what, You're good. I'll just get the golem to hit, kill the wolf for me. Yeah. I think you'll have that pelt, good sir. And, and to be fair, you need a, uh, a golem trophy to lord over Gek. Oh, that is true. I'm just going to run around kiting the golem until I can eat food, and then it'll be like, hello, serpent stew. <laughs> golem. Hey, Shakira! Thank you so much for hanging out. And Sithgasm, heck yeah. Thank you guys all so much for hanging out today. Scar, thank you. Might have been revived on my channel when mods came out, but until then, I got other games. Yeah, for uh, Starfield. Yeah, I feel you on that one, Scar. Wait, the golem's going after the drake for the moon, so I can just wait like a good boy. Oh, yeah. Happy boxing day to you as well, Rockin' Padunk. Now, what, what is bo I assume boxing day is from all the gifts you get on Christmas the following day you box them up, right? Is that what that means? Um, I believe it's an old term where the rich would box up their extra presents to give to the poor. Oh, God. That is a very British uh, thing I'm thinking. Holy hell. <laughs> All uh, of do, our do extra presents here, you filthy paws. <laughs> is that, well, it seemed like a nice thing as opposed to meh peasants. But, um, <laughs> is, is that what you've heard, Beeps, or? Hmm? Oh, sorry, I you were about that, to say something, I realized. I thought people all said that they unboxed their presents on Unboxing Day, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> is that it? I don't know. We don't have Boxing Day in America, so I have no idea what that is. I'm in your head. And I don't mean to, to make it sound pretentious like, oh, but it just, that was the first thing I thought was, oh, I have too many presents. I better give all my bad presents to the, to the lowly people who don't have any. Well, I mean, yeah, this, like, they probably did think that way. Because it was like the upper class versus the peasantry. Although, I'm not sure it was for the peasantry. I think it was they gave them to, like, their maids and stuff. Their servants. Oh, God. Here, a lump of coal. Uh, yes, a lump of You've coal. You've been a bad servant. You didn't wipe my bum correctly yesterday. Coal for you. Coal every day. Oh. 
<laughs> oh, okay. That's actually a better one. I like that one. Shock and awe says, I think it's when you box your siblings for the toys they had the previous day. Okay. <laughs> I can go with that. <laughs> yeah, I naturally assumed when I was younger that it was something to do with the sport boxing. Like, there was always a thing, a boxing match on Boxing Day or something. <laughs> See, that, that, I could understand that as well. I just assumed it was, uh, you're putting all your stuff, you're boxing it up. So I didn't, okay. Yeah, boxing, that would, that would work out too. One more minute and I can eat more food and get me a golem. Come on there, birdie. Got one serpent stew up. There we go. Shazam. 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 Ma. I don't want to set the world on fire. There was a moment three years ago where I, I felt like the smartest man ever. We were listening. We were just flipping through uh, radio stations in our car. And on uh, Sirius XM, they have a 40s station. And they just play all old, like, you know, ragtime and all that kind of stuff from the 1930s and 40s. And they had the Ink Spots playing that song, I Don't Want to Set the World on Fire. And I was able to, to identify it. My wife was like, oh, you're pretty smart. You know that? I was like, yes. She has no idea it's from Fallout from video games. <laughs> <laughs> so I just knew it because I'm, I'm just so smart. <laughs> oh. Okay, it looks like my chat is saying that you are correct, Zane. It is uh, for when the uh, more affluent people were able to box up presents for the less fortunate, is how they put it. So when they had extra gifts, they would give it to the less fortunate. At least my chat's saying that. No, I have not died today, old explorer. <laughs> I've had zero it's deaths. It's a rare sight. It's <laughs> I save my deaths for off stream. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm trying to rush and try to get my silver and I mess up. That's when I save all my deaths. Well, I missed three parries against this golem. Can Careful you live? <laughs> oh, well, I... I ran away a bit, took a potion, took a missed another parry, ran away a bit. Oh, okay. Came back, missed another parry, ran away. Still though, that's still pretty good. That armor is working out. Do you? Can I get a hood? 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 Oh, he's ran off now because I was sitting on a rock that he could get to me. I mean, if you want, practice on a troll. I have a troll pit for you if you like. That way, that, that way I don't have to, or a, a golem pit, excuse me, golem pit. That way, because I keep him in there so he doesn't spawn up again and he can't do anything because he's in a hole. So, you're welcome to go over there and attack him. I think I'm okay on getting him back in there. Does your wife even game? My wife... Uh, she's, uh, I wouldn't call her, uh, a game player. She, she played Super Mario Brothers back in the day, but she doesn't play anything more modern. And he's dead. dead. Uh, no trophy, but I did get 11 crystals. Sweet. Thanks. Yeah. How did I not die? Oh, Beeble. Yeah, I just realized. I have a chest that has, I think, 58 crystals in it if you want to start on your windows. 58 crystals? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've 
I'm telling you, I had to fight that golem until I realized you could put him in a pit and not worry about him. <laughs> I was killing him every time. <laughs> oh. I think this is done. I am back and able to sleep. Oh, I think me... uh, Jason is in a crypt yeah, still. I can run back. So let me get back you to my hot entrance. Bang sausage, Jason. Oh yes. Oh, she likes a bit of sausage, yeah, Jason. <laughs> Always. I'm getting I'm lost in my own crypt. What? The... Don't. I'm lost. Wait I'm a minute. I'm tempted to try and hunt some night spawns of wolves. Oh, there we go. Night wolf. Night wolf. Night wolf. I am tempted to get the uh, that uh, armor just so you can get the better stamina for Mistlands. <laughs> oh, also remember the helmet doesn't affect the armor, so you could wear a the silver Drake helmet for the extra armor without affecting the movement speed. Ooh. It's only chest and legs that add uh, the run deeper. You won't get the extra from the archery if you do that, but the piercing is probably the, <coughs> the best. <laughs> so are we sleeping? I can jump in my bed now. Yeah, I'm in bed. I I can go to bed as well. Give me a second. Ludens. That's good. I'll be able to use my serpent stew on the second day then as well. In the bed. Oh, yes. I'm about to be there. Oh, oh wait. I got to dry off. Give me a second. Damn it. The Thanks. quickest way is a pickaxe old explorer, but it's also the most dangerous way. Yeah, I was going to say, it depends what you def how you define best. Yeah. Safest, arrows. Good compromise, shield and mace or something. Yeah. And Most you effective damage-wise, yeah. like Beeb said, pickaxe. Now, would Frostner be a good choice for that, since it is no, uh, mace? No. no. You're doing way less damage than nine mace. Okay. Dang it. Obsidian Adams. Sword does pretty well. Oh, my money box is getting full. I'm going to have to start selling some stuff. The best flat damage ones you have, Old Explorer. So, Obsidian, probably in that stage. Or did you answer that, people? Sorry. I said Obsidian, but... Uh... <sighs> How far is this gonna poke through? Yeah, of course. I'll we'll have to do some fiddling. So I've spotted a new spawn. Oh, that's a wolf. A, uh, a dwarf spawn? I can go over there and destroy that if you like. No golem, but unfortunately a wolf attacked me, so I couldn't sneak up on a golem. Wolves. Dang it. Hmm. Alright, now I gotta figure out where's a good spot. Oh, probably right there. Man, how am I missing this many parries? Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Let's see. Wow, I didn't even miss that parrot. Come on. Okay, back to the. <laughs> I just did Fortunately, it. that okay. means there's a golem Good. on the other side of my portal. Oh, what, sir? Yeah, I did my. I did the roof uh, connection I wanted, and it looks beautiful. That curved roof was a bit of a challenge to get like framework in there. 
Not the supporting hmm. beams, but I think I found it. Ooh, I can add another level to my paint. Alright, so this is gonna be it. Crocodabito. 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 I need two wolf fangs, buddy. Kill mm. my armor, dude. Kill my armor. Sweet level three paint. Yeah. I'm coming for you, Gollum. <laughs> <laughs> How many crystals do you need for uh, one piece of glass, people? Do you know? Two. Oh, <laughs> do you seriously want the 50 crystals? I will give them to you. You have. You don't have to pay me back or anything. You can have them. So I'm no, not gonna... there's going to be a point where we do the crypts. That's going to be insane. The amount of glass we're going to have. Uh, the crypts, the, uh, the frost Jeez. caves. So. You think so? I'm going to steal it all. <laughs> you can have mine, but I will steal all yours. Uh, dang it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, blob. Come here, blob. Not perfect. perfect. Um. Oh, yes. Hey. You really want this? You don't. Ow. Leeches. Oh, you son of a... That's my job. Those leeches have a really good pushback when they attack. Holy moly. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> Holy moly guacadoodles. I can doodle do. Uh... Okay, no. Do you like avocados? I love guacadoodle doony. Are you serious? No, I'm positively <laughs> absolute. Don't call me Shirley. Oh, can I? Oh, I saw it just for a second. There we go. Maybe I need to flatten it more. Probably. Yeah. I don't get how I'm timing this badly, man. This game ridiculous. Right. Last health potion. Let's go. Again, the frickery chicken, bro. I'm not I'm not trying to parry you with 89 health, bro. <laughs> you are. You just don't know it yet. <laughs> Thought it was 40 crystals to refine one glass. I don't. I don't think it was that high, rocking. No, no, it's two two glass for the two yeah. crystals for the glass uh, pain. I'm definitely try, not trying to parry you with 32 health. Get about it. You know what? I don't need a trophy just yet. <laughs> you know, on second thought, I'm uh, not going to mess with you anymore. <laughs> Screw that. Screw you, Golem. You frickin' skadoosh. Oh, look, Mr. Golem. There's a pit right here. Why don't you come and try and get me? And I'll increase my bow skills. <laughs> Plus, late. Oh no, he's killing more. I thought I thought he's killing wolves. So maybe he's just destroying all my workbenches. <laughs> oh, nice. Got yeah. Oh.
Where's my hoe? Okay. I know it's an illness, guys. Don't... Okay. I, I don't know about you guys, uh, people from my scene, but for whatever reason, in a chest, the heaviest things or the, the biggest stacks have to be at the bottom of the chest for me. Oh, yeah, yeah. We talked about this the other day. It's same oh, thing. yeah, yeah. It was with you. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was with you. Yeah, I don't I don't know what it is, but so I have to restack my chest if, like, I have an arrow stack. Well, all the, the filled up hundred stack has to be at the bottom. Because I'm ridiculous. Right, I've got the fecker in the pit. <laughs> Nerd! Nerd! Never get out of there! Time to shoot him with arrows and laugh at his face. Stupid, stupid. Does, uh, I assume that, like, poison and frost don't affect a golem, right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't think poison is. I almost feel like I should jump, but I... Well, we could do it like that, because then it would actually be more symmetrical. Yeah, take that. 20 damage per arrow, bitch. <laughs> You little turd. Yeah, let's go fix this. 60 damage on a backstab with a wooden arrow, no? Yeah. Can you crouch and, like, stealth hit him? He just seems to forget I'm there every so often. Oh, just that ran? Oh, nice. That's even better. Oh, yeah. Crouching does help. You can also get that uh, stealth skill up, too. One shot from death, Mr. Gollum. Arrows I'm using there. Oh, nice. So it, I almost did it with 40 wood arrows. Nice. Dragafang rules. Dragafang is awesome. And now he's dead. Like some kind of doji of a dead man. I only drop crystal and wood, no trophy. Dang it. How am I supposed to lord it over bloody Gek <laughs> if there's no trophy? And he did kill a wolf for me. Thank you, Candler, Mr. Gollum. Got so many wolf trophies now. Yeah. Now that we don't need the, uh, the cloak. I mean, it's cool to have it, I guess. You can make it and just have it.
Is there an end game to play towards? Yeah, shock and all going to every biome and uh defeating the bosses is basically the objective for Valheim. So I guess yeah, once you defeat the Mistlands, you're kind of just waiting for the next update to kind of get to the Ashlands and the other stuff. Ooh, I found a normal frost cave. What what? Yeah. Marked it. Oh, holy crap, this is really high up as well. This is proper cliff up this ledge, man. It's cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's the... the no way, the frost... Uh, do you know how this is Nipple Mountain? <laughs> the frost is that cave nipple? is on the nipple. Oh, beautiful. That is perfect. I'm on Nipple Mountain. Oh, nipple Mountain. Nipple Mountain is a beautiful, wonderful place. Oh. Hopefully, never mad here, but other dreams come true. It's nice not having to, like, uh, adjust for the uh, drop. The drop of, of it? Yes. Yeah, so much. Oh, crap, don't fall off there, you dipshit. Me being the dipshit. <laughs> Draugr spawner in the mountains. Let's go. Yeah. Any of Froster? Yeah, this is gonna be nice. Oh no, I've I've got the other one out at the moment. Oh, okay. Still pretty good there. Right? Oh, it's not a Draugr spawner. There's just three Draugr here. Um, no. And I do have a Veg Visor for a Mother. Nice. Oh, it's in the south. Do you have you guys found where Motor is or? No, no, I have not. Do you want me to ping? Please. Yeah. Right. Get on the map. I'll ping it now. Okay. Oh, that's like right there. Okay, we were on that island. A little. Well, maybe that's too far over. That's quite far away from the one we we're doing. So it's probably a secondary mountain. Click. Would, su would surprise me. It's uh, near the Mistlands there. Yeah. <laughs> it's also pretty close to Ashlands, to be honest. Yeah, that, if we can find one in the north, that would be better. And there probably, there's probably one in the northeast or something. Or east. I just realized, what what location gives you the uh, motor location? Like, how do you find oh, it? Just like a, a tower with a big beast. Oh, okay, so I gotta start looking. You can also location. find them in the uh, frost caves, if I'm correct. Ah, cool. That I'll makes start sense. looking for towers on my mountain see if I can find another location, hopefully. Well, there's definitely not another moda in the west. So, north or east, hopefully. Why am I seeing nothing but drakes and golems and no fecking wolves? Get to breeding, wolfies. <laughs> 
Oh Will crap, you that's every time. <laughs> <laughs> you just want that skin. Oh well, yeah. Oh. Damn right I want your skin there, Betty. <laughs> Crapping hell, three drakes on you is not fun. It's a misty. It's a new misty. -o. Hmm, could I just level it? Oh, two drakes down. Bird is bothering the golem. Sweet. Oh crap! It is pretty close to night. I'm nowhere near my portal. Oh. Uh oh. I should try to get to my portal pretty soon, or I'm gonna snuff it. Don't hit me, you stupid skelly douche. Oh, skelly douche. Oh, skelly douche. Won't you please mm -hmm. back off? And now I see some wolves. And that's a dead one. Oh, yeah, right. Get stamina back. Why is that bloody song frick sake? <laughs> oh, I found one of the wells. That's pretty cute. Well, well, well. <laughs> you can leave now. <laughs> oh, Lord. That was good. Okay, I think I'm pretty close to my ball now. Well, I think I can make that. Yeah, it'll be bumpy, but I can do that. Bore no more. Oh yeah, that's the uh, Zane. What is your running at? What, what, what skill level are you at? Sixty-three. <laughs> I'm at sixty-three as well, and I imagine if I hadn't died twenty-four times, I might Holy be. Holy crap! <laughs> I might be higher than that. Twenty-four deaths. And I will say that there's been probably five of those that were basically no skill drops. But the other ones <laughs> that were just spread out enough to where I lost skill every single damn time. That's rough, Betty. Yeah. I had five deaths and I lost skills each time. Right, I'm back and in bed. Oh, I'm heading back to my portal right now. Get out of here, Jogger. I just realized I didn't bring any food with me and I have five minutes left. Thank God. <laughs> No stamina. I'm gonna flip back like a ninja. No. Cause that's what ninjas do. Hey, Delta <laughs> One in the chat. Delta, are you gonna do any speedruns this week or are you taking it off for holidays? Oh, he's taking it off all right. <sighs> I'm taking you off. What? Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jason. I'm <laughs> Well, I'm laying down in bed now. <laughs> so am I. Oh, uh, and here we are. <laughs> so you ignored the pole and went to the uh, 
No, no, we, the we did the mountains here. first. I got a silver vein. Oh, you did, dude. Right. Yeah, we did that one first. So I voted mountains because I thought that would be the most death likely. <laughs> That's the joke I made earlier, yeah. Like, oh yeah, everyone voted for the mountains to see if me die, but haha, -ha, suckers, I just got more silver and made better armor. <laughs> oh. I should go back to the mountains though, see if I can get any more. Boom. I need to make more health potions to run out. Golems use them so quickly. Nah, you just gotta gotta be brave and don't use a ever use a, a health potion, even though I have like twenty six of them. <laughs> I never use them. You're mixing up bravery with stupidity. Nah, nah, nah. There's a fine line, but I like to ride the bravery line. <laughs> There's a fine line, and I ignore the lines. <laughs> I ignore it completely. Uh. There's a fine line, but I can't see. <laughs> but I'm colorblind. Uh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and five of these. That stack. Hey. Yeah, I'm gonna have to start making. Make it so food. hard for me to convince people that you're actually really smart. That's the whole goal. <laughs> if you set the bar low enough, anything you do is amazing. <laughs> uh. Nice. 50 friggin' three honey from those hives is a nice little haul. Yeah. Are you back at the village or you have your own haul? Oh, it's the village one. Yeah. I was going to say, every once in a while I'll go back there and, and I always have my own rule of, oh, I'll, I'll fill up the village box with honey before I take it home. Knowing that the village box is full already. <laughs> okay, okay. It's always full. So I'm like, yeah, because I don't think anyone goes back to get honey anymore. Well, I think everyone just harvests it from the things, the hives probably. Yeah. I mean, I... I they're I, always full whenever I go there. Yeah. Well, that's what I mean. Yeah, they're always full. And then I have three at my house, at my home. So it's not a big deal. I have a box probably of like... I almost have an iron box full of honey, so it's like, I don't know what I need to do with it. Just have it, hoard it like a dragon. You hoard. You hoard. <laughs> you hoard. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, Midnight. You can't use them now. You might need the health potions later on. The problem is later on never comes. <laughs> we'll be in the mistlands and I'll have like 50 health potions. Hold it on just for that one boss. It'll never use it. All right. So let's uh... sweet. Got two meads on the brew. See, Gek was all, why do you need more than one saying it's so when I couldn't be asked to make it and finally need it, I can make two at once. Yeah, that's always yeah. plan ahead. Ian, we, I haven't used any of my uh, stamina potions yet. Yeah, I have a chest full of uh, poison resist here, and then I have some at both of my swamp <laughs> uh, locations. Have you made any stamina, medium stamina yet? I have not. I probably should. Did you not pick up any cloud berries when you are in the plains? I did. Let me check. I don't know how many I have. I have four. I didn't pick up a lot. I made... Oh, you need 10 for six potions. No, oh, well, I, I need don't even have enough. 18 potions. <laughs> yeah, I don't even have enough. So, eh. I'll get there eventually. I do have, I mean, my planes are right next door. So I just need to get brave you and go over there. three locks, but no, uh, picked up four cloudberries. <laughs> I bet you <laughs> ate them. No, I didn't. I, I literally was uh, panicking and trying to survive my lock encounter. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my God, just run. Run for your life. Your pathetic life. But... <laughs> I just love coming over here and collecting all the the cert cores and the uh, charcoal. Amazing. <laughs> and to visit Plains Farm and collect mad goodies. We must kill the active building. 
will just plant a crap ton of onions today. Oh, look at that. Beautiful timing here, Abomination. I'm ready for you, buddy. Come on over. I just hit my, uh, <laughs> my food, so I'm maxed out. Come on. Dang it, didn't block that one. Dang it. Oh, I'm going to use a health potion now. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Block, you dummy. Okay. <sighs> now I'm being dumb. Oh, the dum dum one gum gum. I, <laughs> I used the health potion. It's on stream now. I did use one. <laughs> Wee. Fucking <laughs> <an> idiot. <laughs> I don't know what it was. I was not blocking at all. Just, oh my god. Uh, did you uh, just use Frostner to kill an abomination? No, I pulled out my axe. I did pull up my axe that time. <laughs> the first time, I, when I just got my Frostner, I was like, I'm going to test this out and see how good it is against the abomination. It was not good. <laughs> not at all. Really? Am I going to have to only carry? Oh, God. Really? It was abysmal against the abomination. <laughs> Whee. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Oh. Well, Zane, if you got some time, you should definitely come and check out my roof. I'm pretty happy with the framework inside now. I shall up, 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 up. I mean, by that, Jason, I mean, of well, but... yeah, I, yeah, I'm about to pull up some iron. So give me a few minutes. I'll pop over there. Um, are the wolf kebabs wolf onion and mushroom? Yes. Yes. Cool. Yep. That's hey, men. Cool. Actually, actually, I'll just Google. I was. <laughs> actually, I've got the spare silver now. I can make my uh, thingy. I'll just do make the butcher's table here. Yeah, so, I've, I've been making I've a lot of wolf kebabs. Silver left. What's her? I've been making a lot of wolf kebabs. I've been up on the mountains so, for a while, so I love wolf kebabs. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'd definitely be using it with. Uh, I think that sausage and onion is probably enough to take on golems at this point. 
it's a yeah, or, fourth uh, one. If you want some, like, uh, what you call it? The, um... Ice cream is pretty good as well for some stamina boost. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's just uh, I tend to not make that unless I've got a fair bit of extra uh, freeze glance. Because I'll want so many frost arrows for the planes. And a scooby fields of gold. When you do be do, when you dibbly day, do be sky be woo be. Yes, well, I made mistake of last time. Oh yeah, I messed that up. Nope. Mistakes were made. Um, I'm too mushroom when I. Ugh, why is he using so much mushroom? Dang it. I ran into that issue as well. Me. I have so much yellow mushrooms, but not any red. I need to go back and farm some reds. And I've got so much fat, mushroom, and it doesn't even stuff. take any space. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> oh, mushroom. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> Wait a minute. I've had enough of this just... today with my father, thanks. Oh crap! Ground is shaking at my base. Do you want uh, help? Oops. Right. No, no, no. It's, I'll probably be better if I <laughs> take them out myself. Oh, that's how you know. They're like, nah, Jason, you're going to add to the health and you're not going to really help, so uh, don't. <laughs> <laughs> don't come here. <laughs> See, at least he knows, guys. <laughs> oh. I, I when I first loaded up, uh, Beeble Bum was in the middle of a raid, and I didn't know what it was because we weren't even in the chat yet. But I immediately told my uh, stream, I said I would help him, but I know he probably doesn't want my help because I'll just make it difficult. So I'll let him go. <laughs> what was actually pretty okay this time, uh, the frost that does help a lot in this. I really want a Brenna raid. We've only had one at Gex. I want a Brenna raid. Brenna. Or as a uh, Gek would call her, Brenda. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh. So far. And there we go. It's fading. Time to finish them off. One down. I got them base basically to no health and waiting for the count to come down. Just na, running na, off na, my little na, na. Did you sing this song, Zane? Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> now you're stuck with it forever, people. Like, what? Where did that come from? <laughs> where do you bloody think? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was it. I yeah, I didn't even realize that I was having a troll raid until I just saw when I was in my working on my uh, food. I was like, wait, is that two trolls? Is that a <laughs> troll? <laughs> yep. Oh dear. That is how I, that's, I think two of them so far, because I have walls around my base, so I don't even know. Like the ground is shaking. I'm like, what the hell is that? Oh yeah, it takes like two seconds to register in my brain. Oh yeah, that's a troll raid. So I don't have the music on. If you have the music on, it's easy. It's yes. Oh yeah. It's basically 24 music. <laughs> yes, <laughs> 24 music. Yes. Wolf skewer, robots in the sky. I need to check. <clears throat> A little bit, but not much. <laughs> Sweet, eight wolf skewers. What's the other meat again from the, uh, what's the other health giving one? Or is there just that? From the mountains? You have wolf jerky. Because there's wolf jerky, but that's obviously like a balanced uh, balance building down. food, really. Yeah. Um, the mugshake is also stamina. Oh, mugshake is uh, swamps. 
Yeah, it's like onion soup. soup. Yeah. Ice cream, wolf skewer, wolf jerky. So it might just be one um, health related one in this, two stam and then a balanced. Mm hmm. Oh, wait. Er Damn. I might have to keep up the uh, serpent hunting. Uh, yeah, I've got I, nine I, meat left. Yeah, I was gonna say I haven't done any serpent hunting in a while, so I'm getting low on my stews. Yeah. Oh yeah, old explorer says you could just cook the wolf meat if you want. That'll give you health. Feels like I mean, kind of a yeah, waste. but it's yeah. It's like is it? I don't think it's better than sausage, is it? Uh -huh. Actually, I'll have a look. Cause, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I can just use that for building anyway as well. Not sure I need to do five to check it, but <laughs> the cooking station has five slots. So one. <laughs> right in the butterscotch. <laughs> Oh, my swim is up to level 10 now. Is that from you trying to uh, punch serpent? Maybe. <laughs> I think yeah. like five of those levels is from punching serpents. And like uh, when Bob and I were out there hunting for leviathans, me jumping in the water to get all the meat. <laughs> and Bob trying to sail away from me. <laughs> No, come back here. Yeah, cooked wolf is 45 health, so it's 10 less than the sausages. But, wow. I mean, it's still good building food. Yeah, because you fish, don't need anything fish else. might actually be more if you cook fish. This is 40, I think. Is it? Okay, now I have to go and check my fish. <laughs> Do I have fish? I do have fish. Let me just grill one fish. Oop. Give it a grill, grill. Tell me, what's your information, fish? <laughs> <laughs> Why am I joining in on these terrible jokes? Oh, for goodness sake. Swim is 32. What are you doing, explorer? That you need 22 on your swim. I'm, I, right, I'm just, this is going to be like a me wild guess. He's swimming. Maybe. But 45. what There's need? A fish, yeah. Oh, he's 45? Yeah. Yep. Ah, nice. So, Suck yeah. insane. Well, I mean, he's still not better. <laughs> it's better than I thought. <laughs> but it's the same. <laughs> but fish is way easier to get. I have a river right outside my, uh, my base. It's time to get some fish. It's... Minute. Fish is easier to get than wolf meat. It depends if you have a farm. Well, yeah, it depends on if you have a farm. That is true. <clears throat> Ooh, baby, I'm getting my fishing rod because I do need to level up that fish. Level up that fish, fish, fish. fish, fish, fish. Just don't let yeah, Gek to be able tell to you. Catch, to be able to catch, um, what's the name? Puffer uh, fish. Puffer fish, we need fueling trophies. It's locks, isn't it, specifically? Is it it's locks? locks? I mean, I can tell you, I have a fueling trophy. Is it, uh, is it not stingy bait you need? Uh, stinky oh or sticky bait? Stingy, stingy. Stingy. Uh, that is a fueling trophy, yes. You're not immune to the mosquito bites, and the fish here aren't immune to this snack. Yeah, you do need a fueling trophy. Uh, for that, but wait, I'm just double checking. Now, what do you need for the the puffer? What's your bait? I was assuming it was thingy because that's what they do. Um, misty fishing bait. Misty. But that's for mist lance fish. No, what's that? That's the. This is a good test to test the legitimacy of the wiki. Because, uh, so pufferfish are passive creatures found in the waters just offshore of the Mistland. I did find them here as well, just in front of my house and the water on the ocean. Hmm. 
Um, so yeah, apparently, Puffer, uh, Misty Bait is used to catch Puffer and Angler. Mm -hmm. uh, so what is Stingy Bait for then? Duna and Grouper. Hmm. Okay, Grouper? <laughs> I don't want anything to do with any gropers. A grouper, not groper, you, <laughs> you deviant. I got this fish in my boat and he can't stop. <laughs> he won't stop touching me! <laughs> uh, it's exit only! Exit only! <laughs> oh, Lord! <laughs> Lord! No, no. <laughs> oh. Oh man, I would. In my head, just oh mercy. <laughs> What's his name from Simpsons? <laughs> oh. No. I'm gonna need to get some more resin. I'm gonna go attack some great orfs. Man, it would be nice if someone didn't kill all the great orf spawners on the uh, island. That would be nice. Yeah. <laughs> Frickin' <laughs> You frickin' fucks! <laughs> oh. Uh, do we want to sleep? Oh, I was just about to go hunting a serpent, but I can... I mean, we can if you want to. Not a big deal. Is that okay? Can everyone do what they want to do with the knight? Yeah. I am building, so I'm good. Okay. Cool. Alright, yeah, good, good, good. Cheers, chaperudes. Out into the open oceans, and you say, Let's see if I can get some as well. I got rested. <laughs> you bastard. Oh my god. Fishing is 45. Or fish is 45. Oh, old explorer was saying it, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, beeps, check a root. Oh, it's probably an old comment. Yeah, looks like it was. Right. Let's go get some silver. Or iron. Yeah, there's puffin fish in the ocean here as well, chasing my boat. So if you had some bait, you'd be good. Yeah, I need to kill more locks. And no, it wouldn't be good, because my skill is so low that I'd just lose it. I just puff up on a uh, stamina. Poo for fish. <laughs> yeah, but when it's too out too out your level, there's no not enough stamina in the world. Oh, I make up everything you can make with stamina. It... <laughs> <laughs> you can make it a lot easier by just having the thing really close in front of you, so you've barely got to bring it in, but oh, that's true, it yeah. just drains instantly if it's too high at level. Come on, Serpentis. Anyone's your fleesh. <sighs> Just imagine Serpent, a Frostner to the face <laughs> as your last and final blow. That'd be good. <laughs> yeah, take a cigarette after <laughs> that. <laughs> I bet you a Froster would be really good for it, too. When you do be a Scoobs and you Scooby Doos in the fields of gold. Oh god. Can I do this? Oh, it worked. I'm a genius sometimes. Sometimes. No, oh, damn it. Sometimes. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm stupid. I was all impressed because I put my boat down and then I realized to put it down backwards. So now, yeah, great. Oh, God. Come on, serpent. Come on, serpent. Zane is going speedy. 
Trader with the wind. I've been playing for way more than an hour. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to say anything because I, I like it, but yeah, I don't know if you actually legitimately need to make your video. You need to I do. probably get the hell out. <laughs> but you, you need serpent meat. You are a distraction, Mr. Jason. Get some serpent meat. That's all you need. Serpent's all you need. All you need is flesh. Da, 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 da. <laughs> It would help if it wasn't foggy as hell, so I could barely see anything. There are poof or fish everywhere. I mean, even in the fog, I think you can normally see the serpents because they have that glint. Yeah. But so hard. It's always hard. Always. Always. Oh, I can finally get this patch cleared up. Beautiful. <laughs> so I try to always, like, whenever I sail, I sail on a different path. That way I can clear up the map. And I've been avoiding this one little patch right here. And I finally can do it. My OCD, my, my autism is letting it oh, feel so good. Beautiful. Boost your autistic powers, Jason. Boost. <laughs> the map is now cleared, except for this section over here. They'll be back, and in greater number. Hope everyone's having a good holiday. We are, Mike. At least uh, all of us have a really good holiday. So. It's kind of a low week because uh, New Year's is coming up on uh, Monday. Are we? Uh, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. A new song to put in the head. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hey, Jason told me to come on. It's his fault. <laughs> I always tell you to come, Zane. Um, Tim Reg. <laughs> Uh, are we, uh, streaming on Monday for, uh, cause I know that's New Year's Day. I don't know if you guys are planning on anything. Um, the plan is for yes. The question yeah. is if I will be able to do that. <laughs> the plan is yes, but the, pl uh, the question is maybe. Oh, well, I'll, I'll be able for it. Okay. Well, I didn't know. Do you have anything planned or are we just gonna... No, I'll just uh, chill stream like we did on okay. yesterday, I think. <laughs> Okay. Oh, serpent! Let go! We can do some firework, but I'm not gonna do it by the dock. Of course, there's no serpents when I'm out here. Damn it. Stupid Jason with your lack of sure paint here. Yeah, nothing. No meat for me. I'm gonna have to make some turkey. I'm gonna be eating turkey for like the next week. That hurt. He bit me, the bastard. Trying to jump off and kill him with my frostness. Oh, shit. He's bit me again. Ah, bastard. Get off. Get Back off. <laughs> Stop touching me. <laughs> it's touching me. I don't know. What is that movie? It's licking me. <laughs> right. Got him. With my Frostner. Nice. Did you get scales um, out of that? Three more scales. Yeah. And seven flesh. I'll do. Now, I know you can make the, uh, you probably can make the scale uh, armor. Or not armor, the uh, shield. Is it worth it? I can now, yeah. It's uh, eight for the first one. It's actually a really good uh, tower shield because it has uh, piercing resistance. Ooh, I might need that for the... That's a tower shield, though. That thing's going to be heavy. 
Yeah, it'll slow you down when using it, but it's got the it's the best block force and stuff stuff in general for tower shields are. Okay. Um, so you don't need to be fast because the whole point is that you just st stand against the enemy. Oh, yeah. I mean, and that's basically what I do anyway, so I might as well take advantage of it. Now I'll do a bit of a Jason and uncover some more of my ocean. Yeah, it's a weird I obsession. I gotta, I gotta sail and clean it up, even though we're gonna get more to it pretty soon. And then I won't have to worry about the wind. There's only one R in motor. Motor? Motor? <laughs> Fucking motor. <laughs> I got the motor power. It's like an engine. I got a motor. <laughs> Y'all say motor. <laughs> oh. Bitch owes me money. <laughs> Ooh, mm. Leviathan. Nice. And I'm roosted. I have I have six stacks of chitin. Do I need to do this? Ah, why not? I'll say the uh, the Ashlands update is gonna use a whole bunch of chitin, so you're good to go. God, that'd be good. <laughs> you're all set. Is hey, it? Give me some of your chitin. No, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> it's all mine. It's all mine. It's all mine. Try <laughs> Oh. Oh, oh shit. Right? Looking at my map. Duh, you dummy. There's. Oh, God. Just sail right into the shore. <laughs> oh. So far, Mr. <laughs> Leviathan isn't shaken. Yeah, I've noticed that for the last few I've done as well. It's just, it feels like they take a long time to realize you've been picking them. <laughs> he's just, nice. currently he's underwater. Would you stop? <laughs> hey! <laughs> I'm sleeping here! <laughs> well, I've got 50 so far and he hasn't started shaking. <laughs> that is insane, yeah. Maybe at some point they just give up. It's like, ah, well. It is what it is. <laughs> so, yeah, he didn't shake and I've got it all. You got all uh, of it? I've got it <laughs> 72 all. again. This is the third one now that I've done where I've got all 72, except this one isn't going anywhere. He's just... So... Well, that's going to be uh, bad for later on. You're going to see him and go, Oh! Levi... Oh, wait a minute. Nothing on it. Just pounding on his backside. Damn right. <laughs> Seeing if oh, I can yes. get him to... Go... Mm. Uh. <laughs> Go hide in some cotton somewhere, buddy. Well, it looks like I'm off. Good lord, my boat's only 55% health. Oh, dang. <clears throat> it's because I keep letting the friggin... Actually, most of the time when I'm trying to sh hit it with the frost and the serpents... It hits your boat? Uh... <laughs> no, it just hits me. Oh, okay. <laughs> my boat doesn't... Uh... go anywhere. Um, love... Oh. Yeah, um, 72. And I won't cross it out because he's still there. Like a jackass. What a sausage. Oh my god. Look at her butt. Okay. <laughs> oh no, that's the wrong one. Sorry. Salt and peppers Salt and here. Pepper. Yeah, I know. Salt and peppers here. Oh. But ser seriously, I would that. highly recommend Grandma's <laughs> Boy. If you want to watch something amazing movie from like 2003 or 4, 
Adam Sandler like ass movie. It's amazing. Every time I hear that song, because there's a part where they do karaoke and they sing that, and it's um it's amazing. <laughs> They want want you to push it. Push it. <laughs> uh, that movie is great. Shadow Wolf, you gotta convince my wife. She hates it. <laughs> I I force her to watch it every once in a while because she hates it. Lovely. <laughs> yeah, she's like, what should we watch? I said, Grandma's Boy? Absolutely not. I'm like, really? We it's it's been like a whole month. Can't we watch it this time? Okay. <laughs> oh, In case I run into anything. When the mom walks in, good Lord Brian, yes. The bathroom part was pretty good. <laughs> I've heard you like Periwinkle Blue. Periwinkle. <sighs> What the hell? Oh, it's a one star. That's why. Okay. I'm wondering why this dragger's not dying and I'm getting a whole bunch of damage. Yeah, it's because he's a one star. That's why you need to parry there, buddy. I didn't even have my shield on. I was just going to hit him twice because all the regulars I hit twice and they're done. Like some kind of drahaic age. Oh, and that's yes. why you die to two star dragons. Yep. Eight. Well, if if I see a big purple one, they're like, those, you can't miss those guys. They are huge and they're quick. I am out of there. I'm like, nope, I'm good. Um, you can go. And then... I don't want to set your bomb on fire. <laughs> no, please, please don't. <laughs> it would produce an odd smell. Do, 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 do. <laughs> like shitty pork scratching. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> literally shit oh my god no <laughs> no <laughs> oh mm, it's making me hungry <laughs> i'm really hungry all of a sudden I feel like I scar your viewers whenever I do. Yeah. Uh, I prefer the term making them more worldly. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Now change. The second I get back, it's almost night again, so I should go back out to Uncertain. <laughs> yeah, see? It's like a perfect cycle. Um, there. Got my festive table. This is going to be pretty big. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Lady! <laughs> it's a big table, so we're going to have a big spread. <laughs> <laughs> Lord. <laughs> Oh, 
corrupting the viewers. Uh, I am corrupting your viewers, but all, Zane does make you worldly. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes. See? <laughs> Zane knows the line. He, he rides it very carefully. I don't know about that. Strongly. <laughs> because you're mine, I uh, walk the line. Uh. Oh, dang it. It took me out the freaking water off my. Ah, my doozy. That was my mm. doozy. Hey, little fishies. Come to them. Did a, a spawner run and I got 59 coal and eight cores out of that. Yeah. Nice. Uh, when are you doing? Oh, Brian says, uh, when are you doing the next boss? Not this Monday, next Monday. So we're taking off for the holidays because everyone is kind of spending time with their family. We're going to take off Christmas and uh, New Year's. But after that, then it's going to be bone mass. I think we should be pretty prepared. Prepared like a fox. Like a fox. Um. I don't know why, but that just reminded me of that. Wouldn't you like to know weather boy? <laughs> weather boy. <laughs> yeah. Hello kid, he's such a kid. dick. <laughs> he's a dick. He's a dick in a fun way. It's funny. Uh, oh, I better put my other iron back in there. I mean, they do laugh when they see it. <laughs> oh, there is a fish there. I will lure him over. Come to me, little fish. I'm going to take your life. And your freedom. Got myself a perch. A level one delicious perchy doodle. Yeah. I should go fishing. It's I'll just stay away from the that joke there. Yeah. <laughs> a level one perch? It's like the worst. Oh. Terrible purchase. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Get him chat. Get him. I want to see get the Belgian in this chat. <laughs> get the Belgian. <laughs> oh. See, now that, it's right on the line. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Zane, he's on the, he knows how to ride the line. Should I go back up to the mountains? We should, I should probably look for some more silver on my mountain. Oh, I should probably rotate out my onions. Yeah, to wave. Yeah, to reality. For sake, fishies. Chop, chop. I'm hoiting. I'm waiting for your touch. Rock the Casper. Rock the Casper. 
Bärchen all day. Du, du, du. Rucksäcke. Du, 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 du. Oh my goodness, I forgot I had the frostner. That grayling went far. <laughs> and, and, Goodbye! And we just made a <laughs> sound. Thanks for the frost effect. Oh. oh, there is fish. Hello, Mr. Fishy. I'm Van, and I have come to take your freedom. Why don't you nibble on the mad bubble? <laughs> Give it a nibble, okay? Oh. You guys, seriously, give it a... There's like four of you, why well, nobody nibbling? Mm, I should find... Yeah, I'll do it tomorrow. <sighs> <sighs> You're going to nibble it tomorrow? <laughs> she likes to wait. She makes you wait. No, I was thinking about uh, getting a tier trophy, but I'll kill him tomorrow. <laughs> oh, I bet you would like a split second right now with all the gear we have. You do it alone. Uh, Holy cow! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what? Maybe two minutes and it's done. I was saying. Yeah, it'll be so fast. Let me see. That's the time it takes to run there. We have a teleporter right next to it, right? You just go to the village and go there. Hopla. Come on, you stupid fish. There is bit in water. Uh, hoi. Got the little oh. shit bag. I would, Brian. It's just I don't have anything else to plant. I have enough. Uh, maybe, maybe I can do carrots. I haven't done carrots in a while. But yeah, I got a million onion seeds ready to go. Yeah, I should probably. Maybe I'll do carrots and turnips just because. I don't know why, but you know, just for change of scenery. Trader, elder. I don't know. Do we still have back here? Yeah, it should be between Gek and uh, Zane's house. There's a portal over there. It says spawn. Mm, spawn, all right. in a field with a lonely goat yodle 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 <laughs> come back here where are you this One, is when i two, show up just three, to make it harder four <laughs> five six seven dead <laughs> <laughs> good lord yeah that's what took 15 seconds oh. <sighs> He didn't. He was just spawning in still while I was mm, smacking him. <laughs> like, I, he's like, dude, I didn't even have time yet. Give me a break here. <laughs> <laughs> this is so embarrassing. <laughs> Odin's not playing fair, man. <laughs> not playing fair is ridiculous. I am a high spirit. <laughs> Odin, we need new rules. You will taste my oh my god <laughs> wouldn't that be i i don't know i mean there's probably a balancing aspect that they probably don't want to deal with but it would be awesome if you can go back to a previous boss and they drop different items depending on the uh how many bosses you've beat like how many stones you've activated at the uh the spawn area i would love that all right hanging my trophy and there we go. Look, you stupid fish. There is freaking bat. There is bat in water. There is bat in water. 
Thank you, game. I'm wet. Thank you for letting me know. <laughs> Just in case. They might not have realized. You're so wet. I'm hella moist. <laughs> hella. <laughs> oh. Uh, I made a uh, Fallout 76 uh, room for like a uh, uh, Gek A trainer myself. Uh, it's got, and I've called it Fire Team something. It was really weird and rude. And then they didn't like it, so I called it Fire Team Moist. <laughs> Gek still didn't like it, but I didn't change it. So we've just been Fire Team Moist for like a year. And the, uh, the icon for the room is just three droplets. <laughs> No. No, no. Should I go for blue? Should I go for... It might have been fire team broth before. And I had like an icon for ramen. <laughs> That's not bad. What's wrong with that? Oh. Is that a broth or brothy or something? It was... It was like... It was weird. And uh, definitely an inside rudeness. Well, the fish aren't biting the bastards. Time for more Sherpane to eat. I'm going to get your panty Sherpane man. Show me your stuff and I'll take a damn. Skip it a bit, bit, bit. Panty time. It's your panty time. I have fixed my ship this time and hopefully I won't die again. Well, actually, I didn't die last time. But... I'm not um, rested, damn it. Get rested first. Great of fun. Need some great advice. Is someone making ice cream? Or a no, I'm making actually blue torches. Oh, fancy. Ooh, yeah, fancy. I, I think I like the blue ones. It's like mana. <laughs> I think I got a pretty good ID. They don't have purple torches, do they? I assume not. No. Yeah. I wonder if I you mean, could combine... Yeah, I was just thinking that. Can you combine mm. the normal ones and the blue to make a semi purpley magenta? Or you use the uh, blue with the um, circling trophies. Oh! <laughs> mm. That could work, Mr. Tatty Jangles. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Yes. I think I'm gonna call it. I'm happy with the roof. I'm happy with that fireplace, so I think I can call it a night. Never. Just keep going. Just like Zane. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Don't go to sleep until the sun comes up. Um mm. <laughs> Yeah, I went to bed at 8 a.m. this morning. Oof. And I woke up at 1 p.m. It was not enough sleep. <laughs> that doesn't sound like enough. But was it worth it? No, because no. I didn't even finish the video. <laughs> Damn it. I'm gonna put the corner away. Cornering early in the morning. Cornering. Hey, the Oh, says the camera. I think after this serpent hunt, I'm gonna make some egg fried rice with brisket. Ooh. No, no. That I have brisket really good. left over from the other day, and it is amazing in stir fry. Oh, you're gonna make me hungry. I'm gonna have to go eat something. You should eat some brisket. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make a quick trip over to your house. Just be ready. 
Uh, yes. I will make you brisket. I will put it on floor in front of door. That's okay. I can. I, I don't. Ground biscuit is still pretty good. <laughs> Ground brisket. <laughs> I'll put in dog bowl. See how far you want. <laughs> hey, dog bowl is still off the floor. I'm good. <laughs> the, the other day, I, uh, uh, we have these little like uh, bone treats for my dog Charlie. Whenever she like, whenever we tell her like to sit or to lay down, to treat mm -hmm. her that way she keeps doing it, just so she knows it's a good thing. And so I went down to uh, get some potato chips out of our, our pantry, and then I saw she was there and she was all excited. So I said, "Oh, sit, sit," and she sat. So I went and grabbed a uh, uh, a, a couple of the bones for her. And I gave her a couple of bones. Said, "Oh yeah, good." And I went back up here to play some Valheim, and I, I put a chip in my mouth. I crunched on it. I was like, "Oh, that's not a chip. That's a dog bone. Great!" <laughs> so I ate the dog bone. It was, <laughs> it was awesome. Uh, it's funny, those dog bones just taste of nothing. Yeah, it tastes like cardboard. It's just like stale cardboard. Yeah, there's like no flavor. I and yes, that does mean I've eaten one. <laughs> yeah, yes. I think everyone has tried it. Like, you know, you want to see what it tastes like. Like, okay, these dogs eat it. They love it. So let's see what it actually tastes like. Have you not Beeble Bum? No, I didn't. <laughs> you should experience it. It's good for you. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll accept your, uh, your uh, wisdom in there. <laughs> uh, uh. Well, guys, I'm going to head off. Have a good Players, one, man. Thank I'll you. see you all next time. Yeah. Shazam. Late, time man. for bed. Time for bed. It is time for bed. A scooby dee doo. And a bum de roo. Oh, serpents. You come and you try to kill me. And I take your flesh or sir. <laughs> do, 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 do. And I find a way, sir. Yeah, I definitely need to go back oh, to sure. my, yeah. my cert spawn so I can get some dang coal. Gotta keep doing that. Jason trying to get some hot dang coal. <laughs> oh, yeah. Seeing what it's doing while everybody's there. I'm looking at him eating a weird ash parrot's Jason. Jason Fruit Man. <laughs> That's. Uh. Oh, I got a flint. But, yeah, see, Midnight All Knows. Um. Yeah. He's like overly funny, tired. Like, yeah. Jason can confirm. This. Like, this is what I'm like when. It's just me and him as when he's not streaming as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In fact, I'm I'm worse because I'm filtering myself to a degree at this point. Yeah, he, at least he's he's aware enough to filter a little bit. <laughs> I haven't talked about buttholes once tonight. <laughs> not once, twice. <laughs> oh. No, the other. <laughs> uh, I think it was the other day. I was. Uh, I think I was playing Valheim with you, and then you got off. And I kept going, Probably. and I kept going, <laughs> and then all of a sudden, <laughs> Beebs was out, and then I see Beebs log in again, and I was like, "Why did he get back in? What the? Why is he?" And then I looked over at the clock, and it was uh, 3 a.m., and I was like, "Oh, I better go to bed. <laughs> it's now like morning time for people, Bob. I gotta go." Oh, <laughs> uh, that was fun. I was like, "Oh crap, Beebs bums my alarm." I'm like, "Oh, sh if he gets back in here, that means it's too late." Actually, my alarm is when you or Bob say, anyway, it's getting late, I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed, like, oh god. <laughs> that means it's like 6 a.m., gotta go. I'm going to bed. Seriously, not a single serpente at all. That's bullshizzle, bruh. 20, 180. Oh, nice, I got over 200 uh, iron. I should be okay. Well over 200. 
Did it hit What's daytime? Up? Is it daytime? Yeah, you're lost. It's about to go prick and die. Hot dang it. I'm going to log out on my boat and hope it's night when I come back in. Really? <laughs> yeah. So you tell me, because I used to, whenever I leave, I try to leave in the morning. I try to at least sleep and then it's morning and then I log out. That way it's morning for anyone. So I should leave it at night for you? Well, I mean, I don't know when I'm going to get a chance to come back on though. No. Oh, well, that's true. Yeah, because someone else might pop in and ruin that all. Those bastards. I could also do some Fiji. No, I will log off like a good boy. No, I was like, you got to edit, man. Got to put that. If you if you don't get the guide out today, then it's almost useless tomorrow because that's like one yeah, day yeah, left. Much. <laughs> Dang it. Uh, All right, cheers, Jason. Have a good one and goodbye, chat. Yeah, I'm back in inside a serpent's belly. Yeah. I will gut it from the inside. From the inside. From the inside. I feel like it's a song. Anyway. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if it's not, you'll make goodbye. a one. Uh, Light, everyone. Night. It's just us again. Just us again. I think I'm going to run up to the mountain. Just because I feel like we could probably find another uh, silver mine, a silver vein up there. So let's run up there and see if we can find one. I will be using my uh, Drake helmet, though. I'm not gonna, I don't need a flashlight up there. So we will, uh, or a headlight up there. So we'll uh, take that one out. Just because I want that extra armor in case the uh, wolves get me. <laughs> I don't need that. I don't need to deal with that. All right. Log out on the boat. Log back in inside a serpent's belly. Dude, I mean, I... Uh, Bob does that. Gek has done that. Zane's done that. I do not. I have to be at my base just in case something goes wrong. I don't want to be out on a boat and log out because then I know I would come back and be in the ocean with no boat. It would be like, oh, great. No boat. Son of a... <laughs> I get to swim and I'm in the middle of the ocean. I'm going to die. Ooh la la. It's just us now. Exactly. It's just us now. Uh, so hopefully you guys all had a, a good holiday. Hopefully. I mean, I know it's not cheery for everyone. We had a, a few people that were just, you know, bad memories on a holiday. And I get that. Uh, Thanksgiving is a little bit like that for me. I have some bad memories of Thanksgiving. But... I try to make... Oh, look at that! Drake trophy! I try to make the best of, uh... Of a situation. So, even if it has bad memories, I try to hang out with family, eat some good food, and just kind of... have fun with it. Nothing here. So, if you don't know, in Valheim... In order to... Uh, the normal way to do this is you beat the Bone Mass, the Swamp Boss. And when you do that, he will drop an item called a wishbone. And a wishbone will mark the location of treasure and silver underground, which is very useful. However, there is a trick to it. If you're around it and you hit, if you smash a hammer down next to it, silver is very hard and the hammer can't break it. So it'll say too hard. That's how you know, oh, there's silver here. That's why you see us, we'll run around with our hammer and we'll just randomly hit the ground and if you see a, a too hard there's probably silver there the other thing is if you uh, see a too hard it probably is obsidian like here i can show you that so there's obsidian i think right there oh no drake hey drake come back here don't you fire off and leave there you go uh but yeah so if you hit obsidian it'll say the same thing because obsidian is also too hard for a hammer to break um, there's some right here. So this obsidian, if I hit next to it, it'll say too hard. So that's what we're looking for. We're looking for that to pop up, but not next to obsidian. We need it to pop up on the ground. So sometimes people, like I get confused. I see too hard and I get all excited and then I realize, oh, it's because there's obsidian right next to me. That's why. So instead, we gotta run around over here. Let's see. Is that a wolf down there? That's a wolf! Come on, wolfie. I saw you. 
Where are you? Where'd that wolf go? I just saw the dang thing. Maybe I'm seeing things. I could have sworn I saw a wolf over here. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, so if there's a lot of obsidian around, I, I tend to pick it. That way it's out of the way. So that when I hammer the ground, the only thing that's too hard would be the silver. Saw that massive load of silver you found. Very sweet. Oh, dude, I've been finding silver all over the place. I love it. We got so much silver out of here. So I, I do have, like, I have my silver helmet, silver chest piece, silver pants. I got my Frosner. I got my Draugr thing. I got basically all the equipment I need already. So I've leveled it up mostly. I'm just trying to get any extras in case I need it for later on. Or if anyone else needs it. Like, if I have extra, I don't mind giving it to, like, if Bob or if, you know, Zane won't need it because, you know, Zane has all of his own silver. Well, you know what I mean. If someone else needs it, I'll have extras. Just like Drake helmets, uh, you need a Drake trophy, and they're hard to get. So if I have extra Drake trophies, I hand them out. I'm like, hey, if you need one, I'll give you one. Or I'll give you two, technically, because you need two. So yeah, always good to have backups, just in case. Oh, very nice. Yes, dude, that silver pop. We did a silver pop earlier in the stream as well, Midnight. Because uh, we did the mountains to begin with, to start the uh, stream. And then we went back over to the swamp to get more iron. And now we're back in the mountains again. And yeah, we found a silver vein pretty good, pretty fast. And so I was able to pop that one. That was nice. Nothing. And there is a big downside to this. The hammer method only goes so far. So there could be silver right here, but it's too deep for the hammer to hit. That is a drawback. So it's not perfect, but it's really, really good. You could find a lot of silver. And so what I'm trying to do is try to find some silver now. And then once we beat Bone Mass, I'll come back with my Wishbone and get all the rest of it and get a whole bunch of silver. But for now, I'm just trying to get my gear up to make the uh, Bone Mass fight really easy. And uh, I looked it up. Silver only spawns when you see Obsidian. So if there is no Obsidian, you're not high enough on a mountain. So there are some mountains that are really, really short, which is awesome because you can go farm uh, wolves from those because wolves will always spawn on a mountain. However, I, uh, silver only spawns at a really high mountain. So you need a really tall mountain to get silver from. There we go. Got that one. Let's check up here. So you don't want to go too low. Like, I don't want to go all the way down there because the silver is probably not going to show up down there. However, up here, plenty of uh, space and room for silver to grow or to spawn. Nope. Nope. Yeah, see, we're not, we're not getting lucky enough. And, I mean, you know, to be fair, it could be there and I just can't see it. It's too deep. Look at that wolf down there. Yeah! One shot him! Yep, got the wolf. And I'm gonna get the Drake one shot. Boom! Suck it, wolf. Suck it, Drake. Yeah, this might be too low down here. So, yeah, we don't see any... Uh, there's no obsidian over here. So, this might be too low. Maybe. I mean, you never know. It might be. I don't know the exact height. Uh, specifically, you need to be at least 120 meters above the sea level. And so I don't know the exact height I'm at right now. I wish they would give you an, uh, an item to tell you, oh, you're this high above sea level. That would really help because then you can say, oh, I'm high enough or I'm not high enough. But yeah, right now I don't know how high I am. I just know I'm high. Oh, God. I do live in Colorado, so I am always high. Um, Boom. And you're done.
Look at Jason going from dying naked to being king of the mountain, dude. Yeah, once you get your uh, your gear up, it becomes nice and easy. Now, I think the next place we're going to die a lot in is the plains because those fuelings, the goblins out in the plains are insane for damage. And so right now we're kind of over geared a little bit, which is fine. So, but it also kind of uh, makes you more confident than you need to be because... It's easy because I have better gear than I should. Can't see too hard on the obsidian right there. So let's get rid of that. But yeah, so once we get in the planes, that's when it's going to get nervous again. <laughs> that's when all the fuelings, all the goblins, they'll take me out. So we know we got silver here. So this is high enough. Oh, yeah, we got a silver main right there and another one right here. So that's what it makes me think that there's probably a silver around here somewhere. Like, I want to test out. Let's test over here. It's probably some. I hear a Drake. There you are. Fly back over here. And you die. There you go. That poison, the Drake bow, man. That poison really helps out. Oh, uh. Let's pull out the hammer. Nothing. Oh, they broke my bench. I'm going to rebuild that just because it helps with the... If there's a bench there, enemies don't spawn around your bench. They will come over and attack it, but they won't spawn. And so it kind of helps if you put down some benches. It'll stop everything from spawning for a little while until it gets destroyed. This is zero. And so, like, if you hit a rock, like this is a rock right here, it'll say zero. That's just a rock. So you're looking for too hard. Nope. 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 I hear a... Did I hear a wolf? I think I do. Where are you at, wolf? I hear something. I don't like getting caught off guard because the wolves will mess you up if they catch you. Like, if I know it's coming, I can kill it real fast. But if it comes up behind me, I will get torn up. All right. Let's see. Nothing. Come on. Oh, I got a message. Give me a second. I just saw I got a message. Let me look. Oh, yeah. I got it. Okay. All right. No, nothing. Nothing like emergency. So we're good. Um. Any more speed runs in the cards before the cartographers is over? Yes. Rockin'. I will be doing speed runs tomorrow. Wednesday seems to be my speed run day. So, yeah. Wednesday, we will be doing speed runs to see how fast I can get it done. I don't know if Delta's doing them. I don't. I didn't see his chat earlier if he said he was. But I will be doing speed runs to see how fast we can do it tomorrow. I'm aiming for under one hour. See if we can get it done in under an hour. That would be awesome. Yeah. That is uh, tomorrow, and then... Oh, yeah, there's a wolf. See? Get out of here, you. So you can get him if I attack him. And that's the thing I had to learn. Don't try to block him. Don't try to outrun him or whatever. Just hit him immediately. And those uh, wolves, because they don't have a lot of health, but they also, their attack is really strong. So you just got to be ahead of it and just go after it. Uh, the two runs made it so much easier for me when I did it yesterday. Nice. Yep. I mean, we did our stream, yeah, and it was we were able to get it done pretty quick. So, 
I have a feeling we could probably get it done in an hour. But I don't know if we'll get it done faster than that. If I had more time, I can prep a run. You know, I know exactly the numbers of what we need and where to go and get them. But yeah. It's only lasting a week. You really got to be quick and learn real fast. <laughs> Back up the mountain said too hard, but you were distracted. Really? Wait a minute. Don't tell me that. Really? Up here? Oh, midnight. Hopefully we have some. I think it was up here, right? Let's see. Was it up here? Now you got me all excited. I'll find another uh, silver vein. I see zeros. Was it a piece of obsidian maybe? Like if that, that will say too hard, even though it's not silver. Oh God, stuck on a tree. Yes, yeah, so you like if I do this, it says too hard, but that's for this, the obsidian. It's for this. I couldn't tell you anymore. Got lost already. Yeah, me too, man. That's okay. We'll find it. I mean, it's not a big deal. Again, our gear is pretty much set. Like, we are way farther than we should be or need to be. So, this is all just extra. So, I had one over here. This is my uh, my golem pit over here. So, the cool thing is, if you uh, spawn up a golem and dig a hole and trap them in a pit, they never despawn. However... You only have one golem spawn, so now I know my golem is stuck in this hole. I'll never have to worry about him spawning up anywhere else. So that's very, very good. I saw it too, but I didn't see obsidian. Oh, so it's around here somewhere. Yeah, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. Um, I know I was in this general area before the wolf came at me. Zeros. Zeros. Where are we over here? Zero. Dang it. See over here. Oh, Drake. I'm just using wooden arrows, man. Wooden arrows is just destroying this thing. Stay there. Hey, give me that frost gland. There we go. Let's go back up. We're, we're starting to go lower and lower. Let's go back up to the top. Was well, before the wolf, same time as your message you had to look at. Oh, really? Okay, so we were closer to the cabin, I think. Uh, old Explorer says, Jason, what kind of cape do you have on? Is it a wolf? It's totally different color than mine if it is. No, I have a lox cape. So mine is a lox. So I was able, because I have planes right next to my uh, my base, my main house. And so I literally just was over there and I was camping out just shooting a lox with a million different arrows. Trying to get it to die. And I think you need three different lox. Because you need six lox hide in order to make the cape level one. And so you had to kill three of the lox to get six hides. And so I ain't got, I got you know, a good amount, and I also uh, upgraded it once. Here we are. Oh, it's getting nighttime. You do not want to be on the mountain at night because they have uh, werewolves that spawn up, and the werewolves will destroy you if you're not ready for them. So I am definitely not ready for werewolves. I don't want to mess with those. So we'll hit him a little bit. Not seeing anything up here. I did dig a hole down here thinking it was a, there was a silver, but ended up not being any silver. That's okay. All right. We're going to head back home. We're going to sleep simply because I don't want to deal with the nighttime at all. And we can drop off some stuff, repair our stuff. Get in here. Grab the stone that's out of there. Beautiful. And angered an entire fueling village. I did. I did do that. So. <laughs> and 
I thought I was going to be cool enough to be able to shoot arrows and kill all the fuelings. No, that, I, I got destroyed on that as well, so... I will definitely be watching out for that. Look at that. I got four Drake trophies. I got seven wolf trophies. So we are good on all of that. Lands. Let's put those away. Stone over here. Wolf pelt. Just get it away from me. We have some wood. Oh, we can we have we can make some wolf skewers because we have some wolf meat. So we need our mushrooms. Oh, I'm running low on mushrooms. I gotta get some more mushrooms. Mushrooms and onions. All you need for a wolf skewer. One, two, and three. Then we can make some onion soup because onion soup is good for your stamina. And it only takes three onions. Look at that. Three onions. I love it. And I have a million onions, so uh, we're good on that. There we are. Put some more wood in there. Oh, we don't need any more wood in there. Put you away. And then we just need... And what was I using? I think I was using sausage. I should probably not keep those for a little while, so... Now, you know what? We will use sausage. It's easy to make sausage. You just need uh, boar meat and the intestines, and you're good to go. Which sounds disgusting. I wouldn't make food out of that. But hey, if it works in Valheim, I'll take it. Oh, yeah. Maybe we should pick up the iron that's just laying there. Just thinking about that. And do I have any more iron to smelt? We'll do that real fast. Because you can do it at night. Nope, we're good. All right, iron is done. And done. Hey, lay down. Oh. Yeah, and the reason, Old Explorer, the reason why we got the locks cape is that it takes less silver and it's useful for longer. So the wolf... Pelt is really, really... The wolf cape looks really cool. You need a wolf trophy, and you need more silver. The lox cape, you only need lox hide. You don't need a trophy, and it only uses two silver. I think the wolf cape only... It needs four. So you technically need more. Mm, it's not a lot. It's two versus four, but hey. In the beginning, when you're first getting your, uh, your silver, the, the amount matters. Let's eat some food before we go up on the mountain and die. Let's go. I have a ton of silver. You see, yeah, if it doesn't matter, then it's not a big deal. I like the way the locks cape looks. Like, in the plains, you, you can get the, uh, uh, what is it? You can get the linen cape. I don't like the way it looks. So I'm like, I'd rather have just the locks cape anyway. So I'm going to keep this cape for a while. So let's check this uh, mountain again. We were here. Let's check over here. Nothing. So we were over here before the uh, wolf showed up. Hmm. Nope. Zeros. Nope. Now... Uh, Gek thinks that if you see a cabin like this, one of the frozen cabins that is pre-built up in the, uh, mountains, that means there has to be a, uh, a silver vein nearby. I don't think that's a guarantee. I think it might happen, but I don't think it's a guarantee. Like, there's not a guarantee that it'll happen. What is the best way to kill the locks? They are tough. Uh, obsidian arrows from a distance. If you have silver, do you get your dragon fang or dragger fang. Because the fang does poison damage over time. So obsidian arrows with the uh, dragger fang, you're doing a lot of initial damage and then you're lingering po uh, poison damage. And just hit them and run. Hit them and run. Because they will, they will climb mountains. They will climb everything. They, I had one swimming out into the water to get me. So they will attack you no matter what. The best way to avoid them is to run away. And you'll see them whenever they attack, they like rear up. So you have time to get away <laughs> before they hit down on, they smash down on the ground. No, no, no. Well, I got two silver veins near the stone castles in the mountains. Nice. See, I've had three of them total so far. So we had 
This was my first one right next to my portal. Then I had a second one over here. And then the third one right next to it. That's the one we found today. We found our third, uh, my third uh, silver vein today. Let's see, maybe now. And now if it's on a, a sheer cliffside, like here, the, the, you might have been the, uh, you might have seen that. The, uh, the obsidian is right here. That might be, that might say too hard. So let's get rid of this. And let's see if it still says too hard up here. Because it could be there. Nope, I'm not seeing it. The other thing about a cliffside is that if there's silver there, it might be sticking out of the cliffside. So that's a pretty good giveaway. If it's too steep, the silver will, silver will just stick out. So it's probably not going to be here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not seeing any here. This is more of a flat surface. It might be here. Not seeing it though. Let's check over here on this side. Nope. 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 And this is this is what I spent my uh, my day doing the other day. Uh, I think it was on Tuesday or Wednesday. Oh no no, the f that would have been on uh, probably Saturday. I was just literally running around this mountain, hammering all over the place, looking for it. Just looking for uh, too hard. All right, here's our first one. Let's check over here. So that might be the mountain we were talking about right here. So here's our second vein. So let me mark that on the map. That way I know I've already done this one. Number three. Boom, boom, boom. So yeah, let's check over here. There might be one up here. Zeros. Uh, what happened to the wishbone? You ought to have got one from the boss. Azazel. We have not done the, uh, we have not done bone mass, the boss yet. So we are actually technically ahead of schedule. So because we're on a server, we're only doing bosses on specific days that everyone can join in. That way we all do the boss together. It, but we're not really prevented from going too far. Like, I mean, there's kind of a an unspoken rule that you don't want to get like you don't want to go to the end of the game you know you and there's some things that are preventing you like there's some things you cannot do without defeating the bosses so that kind of slows your progress but yeah so we are running around the mountain with a hammer because we don't have the wishbone because we have not beaten the uh, bone mass boss yet so that's why if I'm not controlling the character, I lose all sense of direction. Oh, I lose all sense of direction even if I have control of the character. <laughs> now, uh, midnight. Oh, there it is. There's some. So you'll see when I hit with the uh, with the hammer. Too hard. That means there's silver down here. That's what you're looking for. Oh, look at that. You have to be in a specific spot to even feel it. Look at that. That's why it's so hard to do it without the wishbone. It is way easier. The wishbone will mark it for you. A hammer, you have to be right on top of it or else you don't see it. And so even if I was off by a foot or two, I would never have seen it. So that's why you can kind of trust the hammer, but not really. Digging around here. Where's my vein at? There it is. There's a tip of it. Okay. Is it underneath this big old rock? Oh my God. So the, the uh, silver vein itself is like buried under the rock. It looks like See, we found the tip. We found the end of it right here. <laughs> Just the tip. Come on, Drake. You're killing me, Drake. Come on. Come over here. I need to 
There you go. Die. Here you are. That poison damage. So I need to mark this before I forget where it is. <laughs> and I will get distracted and all of a sudden I'm lost. I don't know where the heck it is. So before we leave... Yeah, see, I almost lost it again right here. All right, we're going to mark this. That way I know where it is. Silver ore number four. So now we know where it is. Oh, maybe not. I thought that was the tip. Are we not? Where's my silver at? Is it not? Let me see it again. Yeah, it says it's too hard. So it's in here somewhere. I haven't gotten to it yet. So we're outside of the- There it is! There's the vein! You can barely tell that- Look at that! It's barely there! It was underneath a gigantic- It's inside of a gigantic boulder. That's crazy. Come on. It's probably going to take me a couple days to a couple of Valheim days to do this because we're almost uh, we're almost at nighttime right now and I'm going to have to dig through a big boulder so it's going to take twice as long because normal ground is easy to dig through but a boulder takes a few picks gray on gray yep but you can tell because it's kind of shinier and then I always hover over it before I uh, start picking just to see and it says silver vein So yeah, again, you should be doing this with a wishbone. We're trying to do it out of order. So it's a nice trick. Like if you want to have an easier time doing a bone mass, you can venture up here and do this. You could do it pretty quickly. All you need is a, uh, a frost potion so you don't freeze to death. And then run up here, get some silver, and then you can make a... Oh my god! Get raped by a wolf. Holy crap. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Sorry, I should have heard that wolf coming because they usually howl before they attack you, but I wasn't paying attention. Uh, but yeah, so you can't, if you get a frost potion, come up here, get some silver. You need silver to build up your uh, your cape and then just get either a, uh, a wolf trophy that way you can make your cape and a wolf pelt. You need a wolf pelt, but you get it with you get a trophy because either way you have to kill a wolf to get the trophy. So you'll get a pelt anyway. And then you're good to go. Once you have a cape, you have frost resistance. That way you don't freeze when you're up here. Oh my God, is this? Oh, this might be a bad one. Ah, I might not be able to pop this one. It's buried in the ground. It looks like it's buried in the ground too much. Come on. Yeah. Look, it's not letting me dig down far enough. Mother, man. I might not be able to pop this, uh, this deposit. It's too deep in the ground. Man. A uh, stone can throw you off in the mountain. Yes, dude. Yes. A uh, golem will knock you off. They, when they hit you, they push you. And so, yeah, they can definitely mess you up. I've been thrown off a mountain by a, a golem. I have, and it sucks. Oh, uh, we're getting kind of... Oh, God, I can't tell if it's nighttime or not. Okay, good. It's a storm. I usually tell by my rested. So my rested right now is 21 minutes. And daylight from the beginning, from morning until evening is about 20 minutes so i know that when my rested is about to go away that's when daytime is about to go away so that's how i usually tell what time it is here it goes yeah see oh nope see i'm not gonna be able to pop this one 
You cannot have dirt touching it. And because you can only dig so deep, I'm not going to be able to pop this one. Dang it. Well, we're going to try. I don't think it's going to work, though, because the dirt is touching it. Yeah, see? And I can't dig this down any farther. Yeah. That's as deep as it goes. So it's touching the vein. Dang it. And there's some... I mean, there's a big rock over it. <laughs> uh, nah, man. You can throw the extra stone off the mountain and tribute to Zane. Ah, well, I could do that. I have been making piles just because I know Zane wants that stone. So I'm keeping it in case he wants it. But I'm not going to use it. And they are building... Zane and Beeblebum are building some insane uh, stone buildings. Yeah, see, I'm not going to be able to... I can get dig uh, a little bit farther. Okay. Yeah, see, that one piece! Yeah, but it won't go down any farther. Dang it! I have a whole bunch of stone. Good lord. Oh. Well, he's getting close to nighttime. We can go back home real fast. Repair my pick. Sleep. Drop off that stone. And then... Uh, come back and fix up the rest of that... Uh, that's that uh, silver vein and pop it hopefully i don't think it will though so the secret to popping the any kind of a thing copper stone whatever is it has to be removed from the dirt completely so you can't have any not you cannot have any dirt touching it or any hey that's my portal you jerk i need that to get back home don't do that to me Oh my god, look at it. It's already at half health. Oh, it killed it! It killed my portal, you jerk! Killed my portal, okay. So you need to make another one. Thank god it doesn't destroy the materials as well. That would really suck if it destroyed the materials. Oh my god. I would be so mad. I would be mad if it destroyed the materials as well. Uh, but thankfully it doesn't happen very often and if it if it gets destroyed before I go through I do have a backup so this is the mountain we're on technically this uh the cave portal that's where I go to that's called my J top my top of the mountain however I have a backup right down here just in case so there is a portal at the J mount so I can make a portal I can go back to this portal and then run back up there so it's not a big deal it's more of just a pain in the butt. It just makes it irritating. Oh God. I finally filled up a box full of stone. And my obsidian. Look at all the obsidian I have already. Nice. Make some more arrows because I've been using them. So, boom. There it is. I should probably make more. Let's go get some more wood. I have boxes and boxes of wood. So, we have plain wood there. Plain wood over here. Let's make some more arrows. Just so I don't run out. And I do have stockpiles of real good arrows. But I use wood ones because they're good enough to kill most of the enemies. Like, it's not going to kill a... A, uh, what's it called? A, uh, a golem. It's gonna, well, it could, but it's going to take forever. But it'll kill wolves. It'll kill, uh, drakes. No problem. So it's not a big deal. Make another wolf skewer. Since we have that wolf meat. Hey, get down there.
And if you had to walk all the way home, I would be so mad, Onion, or uh, Midnight, not Onion, Midnight. <laughs> I would be so mad. I'm like, God, I gotta walk all the way home. Let's put this away. Let's repair our stuff. Yeah, but it's about to be nighttime. So yeah, Beeble Bum, he has set the, uh, the nighttime, I believe, is 10 minutes, and the daytime is 20. So we know we have 20 minutes of daylight. And then 10 minutes of nighttime, if you want to be out at night. And so I just use my comfort level. My rest of level is 21 minutes, so give or take, if I wake up in the morning, I know I got about one full rested before it, uh, before it expires. Um... Give me a sausage. Oh yeah, we don't need our hammer anymore because we know where the uh, we know where the silver is, so I can put my hammer away. And yeah, look, I have my my box full of arrows. I got fro, I got frost, I got poison, I got fire, I got flint, I got iron, I even got obsidian. So if you want to take out the locks, old explorer, obsidian arrows with the dragger fang. You're doing a ton of damage with the arrow itself. And then it does poison damage because of the Draugr Fang. Do that. Onion? How'd you get onion? Because I was looking at onions. <laughs> oh. Alright, let's go see if we can get this dang silver. Oh, wait. wait, wait. Eat before I leave. Day 7.55. So we know we got 20 minutes. Only from chest in the mountain, midnight. Only in seeds. Oh! If you want to... I think that uh, old explorer, I think it's because I called him Onion. Not because he wants to know. I mean, yes, if you're looking for onions, they are in the mountain biome. They're in chests that are up there. But I think it's because I was calling him Onion. <laughs> uh... So let's see if we can pop this, uh, this vein over here. Let's look around for some wolves, because I know they spawn up. Where are you at, wolves? There it is. Underneath this big old boulder. I can't see anything. I should have brought my headlamp with me. Yeah, see all this rock blocking the way? Just trying to free this thing. There we go. There's some light. Come on. Oh, there's a rock up there. I'm going to have to break. It's above it. Oh, uh, no, you're pulling a GG and not have any torch to see. Well, I mean, yeah, I know. I should have had it, though. Yeah, well, it'll, it'll be daytime pretty soon. It's like early morning right now, so just a little bit of night left. All right, I'm going to get up here and cut up this uh, rock above it. There we go. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, do we have one over here touching it? You can't have anything touching it. Oh, don't hit the silver. Don't hit the silver. You're going to hit the silver, aren't you? Yep. Hey, let's see. If, can I get above it? I just hit it from up here. There we go. I still didn't do it. Let's see, can I hit this way? There we go. Okay. Oh, so close. So close. You need a, you need room. You can't just have it be good. Good enough. You need to have extra room just in case. All right. 
I'm gonna try to give this as much uh, help as possible so it pops, but I don't think it will simply because there's that piece over there that's touching the ground and we can't dig any deeper. Yeah, like this. Oh wait, now we can't, what? I was doing this yesterday, it wasn't working. Yeah, it's not working. This piece right here, it just won't go down. So the, if it doesn't pop, it's because of this piece right here. Oh God, or this piece over here. Oh, oh it broke that over there. Yep, because it's not touching. That's why, or because it is touching. Well, let's see. Yeah, see, it's not. Ah, oh, dang it! It's not popping. Man, I was hoping. Is this too close? Let's see. That too close? Let's pop it over here. Nope. Dang it! Not as cool as the first one of the stream. Not as cool. So it's going to be way slower. That's fine. That's a nice looking wide chunk there. Yeah, I've had a few of these wide chunks. I probably walked away. Oh, God. I probably walked away with like a good uh, two or three hundred silver so far. Let's make a uh, pile. Get all the stone out of my inventory. Here we go. Nope, not enough stone yet. Let's see. Nope, not enough yet. 22 silver. Give me all that stone. That way I can make a pile. I can always come back here and grab it if I need to. And boom. Still too much silver. Yeah, see, too much silver. I think I can only carry 20, a little over 20. Yeah. So I'll come back for you in a second. Since this dang thing doesn't want to pop correctly. I got to run all this back to my chest. That way it's safe and sound over here. Because items will despawn unless they're near a workbench. That's why you want to be careful and put it near a workbench or ideally in a chest near a workbench. Let's do this. Added stone. I don't need that stone. Oh, God. I, I did not make my chest after the uh, Drake destroyed it. Son of a. Oh, well, let's go. Let's go chop a tree. Oh, Jesus. There's a tree over here. Got to get some wood. Oh, God. Wait a minute. I don't have enough wood. I don't have enough. Oh, I do have enough weight. All right. We have enough weight for 10 wood anyway. So let's do this. Just need 10. Oh, of course. Only give me five. Oh, give me eight. I need two more. I heard a wolf. I heard a drake as well. There you are. Where's that wolf at? I don't need a wolf sneaking up on me. Give me this. All right, we can make our chest now. Dang it, that dang drake. I believe it's up here. Oh, Jesus! Wolf came out of nowhere. Get out of here. Over here where it's flat. Yeah. Yeah, that settled you down, didn't it? Get hit with a hammer. That'll calm you. Get out of here. That's settling your nerves like a hammer to the face. Uh, old Explorer says, I'm fully upgraded and still have about 190 silver left. I even made two of the silver shields. Nice colors. Oh, yeah, I need to do that. That's probably what I'll do. Because when I made my silver shield, I picked a color and then I didn't have enough. Uh, I didn't have enough materials. So I had to go get materials. I forgot to switch it back. So, oh, my God. 
So if you switch, if you get out of the menu and you switch it, it'll revert back to default, and that's what I have. I have the default, uh, I have the default color shield. These wolves, man! Thank you. Can I make my freaking chest? Jesus. That's all I needed was to make our dang chest. Whew. Goodness. A lot of work. <laughs> uh, doggy. I know. I wouldn't do anything except for they're trying to murder me. So the murder dogs have to go. If they weren't murder dogs, I wouldn't care. Actually, I would try to tame them, but I should tame them. I just don't want to deal with a murder dog. All right, let's go grab the other silver that dropped real fast before it despawns. Oh, look, there's a Drake right over here. Oh, wait. I gotta put my thing away. Lie back over here. Give me that silver. I think that was it, right? Yep, that's everything that popped so far. I hate doing this manually because I all be also because I prepped it for a pop, so now it's even harder to to pick it because it's floating in the air. <laughs> it's nice when it pops because then you just have to just hit it. But when it's not, oh, there we go. You have to pick it manually, and it sucks. Start from the side, it's grounded. After it's unconnected, the rest will pop. Oh, dang it. You know what? You are you are smarter than me, Noel. Smarter than me. I should have just did this, yeah. That way it's not connected. Son of a... Well, we're going to have like a half pop. <laughs> Once I get this disconnected, it should pop. But I mean, I already picked more than half of it. Dang it. <laughs> not a big deal. It'll take an extra day. So I gotta manually do this dang thing. I mean, to be fair, I'm getting my picking skill up. Because I have to pick more. So there you go. There's that bonus, I guess. Yeah, my pickaxe is level 40 again! I think I got up to 43 before I started dying a lot. <laughs> and every time you die, you lose some. And so it sucks. There it goes. Beautiful. See, I should have just did that from the beginning, Noel. Thank you. Dang it. Where's my rock pile? Do I not have enough? I like to pick up all the rocks. That way I know what's silver and what is rock or stone. And I can not make it still. Wow. A lot of silver in my uh, my pouch. There we go. Holy cow, yeah, I grabbed too much. Okay, we're gonna drop that. We'll drop 10 more. There we go. We'll come back and get the rest. Oh, uh, we're getting close to nighttime, so we definitely have to grab the rest of it and put it in the chest before nighttime falls. Don't want to mess with that. And then tomorrow, we will kick it down the mountain and sail it home. Hey, golem. Oh, there's a drake over here. I don't even want to tempt it. You're, you're dead, buddy. No, well, maybe not. I missed him. There you go. You're dead now. Just in case. I don't want him blowing up my box. There we go. And we'll see how much silver we got out of that one vein. It probably, if it's like the other ones, we'll probably be between like 70 and 80 
silver. So I have been steadily getting between 70 and 80. I think on one I got like 85. So let's get back in here. You're gonna get 99 mining and get your uh, skill cape. Oh yes. Oh yes. Gotta do that. <laughs> There's no way. I'm gonna die too much for that to happen. Here we go. Grab that silver ore. Grab that one. Grab that one. All right. So I think we're we're set for that. Oh, I can make another rock pile. So we can do this. Save up some weight. And then... Let's just throw 10. Beautiful. We got 10 more to go and get. And it will be nighttime by the time we do that. But that's okay. Go home, sleep it off, come back, uh, set up my boat, and then set up my, uh, my, uh, my cart, and then drag it down the mountain. Because we cannot teleport it. Gonna get 90. Oh, yeah, I already read that one. Uh, start from the side that's grounded. Read that one as well. Just making sure I didn't miss anyone's chat. Oh, God. Come on. Gotta get my rested. Oh, yeah, I probably should eat at least my onion soup because I got a million onion soup and that's for my stamina. Hello, golem. There we go. Yeah, that's a lot of stamina. Good. Oh, thank you guys so much for hanging out and hitting the like button. If you've already hit that like button, I appreciate you. I love you. If you have not, I would appreciate it if you did hit the like button. I don't like to say it as much as I probably should. If I was a good YouTuber, I would say it more often. All right. That one's done. So we can mark this one off. That one's done. So that's number four. I really feel like... We've picked this one pretty clean. I'm sure there's probably two or three more silver ore uh, veins in here that I just can't find with a hammer. I'll have to come back with my wishbone and really uh, clean it all off. But man, we have a cave. We have a whole bunch of silver. We are good to go. So once we beat bone mass, it is on. We'll be able to just knock out a whole bunch of stuff after bone mass. Pretty quickly. All right, let's see how much uh, silver we got. Oh god, after I kill this drake. Get back over here. Jerk. There's like no health left. What are you doing? Come back here. There. Alright, so. 30, 60, 83. Not bad. 83 is pretty good haul. 83 is a pretty good haul. Let's see if we can find that. Uh, Yep. Frost organ right here. Freeze gland. All right. Let me make sure everything's all good. That way, in case anyone decides to hit it, it'll live through it. Here we go. It's all good. Did I put anything else in the box? Nope. Just silver. Let's go. 83. Yep. 83. So, and I think I've gotten like 85 on one. So it seems to be around 80 per uh, deposit per vein. Put all this stuff away. Now, before we go to bed, I'm going to break my boat. That way I can bring it with me. Resin. Oh, we got a pine cone. I need to start planting my seeds. I got a whole bunch of birch seeds. What the heck? We can make another skewer real fast. Oh, before we do that, let's break our boat. So I'm going to break my boat to build it over on the mountain or build it near the mountain. That way I don't have to sail all the way there and then sail all the way back. I can just sail one way. So we're going to do that real fast. We're going to break this. That way we can take it through the portal because the uh, boat is a little bit large to fit through a portal. Here we go. And I hate that you cannot, you cannot like deconstruct it with the uh, work hammer. 
you have to destroy it, pick up the pieces, and then rebuild it somewhere else. So, I wish you could just destroy it with the hammer. You can just delete it or recycle it, whatever you want to call it. You cannot do that, though. Uh, Az Azazel, thank you for uh, saying that my base is awesome. I appreciate that. Dude, wait until you see, like, Zanes and Beeble Bums, because mine's cool, but Zane and Beeble Bum have some amazing-looking uh, bases. Let's swim back over. The one problem with my dock is that I can't climb up it. That's by design, so the enemies can't climb up it either, but kind of a pain when you destroy a boat and you gotta swim back to your base. So I don't have any entrance over here, so, you know, the enemies can't walk up there and try to kill me. So I got my, uh, my staircase back here. Almost night! It is nighttime now. So beautiful! Perfect time on that. Dun dun dun! All we have is- oh yeah, we can do that. We need to fix our stuff. So let's fix everything here. So yeah, no one can climb up here. It's all blocked off, so they can't do anything to it. But you also- I can't climb up here either. <laughs> uh, there we go. Let's uh, go to bed. Ooh. Stretch a little bit. Get our uh, get our silver back home. And start smelting it. And we can uh, level up our... I think the only thing we have left to level up is our frostner. We need 45 for that. So we'll have leftovers. We will have leftover silver for sure. So for a cart, you need 10 bronze nails and 20 regular wood and you can take nails through there you just can't take the ore through there so we can do this real fast oh yeah er, gotta go back here so this is what i mean by i have a backup so j mountain that is my mountain base at the bottom of that mountain. So that's where I put my boat at. Uh, BRB! Midnight, heck yeah. Uh, as uh, says, I love my cart. It's my best friend as a solo. Yes, 100%. It makes things a lot easier to tra transport. So here's my base. You see how I'm at the mountain right here? That's where our teleporter is right up there. So we just got to get down here and we're good. So let me uh, build my boat. That way I have it ready to go so I can just go to my mountaintop and be good. Oh, not that one. This one. Build the boat. I think right there should do it. Good to go. I, of course, I smash into the rock. There we go. So there we are. That's easy enough. I just got to drag my cart down here. It looks like a long way. It's not that long. Not that far. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's what she said. Not that far, not that long. And then Tom, thank you for becoming a member. I could have sworn I'd seen your uh, name before, Tom. So thank you for being a member. Very much appreciated. Oh, seven to you, Tom. I know I've seen your name. It's just YouTube likes to say that you're a brand new member. And I don't know why they don't keep track of it. I wish they did. I mean, they do, but they don't always tell me. Uh, when you become a member. So here we go. So I like to pop my ichthyr on the way down. That way I can have more running because you'll notice there is some planes right here. So fuelings can spawn up right here. I've had a fight with the fuelings trying to get my cart to the uh, shoreline. So I don't want to mess with that. I'm going to eat my, uh, my food now. I'm going to make my uh, cart. And let's go. Let's run down the mountain. So pop my exit in. And hopefully the uh, all the fuelings leave me alone. Don't attack me, fuelings. I'm just trying to take my silver back home. 
And then as you became a member as well. Thank you very much. I don't remember you being a member before, but if you have been, let me know. Uh, but 07 to you. Thank you for becoming a member on the channel. You're now a fellow traveler. And so, oh, there's locks down there. We don't want to deal with that. So we're going to go over there. There should be a bench over here. Yep, there's my way. So I, I made a bench because this is where I had to fight the fuelings over here. So I had to make a bench and rebuild my cart. <laughs> that was fun. Come on. You don't want to fight that locks. You stay over there, buddy. You don't mess with me and I won't mess with you. Run through the field or through the plains. Run through the plains. It's like 100 feet, 150 feet. Not a big deal, but it's definitely a danger zone. <laughs> and then Az says, nope, just been watching you, mostly from No Man's Sky. Well, I appreciate that, Oz. Thank you very much. Oh, God. Oh, God. Am I stuck in the air? What the? Thank you. And yeah, we are, we we're, we are going to be doing uh, speed runs tomorrow. So if you're in a no man's sky, we'll be doing... Oh, Jesus. Hey. Skeleton, get out of here with that noise. Don't need you attacking my cart. Get out of here. Anyway, we will be doing speedruns tomorrow for the cartographer's expedition. So the one for the golden vector. Remember, you have to do it before Friday. You have until Friday to get it done. So don't, don't waste time. Don't uh, think you could do it later on. So many people say, oh, I'll do it later. I'll do it later. And then all of a sudden it's Friday and you lost. You missed out. There's no way to do it after Friday. So Friday morning, depending on your time zone, it could be Thursday night, depending on where you live. But if you're in the United States, it'll be Friday morning, like early. Like we're talking like 5 a.m. So don't count on it being there Friday. <laughs> Get it done before Thursday night. All right, we made it. No problems. 23, that should be good enough. Here we are. Can I take a 30? Dang it, of course I can't take 30, probably 25. I could probably take 25, so we'll just do 10, screw it. So I can't do a rounded 30, which sucks. It'll make it easier to pick it up. Nothing in the right position. Just give me the give me the stuff. I don't care about riding it. All right, here we are. Now let's chop up our cart and bring it with us. There we are. Easy peasy. So let's set sail. And before we leave, do one more uh, fix. Doesn't need the repairs. Okay, good. And we're good. Oh, the wind's going to be against us, I think. Dang it. This is going to be a pain. Yeah, the wind looks like it's going to be against us. Son of a... Well, we'll do a little bit of a long way around. That's fine. That way we can use the wind for most of it. Uh, you can still climb ladders when encumbered. You can. You can. And the, uh, the, stepping, uh, the stepping ladder, I guess. Yes, you can. Uh, Tom says, I'm on my second run. This Redux is much easier than the original Cartographer's ex Expedition. 100%. I was wondering how they were going to do it, because I was like, dude, the first Cartographer's, it took a lot of time to do. You had to travel all over the planet to get your materials. So, it's nice. They made it easier. But it's also, it's one of those deals where if you're not paying attention, or if you have a bad spawn, you're kind of screwed. You need water. If you don't have any water near you, it's going to make it a lot tougher. Uh, you also need, um, a, what was it? You need water and you need a building nearby. So those are random events. You don't know if there's going to be building or water near you. So it's kind of iffy on whether it can be easy or not. Because you need to step inside of a building, a planetary building, not one you've made. One that's already on the, uh, on the map itself. Now, uh, we don't want to go against the, uh, that's all plains right there. So I kind of, uh, I've sailed along the coastline. This is all plains, all of it. Like, I was like, holy crap. So yeah, there's a boss. The plains boss is right there. 
Uh, we might be paddling for a while. Dang it! Because, yeah. It looks like we're going to be turning against the wind. No, okay, we're good. We're good. We're just barely the wind. You can see the wind indicator. It is just barely there. Uh, Tom says, I spent more hours on foot in the original than I have the entire Redux. Dude, yeah. I don't remember... I don't think we were doing uh, uh, speed runs at that time. I think we didn't start doing speed runs until like four or five. But I do remember playing that one going, holy cow. Just like they gave us the golden vector, but they're not giving us the pioneer expedition, the first expedition, because I have video when we when we did series on it. It took like 15 hours to do the first ever expedition. It was a long expedition. And I was like, why did they give us the golden vector for the cartographer? Because uh, it was probably not possible to redo the Pioneer Expedition fast enough. In one week? Probably not. Probably not. Man, you are going to make me go against the wind. Son of a Come on, wind! Change! So I don't have to go against it. Oh, well. You know what? We have to because I don't want to hit the planes. So there we go. Let's paddle for a while. Hopefully the wind changes. Oh, wait a minute. It just did. It just did. Thank you. I appreciate you. Wind. Not in the perfect position, but it's faster than paddling. Just barely. Wow, that's a massive island, dude. I know. That is huge. Like, it, in the way we've divided it up in the uh, server is these little hammers right here mark the edge of my domain. So... This line right here, that's where the the bottom half is me, the top half is Zane. So these islands are like split in half between Zane and I. So like he has this all upper part right here. And then I have the lower part. So we, I think when we get to the plains, both Zane and I will probably go through this together and kind of share the resources. All the plain stuff, all the villages and the tar and everything. And then we have the, the boss down here, which is awesome. I could sail right to the boss, which is really cool. I don't see any. I don't think the uh, serpents spawn up during the day. So I don't have to worry about a serpent coming up and attacking me. I, I think we're safe, he says, as he gets attacked by a serpent. Uh, what is the next redux? Uh, Elliot, I don't remember. Let me look. While we're sailing, because I don't- I can't do anything else. Just make sure I don't hit any freaking islands on the way. So the next one that starts on Friday, not today, the one that starts on Friday is the Voyager's Expedition. Oh, mm, No, that's the one we just did for the Echoes update. I don't like that one. The Voyager's update is where you have to go find, like, the poison animal. You, if, you, if you played the Voyager's expedition, you have to find a poison blood animal. You have to find a paradise planet. You have to find a, uh, a hot-blooded animal. So I hate those kind of things because you have to find specific animals. And in No Man's Sky, they're procedurally generated, so they're randomized. So it's mostly a, hey, community, let's all work together to find a, an animal that has corrosive blood or hot blood, or a frozen planet that's the temperature's under 100 degrees Fahrenheit, or whatever. So yeah, that, that is the one that starts on uh, Friday. Where is the Beeble area? Brian, Beeble's area is over here. So, I don't know if you can kind of see the, the hammers. I wish I could draw on this, but like his area is right in here. That's Beeble's area right there. And then Bob's area is over here. This is all Bob. So where's Bob's mountain? Probably up here. So yeah, this is Bob's area. And then this is all Hawk's area up here. Am I not moving? I thought I was paddling. No? You suck. All right. But yeah, so this is Hawk's. He is northeast. Bob is just east, and then Beeble Bum is southeast. Nobody goes south because we're saving that for uh, group exploration. And then I am southwest. Zane is west, and then Gek is uh, northwest. Just making sure I don't die. 
So yeah, this is all Zane's domain over here. And then up here, this is all Gek's domain up here. And so we're allowed to do whatever we want in our uh, in our in our designed area, our designated area. However, there is kind of an unspoken rule that you don't want to go too far south because if Ashlands, the new update comes out for uh, for uh, what's it called for Valheim, then they're going to be putting it over here. So Ashlands will start developing over here. And so we don't want to go too far south because if you find it first, it will not auto generate it. So the uh, the way that Valheim works is that it won't generate it until you load into the area. So right now, this is all unknown territory. We don't know what's here and we won't know until we sail there. And then the game will generate it for us. Oh God, I need to go back against the wind again. God, see, this is the pain. Hurt. There we go. So keep paddling, little guy. Keep paddling. Literally against it. I have to fly, literally go this direction. God. That's all right. We'll paddle it. Uh, like with old Minecraft terrain chunks, basically, yeah. So, yeah, you won't know what's there until... And the game doesn't know what's there until you go there. But, yeah, I have a big old... And this looks like... I've sailed around this. This looks like mostly planes with a little bit of black forest on this side. So, when I go to my planes, this will be my farming area, probably. I'm going to land over here in the black forest area and then run over to the plains and try to try to take out some fuelings. Maybe, maybe try to uh, clear out some, uh, some area so I can make some farmland because in order to, to farm like barley and wheat and all that kind of stuff, you have to be in the plains. You cannot bring back barley to a normal area, like a black forest or a meadows. It won't grow there. It has to grow on the plains. It'll be nighttime before we get home. Good Lord. Uh, Mark says you do. If you place a teleport gate at the bo uh, booze, then you can get there faster than by boat. Yes, I know. You already know that. Yeah, yeah. At the base. Yeah. Well, the thing is we cannot teleport any metal. So any ores. So, and this is why I'm bringing my silver there. And on this server we're not doing any exploits so we're not doing the whole you know log out log into a different world log back in that kind of thing we're not doing that we're just straight up if you uh find some metal you have to sail up back to your area you can't log out log into a different world drop off your iron and stuff teleport back and do all the teleporter switching and we are playing on hard mode as well so the enemies hit harder we're not making it easy or anything like that it is difficult, especially when you have a group of people with you. Look at that village. Hopefully they don't see me sailing here. Stay over there on that side. Because my, my base is on this island. The village is right there. I thought I could just go destroy that village. The fuelings destroyed me instead. But yeah, look at I have Look at the wheat is right there. The barley's right there waiting for me. I just... Oh, look at... Oh, God. They're already swimming. Get out of here. Don't chase me. I'm hitting all these rocks now. Oh, God. Yeah, those fuelings, they don't give up either. They will swim and swim and swim. Like, I literally, I crept over there. I attacked them. Then I swam back to my island, and they just followed me. <laughs> I was like, oh, God. They just followed me back. Later, midnight. All right, Jason, got to run. Thanks for the stream, and glad you had a good Christmas. See you when you get back on. Yes, dude, midnight. See you tomorrow if you can join us. Or if not, I will see you on Friday or whenever you can. Imagine if they could shoot fire arrows at your boat from their tower, dude. I bet you they could if they had a chance. Thankfully, they didn't notice me. Is this guy still swimming at me? Oh, thank God. He's not swimming anymore. He gave up. Thank God. I outswam him. <laughs> and they get distracted by other stuff. So a fueling will stop coming after me if it sees like a deer or a grayling or whatever. So all I have to do is run around a grayling and we're good. Uh, yeah, that type of comment a little too fast. That's why some misspelled words. But yeah, I was fighting Valheim at the same time. That's why. Oh, no worries, man. I kind of got what you what you were trying to get across, Mark. But yeah, I mean, 
I do have multiple words, worlds for that purpose back before they let us. Because now there are game modifiers to where you can make it to where you can teleport uh, metals. But back in the day, you couldn't teleport it and there was no way to do it. So instead, the way around that was to make a second world. Put your character in one world, pick up all the iron, then go to your second world, drop it off. That way you could go back to your first world, teleport back to your base, and then go back to your second world, pick up your iron. You're basically just glitching with the teleporters. Um, let me check this. Yeah, we're good. Just making sure my, my stream is doing well. Let's back it up. We got to reverse in. This is the one thing I hate. My river is not wide enough for me to do this. I got to like be a better, uh, better sailor, a better captain. So I got to reverse in that way. It's easier to just take off. Come on. Crash in. That's okay. I'll repair that when I get out. Done and done. So you pick up 20. And now we can start smelting. I think I have enough uh, coal. I don't know why I like running through my house to do this. It's so stupid. I have a, I literally have a walkway on the other side, but I like running through my house to do this. Oh, we don't have enough. But we have enough to drop it off at least. And get started. Here we go. Drop off my nails and my wood. That way I can carry more uh more weight. I hate it. I hate it. I gotta zoom in. Now I can see my character better. Silver. Grab all of it out of my boat just in case my boat gets destroyed. I don't want it floating out here. Dang it. Yep. See, still can't carry a full 30. There we go. 26. That's good enough, right? And pop it in here. Getting dark! Getting dark! Oh, my food's all gone. That's why I don't have any stamina. I was wondering. And look at that. Perfect. Notice how I ran out of rested as soon as it turned night, like it's just turning night. Timed out beautifully. Let's grab some more silver. Let's grab eight. I don't think we've made more than eight. Oh, maybe we have. Oh, crap. Okay. Two, three. Four, five. Make, fill it up. That way when I go to bed... It'll give me all a whole bunch of silver when I wake up. Filled up, filled up. There we go. So now we go to sleep, and when we wake up, we'll have 20 silver waiting for us. Oof, scratch the paint. That's going to be uh, $600. You have way too much of a value on my uh, base there, because uh, uh, there's no way that's $600. No way. Up, let's drop this off. We can grab 20 more because we need 20 to fill it up. And we'll be able to drop a whole bunch of uh, coal in here. Oh, it's going to rain today. It looks like it's going to be a stormy day. Now we'll at least get it started. Oh, yeah, I'm running out of coal. I'm going to have to go through my swamp uh, spawns to kind of get that one going. Dang it. Yeah, I'm going to 
I'm not gonna be able to smelt all this uh, coal. There's no way. But I'm getting there. We have 37. Once we get to 45, I can upgrade my Frostner. So we need 45, and I think that's the only one left. So, wolf armor, max quality. Wolf legs, max. Uh, iron axe is max, but it's iron. Uh, Draugr Fang is maxed out. Drake Helmet's maxed out. Frostner just needs one more level, 45, and we're done. Iron Pickaxe is maxed, and my Silver Shield is maxed. So maybe I'll make a... Maybe I'll make another shield to make it look cooler. Because I'll have extra uh, silver at that point. There we go. So we're at 37. Um... Oh, we just need four more and we're done. Four more and we're done. Let's pop in some more I, uh, silver. I almost said iron. Good. Good. So now it's just waiting. So let's grab some of our honey since that's full. Our little beehives over here. Just keep collecting. Oh, yeah, my uh, onions are done. So I think I'm done with farming onions. I'm going to start farming some other stuff. Let's drop off the honey. Look at this. I almost have a sil or an iron chest full of honey. One, two, three, four, five, six times five. That's 300. 600. <laughs> I'm almost at 900 honey. I think we're good. I think we're good on honey for a while. There we go. And pop another one in here. So we can also get rid of this iron here. Let's go get our, uh, let's pick up our onions. And I think we're going to plant uh, carrots. We'll do carrots now. That way I can start doing carrots because I have a ton of them. Look at this. I have so many onions. It's crazy. I'm going to have to make some onion soup because I think my, my box is full of onion. So I don't think we'll uh, need to worry about onions for a little while. Uh, bear viewers salivating right now. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The hoarding is strong. and Dude, Tom, you're not kidding. I have to. I have to have everything. Gotta have a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, Jason, you ever use the crystal battle axe? I have not. It's a two-handed, and I, I don't use, usually use axes. I probably should. Uh, maybe I'll make a silver sword instead of doing my shield, because a sword might be... Uh, you know what? Maybe we'll do crystal axe. I don't know. All right, so that's all good. We should have enough for our uh, frost here. Yeah, look at that. Boom. Beautiful. 100% filled up box, and we don't have anything left over. Look at that. Okay, I'll take that. Perfect. Let's pull out our 45 freaking silver for this. Good lord. And let's upgrade our Frostner. Level 4. Maxed out. Max quality Frostner. We're done. So all of our gear is max level. So what, is a, what does a crystal battle axe take? Uh, silver, crystal, and ancient bark. I can make it. I can make it. I've never used it, though. I've never used it. It does slash and spirit. Ooh, dang. It is two-handed, so it's a little bit slower. And I can't use my shield, so I cannot block with it because it's two-handed. Uh, Crystal Axe sounds kind of badass. I mean, maybe. I was just looking at the silver sword. I I did. I do have my... Because uh, I started out with a bronze sword, and then I went to an iron uh, mace. So I do have my sword skill pretty high. Well, it used to be until I died. So a silver sword might be the way to go. Man, it takes a lot of silver, though. Look at that. 40 silver just to start. Ooh. Oh, God. I was, uh, it's up to you if you want to dump the silver. I might. I might. Uh, oh, yeah. I got my harpoon still. Let's uh, put that back on my boat. So I always keep, I try to keep my harpoon on my boat just in case I need it when I'm uh, out there getting serpents. So let's do that real fast. And while we're here, 
while I remember it, let me repair some stuff that I crashed into. That way we're all good. That way the walls are all nice. Beautiful, beautiful. I mean, this is all going to get rain damage anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But I like it looking, you know, pretty while I'm here. I wish, like, if you put something, like, on stone, it would just not get rain damage. But obviously. Oh, wait a minute. Never mind. Oh, I need to start making some stone. That way my workbenches don't fall apart. Anyway. Let's, uh, we have a whole bunch of, I think we still have a hundred onion seeds. Let me check how many I have. I think we have a hundred. We have, <laughs> never mind. We have 174 onion seeds. Holy crap. <laughs> I've been uh, hoarding a lot of uh, onions. I've been doing a lot of... I've been doing onions for a little too long, I think. So, let's do this. Fill this up. And get some more silver going. I definitely need to get more coal. We're out of coal already, and I still have 30 more. Let's do... Oh, no, you probably need 20. So, let's do 20. Put that down in there. Beautiful. We have 17. We might not have enough for a crystal axe. I just realized we might not have enough left over. So we have 17, 10, 20. Oh, no, we might. We might. So it'll be 27, 37. Yeah, we'll have like 40. All right. Never mind. We'll have like 40 because we have 10, 20, 30 total plus uh, we'll have 47 silver. 47 silver. And the battle axe only costs 30. We'll be able to make a level one. Ah, so it's going to be kind of a... Mm, only a level one. I might hold on to it. And I want to make that silver sword. But, <sighs> I'm probably not going to use it. Ah, well, we'll leave it. We'll leave it. We'll figure it out later on. All right, let's make some carrots. Since I'm getting low on carrots anyway. So, there we go. We'll get some carrots planted. We'll start making some seeds. Missing record. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I got to switch it over to carrot. So, yeah. Now we'll start growing our carrots. I don't know what we need carrot for. I can make carrot soup, maybe? Uh, deer soup takes carrots. Um, or deer stew. I don't know what... I, mean, I don't think a salad takes uh, carrot, does it? I don't know. I don't think any of the really advanced stuff takes carrot, but you know what? I'd rather have more and not need them than need them and not have them. So let's just do it. And I mean, it, oh God, that's only 30. Oh, good Lord. 30 times three. That's 90 seeds right there. Let's make some more. Let's just go crazy. So we have 30 seeds down here. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, God. Get out of the way. Here we go. It doesn't need to be perfect, because it's not like I, I need to utilize the space perfectly. Just enough to get the seeds going. So, 30 plus... 25 so we just planted uh 55 seeds and each seed gives you three so that's a hundred and 160 seeds coming in oh yes 160 carrots coming pretty soon here love it grab that fix up my cultivator that way i can put it back on the uh, rack over here Five, ten. There we are. Oh man, we're gonna use the last of my coal almost. Definitely need to go do a run in the uh, the swamp. That way I can get all my coal from my uh, my core spawns. Yeah, we're good. So all the silver is almost smelted. Uh, make the axe with the friends. Oh, yes. Can chomp into them raw like a grandpa used to do? No. No! The onions? No. No, no, no. 
speaking of that, I probably should start making some uh, some stews and stuff. So let's do that real fast. I can make a skewer. So we have one more uh, wolf. And then let's make some onion soup. Because we have a ton of onion. Ton of onion. I wish you could just like make 10 at a time or whatever. But they don't let you make more than one. So you gotta just manually make one at a time. Don't forget to eat! I know, Tom, I, I will probably forget, so I better do that before I leave. Oh, actually, speaking of that- Oh my god! We've been streaming for over six hours, guys. Holy crap! Holy crap! We probably- I probably need to, to cut it out, man. Because I know YouTube likes to freak out after about six hours. Good lord. I didn't even really- dude, Valheim! All of a sudden, you, you look up and you've been playing for six and a half hours and you didn't realize it. Crap! We'll do that. Oh yeah, look at that. Boom. I only like to carry a stack of five on me just in case. I don't want to carry all my food with me. So four. And then skewers. We're going to need... Ooh. Oh, we're getting low on our skewers! I'm going to have to go up and hunt some uh, wolves up in the mountains. I think at this point, since all my gear is maxed out, I have all the I have everything I'm going to need for bone mass. I don't need to go back to the mountain anymore. But what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to go up there to farm a whole bunch of wolf and uh, some uh, freeze glands so I can make ice cream. And that's about it. I'm not going to go up there for for silver anymore. I don't need to. I mean, maybe, but if I do, I'm going to go back when I have my wishbone. That way it's easy. I don't have to keep hammering and wasting time. I'm just going to go up there and hunt some wolves, hunt some, uh, some drakes and get all that stuff going. Speaking of freezing glands, I think I can make some more ice cream. Yes, look at that. I have a whole bunch. I have my, my stack of 50 crystals that, uh, that Beeble Bum couldn't believe I have. I Plus, I have another stack around here somewhere. So I ran out. Where'd the other one go? I don't even know. There's another crystal somewhere. Is it over here? Yeah, I got another stack over here I started. Oh, we should probably sell all this stuff to make some money at the merchant. Let's make some money at the merchant. I haven't visited him in a while. Oh, God. What am I doing? Oh, I got silver on me. Duh. That's why I hate it. I don't realize I have silver on me. Maybe I should eat some food before I leave. Just saying. Um, what am I doing? Don't need to do that. Put the silver away, Jason. Put the silver away. Let's go to the village. Let's go sell some stuff. You're 10 times more geared for bone mass than I was, dude. We're way beyond. Like, I wanted to get a little bit of silver. I didn't think I was going to max out my silver gear. So, yeah. Bone mass is not going to be a challenge. Well, shouldn't be a challenge. I might make it a challenge because I'm not a good player. <laughs> uh, you did say earlier that you wanted to work on your wall like Beebs. I know I need to do that. I have a whole bunch of stone, Brian. So I need to do that on the outside. I did the interior. I have not done the exterior, though. Let's see. 540. That's pretty good. So I have already have my uh, my circlet, my my headlamp. I have my meningjord, my uh, my belt. I mean, maybe Ymir flesh. I don't think we need it though. I can buy bait. We'll buy bait and I'll bring back five hundred. All right. So I got some I got some bait. And I also am bringing back home five hundred golden coins. So we should be good to go. Uh, Mark says, Jason, you know, the one thing I wish that Valheim would change is that the only thing they would change is to have mines to respawn, even with all the monsters in it, too. I mean, yeah. I mean, I get where you're coming from, because, yeah, it would be nice, because you already know where the mine is. However, this map is gigantic, so I've been through this swampy area to know where my mines are. That one is done. I don't know why that's not marked off. But I still have a swamp over here. I have a swamp over there. Oh, no, that's not my swamp. Sorry, that's not my area. That's the south. Cannot go there. I know I ran into some swamp up here. So, yeah, there's swamp up here. So, there's a lot of swamp just in this general area. There's swamp over here that I haven't done yet. 
to be fair, I think this is all just like barely anything there. There might be some crypts in here, but I don't think so. But yeah, th there's going to be swamp down here. So there's a lot of swamp. You just have to explore. So it, I think it's by design, Mark. They want you to explore the map. That's why they don't regenerate the, uh, what's it called? The different uh, crypts. They want you to go in different parts of the map. Doing our community garden here with all the onions. Look at it. I've been farming onions. I think we have a ton of onions in the uh, in the uh, box in here. Let me check. How many onions do we have in here? I've been doing the farm. We left that door open. It was probably me. Let me check the vegetables. Yeah, we got a whole bunch of uh, onions. We have a whole bunch of radish or turnips. I call them radishes. They look like a radish to me. I don't know why. They do, though. So yeah, I've just been slowly uh, rotating out the the farm at the village just in case like if I die and I need something at the village, I can just run over there real fast and get some. Here we are. So grab the uh, village hoe or cultivator. Put some seeds down. That way we make more. Boom, 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 boom. They're not going to be perfect. It's not like really ideal. Like you want to be a little bit closer than that. If you want to optimize and use your, your area efficiently. I'm not really doing that because we're not like trying to get the most seeds out of here. I'm just trying to plant some. Oh God, that was too close. Dang it. That's too close. That seed's going to die. Because there's not enough room to grow. Yeah. So then we pop it up here and then drop off the rest of the onions up here. Yeah, beautiful. Drop off my money at home. Yeah, already have enough onions to feed an army. Uh, yes, I know. That's why I'm trying to make some uh, onion soup. I'm trying to... I, I need to farm a whole bunch of wolves. That way I have wolf skewers. Because I'm running low on my wolf skewers. I've been using that a lot. So that's probably my next thing. Is I'm just going to run up on the mountain and get a whole bunch of freeze glands and skewers. And I mean, I do have lox meat already. This is really good stuff. Lox meat is good. I mean, I can make some sausages because I have that. I need to go get some pork or some uh, boar meat. That way I can make some sausages. Let me put my uh, my fishing stuff away and my money away. Oh God, I'm getting too much bait now. Oh God, I'm gonna have to start. I'm gonna have to go fishing. Use up some of that bait. Put my money away. All right, I have another bee. Oh, I can make a. Uh, I can make some root armor because now that I'm taking out the. Uh, the abomination's really easy. All right, I think we're good, right? I have enough, uh... I have enough arrows. I have some charcoal. I just like to be set up for when I come back. I should probably put some coal in here. Oh, I ran out! Literally ran out of coal! I'm at zero! So yeah, I definitely need to go get some coal. <laughs> Gonna run through the swamp. Oh, yeah, I got to make sure to change this one. That way I remember where it is. So this is J bone mass. That way it's still right. It's correct. And we're good. It's about to be nighttime again. I know Zane said he wanted to be at night when he logged in. So I will leave it now. Yep, we got my arrows in here. We're good. Uh, bacon tastes good. Pork chop tastes good. You, dude, Carmen, you're not kidding. We had bacon this morning. I am absolutely in love with bacon. Absolutely in love with bacon. Let's see. Who is streaming that we can raid? Um, you know what? Uh, Action Pants Gaming's AC, APG. APG is playing Valheim right now, you guys. Let's go raid APG. Show them some love. Hit that like button when you get over there. 
I need to go. Oh my God, it's been six and a half hours. My eyes hurt and my wife is probably mad because I did not make any dinner tonight. So I need to go do that. I will see you guys on tomorrow. We'll be doing speed runs in No Man's Sky tomorrow. So hopefully I'll see you guys in and have an awesome night. I'll see you guys then.